Hello, Beard Gang, and welcome on back to yet another Twitch, Twitch stream. stream. Baba Booey. Can I get some Baba Booies in the chat? Baba Booey. I don't know. What's going on, everybody? Welcome on back to yet another Twitch stream, and happy, happy, happy Sunday because I almost forgot what day of the week it is. Don't mind me. Uh, also, uh, happy daylight savings. I hope you guys all enjoyed an extra hour of sleep. I mean, at least for those who... I'm not sure if other countries practice daylight savings. Weren't they supposed to be getting rid of it? I don't know. I thought I thought that daylight savings was going to eventually get, uh, get the axe and be taken care of. I don't know. Could just be me. Maybe I'm making it up. I have no idea. Uh, I'm also going to need your help. I did some more mic EQing. This is not the new mic settings. These are the ones that we were using last stream. So I will need your special ear holes to to assist to assist with the mic settings. So uh, when, when we get into the just chatting, I'm going to I'm going to switch between the two. You guys let me know which ones sound good there. Th I also didn't realize that this new audio mixer, I can put gain or reduce gain from certain audio sources. So I was playing around with that with the music earlier and I had no idea um, <laughs> until I was sitting here because I was like listening to some recordings from when we were, um, what should we call it? When we were playing, uh, when we were playing on Friday's stream, which is the first stream we used the uh, the new in interface. And I was like, man, why did Noah and, and Hollowed Sound Solo and I did some testing and I was like, oh, I can actually lower or raise specific volumes like i can change the db for uh chat verse i can change it for the sound effects and stuff like that so i thought that was pretty cool but uh, again i am still very very much learning all the new things about this mixer it's going to take me some time to to learn all of the ins and outs and everything so uh please 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 bear with me again it is a uh, a learning experience a learning experience. Oh, I thought I just did a thing. I don't, I'm trying to, uh, 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 anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the, the show here. Uh, welcome on in guys, gals, and pals. It's me, your boy, the bearded guy, Chris X Chad coming at you live on a Sunday. Just in case you don't know who I am or where you're at. My name is Chris. This is indeed a stream and you're now entering the beard zone and it is a place where we have a deep love and appreciation for beards. So never worry because no beards are ever required. And as always, the best way that we like to start Twitch streams off here in the beard zone is with none other than a smexy, a sexy, sexy intro. intro. So without further ado, please, oh, please roll that thing. Also, after talking to both Wookie and Jess, if you guys are want a good laugh, turn closed captionings on. They promised me that the closed captionings are wild, and uh, as I thought that they would be better with the system that we use, they are not. Um, so if you're looking for a good laugh, turn on closed captionings, and I don't know, take a screenshot of your favorite mishap with the closed captioning setting. But anyway... Uh, and it's okay if you don't like intros because I'll just fucking, fucking like them like for, for you. you. It's fine. It's all right. I'll just like them for you. There's no reason if you don't like closed caption about well, closed caption. If you don't like intros in front of your videos, man, I am all over the place today. I am also going to have to stand because I had Jersey mics for lunch and I'm already feeling it. Um, so yeah, uh, I am definitely going to have to stand for the first chunk of the stream. Once we get through just chatting and our giveaway and everything also, let me know if the the music volume sounds good. Let me know if that sounds good. Um, because I have to play around with the music settings and I already forgot what we had them last stream and everything. So let me know if the audio sounds 
the, the, the music is loud enough. Let me let me know that versus me talking, because I can always bump it up a little bit. It's not that loud in my headphones. So uh, let me go ahead and say hello to those who are being chatting in the chat. First, we got Free, who was indeed here first. Uh, not Free. Wow. Sleazy. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. Sleazy was here first. I got a, a message from Free, so that's my bad. Anyway, Sleazy, you were here first. I was reading a message that popped up in my my <laughs> Firebot chat, so sorry about that. But Sleazy, you were indeed here first. Welcome on in, Sleazy. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. We also got Burb and Sarah in the house. Sarah, you are crazy, girl. You're streaming right now. What are you doing here saying hi? Welcome on into the both of you. Hi, Burb. Hi, Sarah. Burb, love those emotes. That is quite the rave. <laughs> It's cute. Uh, we also got Wookie here with the letter B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see to your B. Take that. Take that as you will. I don't know what that means. But hi, Wookie. How are you doing? Welcome on in. We also got Drifted and Kitty both in the house as well. Hi, Drifted. Hi, Kitty. To the both of you. Welcome on in. How are the two of you doing? Uh, Sarah goes, Sweden did it last week. Yeah, but weren't we supposed to be getting rid of Daylight Savings? Wasn't that like a whole talk that like Daylight Savings was going to be like completely phased out and we weren't going to have to deal with it anymore or something like that? Like people were like, oh, it's dumb. Get rid of it. Am I, am I crazy? Because I thought that in the U.S. at least they, they were talking about getting rid of it and it was just going to be dead and gone. I, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but it's still here. I mean, I appreciate it because I woke up at like 8 a.m. thinking it was actually 9 a.m. And then seeing that it actually was 8, 8 a.m. And I was like, cool. And then couldn't fall back asleep. But it was cool, though. <laughs> I totally forgot. I keep forgetting about daylights. Uh, but that's cool to know that Sweden does it, too. Nice. Uh, Drifted, thank you for all the hype emotes. Dakado's also here as well. Hi, Dakado. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, we about to head to Jersey Mike's right now. Was today just like a Jersey Mike's day? Is that what it is? I don't know. It was funny. Story was like, oh, we have nothing to eat. And I was like, do you want something? And she's like, no, you got me pizza last night. And I was like, babe, I'm like, we're in a partnership. I love you. And you're hungry. I'm also hungry. So I can treat us both to Jersey Mike's. Just tell me what you want. And I'll get it for us. Because I also was hungry, so I got us both Jersey Mike's. Uh, and it was very, very tasty. I had the, uh, this is actually the first time with me being fully diagnosed as diabetes having Jersey Mike's. So far, I feel okay. Uh, but I usually get the Club Supreme, which I think is like ham, turkey, roast beef, cheese. Uh, I usually get mayo on there. Um, it's very, very good. There's bacon on it as well. It's very good. But I, instead of getting, I usually get like the, the giant, and then I save like the next half for the other day. I wasn't sure how a regular was going to be, so I just did the regular, uh, and I'm feeling very, very full right now, but also very hot. I'm and that, not not like in the, hey, I'm hot kind of way. Like, no, I am on fire right now, uh, and that usually means that my body is, like, adjusting to the food. I, I don't know. That's just something that I've noticed. I don't know. Uh, but welcome on in, Dakota. How are you doing? Been craving Jersey Mike's? Get yourself some. Treat yourself. It's Sunday. Sunday is treat day. You got to treat yourselves once in a while. Uh, in the van headed for shopping and listening to you. Nice. Hi, van. Am I coming through the speakers or is, is it in ed headphones? Hello? Hello? This van, this van is van spacious. Is spacious. <laughs> Hope that the shopping goes well, by the way, Drifted. I did some shopping yesterday and man, oh man, um, shopping at a pharmacy. It's very fucking expensive. I got a bunch. Actually, I got a bunch of cool diabetic stuff. I got diabetic gummies and gel. They even had diabetic socks. And I didn't go in there for any of those things. I went there to pick up Benadryl and Tylenol, which those were the really, really expensive things. So uh, apparently we've had to pick up uh, something from Academy and it's right next to it. Pick up something from Academy. I don't know what Academy is, but nice. Jersey Mike's is delicious, though. It's delicious. Can promise you that. Also, hi, Frog. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, healing up after surgery. Left arm didn't go as smoothly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Takato. I'm really, really sorry. Hopefully, it gets better. I mean, I know some, um, especially like post-surgery stuff can take a long while. Actually, speaking of surgery, uh, my mom is actually going in for spinal surgery on the 9th so that is i think she's getting admitted on wednesday and then the 9th is when they're doing the surgery so she'll be in the hospital on the 8th and then the 9th is when she actually goes under like the scalpel and goes for it uh they gotta like she needs a lot of work done she has a lot of discs that are compressed and a slip disc and like all this stuff so they're basically gonna like fuse 
stuff, and I think they're also going to use cadaver bones, so she's got a big, 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 big surgery, so uh, if I do go radio silent between, like, when's, like, I'm still going to stream on Friday because Saturday, uh, like, she's probably going to still be resting, so Saturday I'm going to go over to the hospital and visit her, and hopefully by next Monday, the 13th, she'll be out of the hospital, but, um, you know, just, just keep her in your thoughts, please, um, you know, because... The spine connects to everything, you know, so I'm uh, I'm a little nervous about it. I know she's nervous about it. I know I've talked to you guys about my relationship with my parents. It's not the best. It's gotten better over time. Uh, but uh, if you if you could keep keep her in your thoughts, please, that that would that would be awesome. And I appreciate it. So thank you. Uh, it's a sports store. Oh, sports. store. I've never heard of the Academy before. I don't think we have any around here. Or so, but uh, I do hope that like I was going to say, she's going to have a long road recovery and some surgeries do take longer than others. So hopefully maybe with some more time, it, you get better as time goes on to Kato. I do hope so. Um, I will throw up some prayers for her. Hope it goes smoothly. Thank you to Kato. I appreciate it. I, I do. I was actually talking with her this morning. I was planning on doing some recording this morning. And then I was like, you know what? I'm like, I, I know my mom, she's probably freaking the fuck out, especially since it's like Sunday and she's probably like panicking and stuff. So I had a nice like hour and a half conversation with her on the phone. Um, she's pretty positive about it. She's pretty positive about it. Um, the doctor that is gonna be doing the surgery, uh, a lot of people in their development uh, because she lives in a retirement development uh, have actually gone to this doctor and she, out of all like the 18 doctors she's found, uh, or has talked to for consultation. This is the first one that she's like, I feel comfortable and okay with this doctor. So uh, I'm glad that she finally found a doctor because I always say this regardless if it's like surgery, your regular doctor, um, a specialist, therapist, always shop around. Only Always shop around because every doctor is different. Like she talked to one doctor who strictly does not do cadaver bones. They like, like my mom was like, but why? And the guy's like, that's just not what I do. I use synthetic. I, I don't do cadaver bones. Um, and she didn't like that. <laughs> so it's important. It's important to shop around because one doctor might have like a very specific way that they do things. Uh, and regardless if it's therapy or not, like every doctor is different. Every practice has like their own ins and outs. So it's important to shop around for doctors because you never know. You never know. Uh, but appreciate it, Kato. Best thoughts for Speedy Wellness for Chris X Mom. Thank you, thank you. I will, I will let Chris X Mom know that you guys are throwing some good vibes her way. I'm sure she'll, she'll appreciate it. She, she knows that I stream, but I don't think she's ever stepped in here before. If she did, I would make her account name Chris X Mom. I think. <laughs> I think I, I would make her that her her account name if she ever happened to pop in the stream. So, but I appreciate the good thoughts. Uh, it's di difficult to find good doctors, in my opinion. Uh, when you should find a good one, it's really a uh, really nice feeling. Yeah, no, it definitely, definitely is. And uh, I know, Sat, we talked about this before, just like uh, Rate My Professor. There are, si again, I don't know about out of the United States, but I remember a while back when I got, like, my first ever health insurance and stuff, and I was sitting down with my parents, and they were trying to help me, like, find a new doctor and everything. There are sites that you can go to, kind of like Rate My Professor, but it's Rate My Doctor, and people who have gone to seen the doctors will go on and give the ratings of the doctor that they saw. That way you don't have to like kind of guess and just be like, okay, I'm going to go see this doctor and see if I like him. At least you can then go online and see reviews for the doctor. I, I know that there's a site. Let me see if I can find it. I, I forget. And like, it's any doctor, any, any doctor with a PhD is on there. I'm pretty sure. Um, rate my doctor. I forgot what the site was. Uh, was it Zoodoc? I forgot what it is. I'll have to look around. Rate MDs, maybe? I'll have to see, because it was so long ago. So, so long ago. But there, th there's already a few sites that are popping up. But similar to, like, Rate My Professor, there's tons and tons of sites like that. And, like, I, I even just found one right now. Rate MDs specifically for New Jersey. So there are sites, like between specific like locations and stuff like that, that you can go look up doctors and things like that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, but you're right. Once you find like that good doctor, like that one that you really click with, that listens to you, that is giving you the 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 stuff that you were looking for and everything, it's a really, really nice feeling to, to, to find that good connection, that good doctor, which is why I'm really, really happy about the doctor that I have, which I have a doctor's appointment next month uh for both my diabetes like my regular doctor and then also with the gastro guy which i'm hoping that he tells me 
Uh, I don't need to do a gastrointestinal study or anything like that. So cross your fingers next month for me. So uh, I don't think we have that here. I've tried Googling doctors before and not really found much on them in general. Okay, so maybe it's like a U.S. thing. I don't know. Maybe with like how like regulations with doctors that we can go and do that raid mds that was the one that i was looking at that was that was the one that i was looking at but again uh, sarah's in sweden so let me see if city name what if i just put in sweden no this is all this is all us this is all us sweden what if i look up sweden Nope, it's just, it's just, it's reading my location and saying, hey, you're in New Jersey. Uh, rate my doctors Sweden. Uh, here's one called Midi, Midi, Korea, 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 Korea. Oh, this is not it. It's just informational stuff. It's not. I'll, I'll, I'll keep my eye around. But also remember, if you're in a different country, your browser is going to be like selected to whatever your area is. So like search results may may vary and stuff like that. But um, hopefully there's a site like that because sites like that are just super, super nice. And again, you can kind of go into it with like a grain of salt and read on like reviews and people that have like rated different doctors and like have had experience that's the way that's the one that i look for i i don't look for like what jane smith said about this doctor i look to see like the experience like she went in was it a long wait time no it wasn't a long wait time awesome spoke with the doctor explained a whole bunch of stuff did the doctor like cut her off or did the doctor like not listen to her or completely disregard her no the doctor listens the doctor was answering questions and giving value but that that's what i kind of look for i like someone that i can have a conversation with answer my questions but also feel like they're listening to me right that's a big thing for me are they listening to me like are they replying back to like my questions that i have and everything because i've had some doctors that have been like very short like i come in and like what's the problem and i'm like it's this and i try to explain them no no okay uh yeah i'm gonna write you a prescription for this this and this see you later and then they're out of the office and i'm like that was the worst experience ever that, that just felt like very like, what the fuck are you doing in my office? Okay, that's your problem. All right, cool. Bye, guy. And that's it. I hate that. I want to I wanna have a conversation and understand and, and make sure that I'm not crazy. Because <laughs> sometimes I get a little ahead of myself with, with thinking about things and everything like that. So uh, I feel like that's very thorough because you also pay a shit ton of money for doctor's appointments, etc. So you want to go. Yeah, exactly. You want a good one. And you want like, especially here in the U.S., we pay for health insurance which uh, I actually got to do open enrollment, which is like a sign back up for my insurance from through my uh, company. And uh, I'm going to see how much it would be to add story on there because I just found out that we can add uh, spouses as well as partners on there. And I know story and I aren't officially married, even though she is my wife. Uh, but I'm going to see about getting her on there because she, since uh, everything that happened with her previous job, she doesn't work there anymore. They let her go. Uh, she doesn't have health insurance. So I'm going to see how much it would come out to be if I just kind of Add her on there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see. Hopefully it's feasible that I can I can afford it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Mic test. I'm going to do a mic test right now. So guys, gals and pals, I need your help. So this is the settings that I had from last stream. The ones that slit helped me with tweaking and everything like this. So these are these are the, these mic settings. So la di da la la. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Let me make sure that it's closer to my mouth because Slit also told me that it has to be closer. Um, la di da di da. Hello. All right. I'm going to switch it now to the other mic settings. Need feedback on this. All right. Here's the other mic settings. This is this is the other mic settings. La di da di da. Hello. 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 Welcome to the beard zone. Um, these are some different mic settings that I'm trying out. So... I need, I need your feedback. I need to know which mic settings sound better. Was it the first mic or this mic, which is mic two? So again, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again just in case. This is mic two. la di da di da hello. How is everybody doing today? And here's mic one. This is the mic from the previous stream. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome on into the beard zone. How's everybody doing? So let, let me let me know. Let me know which one you guys like a little bit more. 
please and thank you. I'm I'm, I'm very very curious. Please, I, I I need the feedback and I value your feedback. So please let me know. Or if you don't think that there's any kind of difference, slash you don't give a shit, you can let me know that as well in the chat. I mean that's also valid as well. So, but let me let me know which one sounded better. And if you need to hear it again, let me know. Right now we're we're talking on old settings. Right now these are old settings. Old settings. Uh, Varden.se has a review a healthcare station. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, two sounds slightly sharper, like sharper in a good way? Or, or sharper as in it's like more harsh sharper. But about six feet from the laptop speakers. Okay, if, if, if you do get closer again and you want to take another listen, let me know, Frog. Two sounded better to me, but I don't have my headphones on. Okay. All right, it sounded better. All right. I can do another mic check later if people put their headphones on and want to give it a better listen because I really am just trying to make sure that everything sounds as good as it can sound. Um, and it would really, really help me out because I've just been driving myself fucking crazy trying to just EQ and make sure everything sounds good. Because a big reason why I got this, other than because the Go XLR is dying and it's it's a reptile and it's it's dying slowly, it's it's baking in the sun. I I, I would appreciate the feedback. So uh, because I just really want to make sure that you guys are getting the best experience and the best out of this and everything for the content. So uh, the sounds are very close, both very good. Thank you. But, but if you had a favorite, <laughs> if you had to pick between the two, mic one or mic two, which one? Uh, also, hi, by the way, Shadow. How are, how are you doing? And welcome on. And how was your stream? I saw you streaming earlier. I think earlier today or, or last night, earlier today or last night. I forget. I, I've been so out of it. I also did like a ton of recording yesterday. I finally officially finished recording my latest Let's Play series, by the way, uh, Uncharted 4. It's all recorded. All the episodes are recorded. I'm going to have to go through and uh, and edit them. Uh, but it came out to be 20 episodes for my first time ever playing Uncharted. I only had one hiccup. That's it. Uh, so really, really excited about that. And uh, uh, I have to finish editing. And I think maybe starting this Wednesday, episodes for that are going to start going out, uh, which I'm very, very excited for. So uh, keep, keep keep an eye out on that. First time ever playing an Uncharted game will be over on, on my YouTube, and uh, I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for you guys also to uh, to experience it because uh, I had a fun time playing it, and I see why people really like the Uncharted games. So, uh, normal listen to laptop speakers, so headphones would be a bad test for me. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Okay, okay. Uh, I looked up my health, health center on the website, and it had two reviews. One was five star, and one was one star. Oof. <laughs> Two might have the tiniest of edges against the first. Really? Okay, so he here's what we're going to do. I'm going to randomly switch. Actually, I'm going to switch now just because, like, I know I was doing a quick test. Let me switch now and tell me if it just, you know, which one you prefer. Because I was talking a little bit on mic one, and now this is mic two. So you just let me know which one you prefer. Which one sounds better for your ear holes? Which one do you like a little bit more? I, I personally, again... I have a favorite, but I don't know. It's just, it's it, audio shit is just so fucking annoying, guys. It's so annoying. There's so much that like goes into it and that still fucking confuses me. It's, it's, it's mind boggling. Like I, I give audio engineers and audio peeps like so much credit because they got so much that they're doing so, so, so much. Uh, let me see. Uh, second might have edges against the first. Okay, this is the second one. So let me, again, l after listening to it for a little bit, let me know which one you guys prefer. Uh, yeah, 18 hours since Friday night for our fundraiser, so my ears may not be the most reliable. I understand, man. I get it. I get it. How'd the fundraiser go, by the way? How how did, how much did you guys raise, and uh, what was the charity for, by the way? Um, I, I, I did have you open with a lurk for a little while, but I was, like, in the middle of recording, and then... Me and Story were talking about some stuff and planning for some future content and everything like that. So it's been a little been a little hectic, a little bit of a, a lazy but also busy weekend. So uh, I have one more shift later today. I had an early sh uh, earlier shift, but also covered the one before mine. So I was up late and very early. Again. Oh, so are you in like in like a group fundraiser and you guys are like taking like shifts, like turns covering for it for particular times and stuff? Because, ah, you know what, that actually reminds me, I forgot to reach out to, I was going to do a charity stream, 
or event this month and i think it started today um and i just i just totally totally forgot i might have to try and reach out to the guy it might be too late but i, I wanted to do something charity related for the month of november so uh i'll have to see i'll have to see but also let me know how this mic sounds compared to the other one i'm talking a little bit longer on it so i just want to make sure it's not too harsh on the ear holes that's that's the big thing because this one does in my ears come off a little bit harsher on the ear holes but that's just me i can i can deal with it because i i'm this i'm the insane psychopath who uses mic monitoring i know i know it sucks but i i honestly i can't operate without mic monitoring it's it's the weirdest fucking thing ever 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 since the go xlr i can't i can't i i need it i rely on mic on, m monitoring Uh, we're raising funds for children hospitals through Extra Life. Oh, nice. Actually, I think I got reached out to Extra Life about a year or two ago. It was whenever my grandma was like not doing good. And I was literally getting ready to do a campaign with them. Uh, it was either Extra Life or some other charity organization. Um, but um yeah, uh, unfortunately, my grandma got sick and I just wasn't able to just I, I told them like, hey, I'm going to have to put this all on hold because uh, I'm going to switch to the other mic profile, by the way. There we go. We're back on the old one. Um, but yeah, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, yeah, my, my grandma got sick and unfortunately I had to like just back out of the whole entire thing and everything. And they said like, oh, reach out to us if you ever want to you know, set something back up and everything. And I was like, okay. And I just totally forgot. They were even going to front like a giveaway sort of thing and everything. I don't know if extra life does that, uh, but I was going to do it. And I just, I got, I got so caught up. So, so caught up in all the, not even drama. It was, it was just, you know, everything that was going on with my grandma and the place that she was at, they were like pretty good, but there were some not so great things that went on there and everything. It was just, it was just a hot mess. It was just very, very much a hot, hot mess. So, but you know, I digress. Um, but that's awesome though. And four hundred and ten dollars. Hey, way to go on that shadow. Way to go. Congratulations. That's pretty good. And and how much longer uh, is that campaign run? Also, shadow. If you want to share any links in the chat, you have my full permission to, bud. You have my full permission to share any charity links in the chat now. Or uh, I'm pretty sure you're over on the Beard Zone Discord. There is the advertise section. If you want to go in there and post it in there. Um, that whole chat in the Beard Zone Discord is exactly for things like this. You want to share like your stream stuff, other content that you're doing, any kind of special events. Like Margin just shared a link to his Discord in there because he was doing a movie night yesterday, which I want to check in with him because he watched a movie that I was interested in and I just totally didn't get the chance to jump in to 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 hang out and watch the movie. But if you want to share it in both the chat here or if you want to go ahead and share it in the Beard Zone uh, Discord, please go ahead, dude. Please go ahead. Uh, we have five more hours and I'm matching the next set of donations that equal up to 50. Oh, dude, that's awesome, dude. I think we did that for one of our charities. I matched. I was like, if we can get this much, I will match it. But that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. I, I, I mean, do you guys have like a goal? I don't know if like you guys had like a minimum goal or you guys were like, let's just see how much we can we can make. Uh, and I really, I want to get back into charity stuff. I did like two or three charity streams and I had a lot, a lot of fun doing them. So I do want to kind of get back into doing charity stuff really, really, really badly. I want to, I really, really, really want to, uh, give me one second. Hold on. There was just one thing that I was looking up that can go, hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. Uh, I'm all for breaking our record of $607 from last year. Hey, well, good, good luck on it, dude. Seriously, I do hope that you break it. Here's a link for the team page. Love it. What are you guys using for it? Oh, it's directly through Extra Life. Gotcha. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do a donation right now, dude. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I got you. I got you. No, no problem, dude. Listen, it is my pleasure, man. It is my pleasure. Chair it. It's, it's for a good cause. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just do that. 
Done. Thirty dollars, my dude. Just sent it your uh, to the uh, to the fundraiser. Just sent it to the fundraiser, man. Uh, and guys, gals, and pals, if you want to support a good cause, go check out Lord Shadow and use Lord Shadow's link to donate to Extra Life, which is supporting children's hospitals through Extra Life. So uh, please go ahead, do that. Want to do? Want to donate to a good cause? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, and uh, thank you for sharing that, by the way, Shadow. Please share it in the Discord, by the way. Share it in the Discord. Um, I can I can go ahead and add an at everyone after you post it, so that way people get the ping for it because I know it's for a good cause and everything. But um, if you want to post it in the Beard Zone Discord under the where is it? Uh, it's under because I just reorganized everything under the content creators, and then there's the self advertise. If you want to go ahead and post it in there, and I'll go ahead and do an at everyone and kind of point some arrows up at it so that way people are alerted to it. And hopefully hopefully it helps. Maybe we'll get a few more donations before uh, the next five hours. So, uh, but hopefully hopefully that helps, man. And uh, thank you for sharing that, by the way. Thank you for sharing that. I, I love supporting causes and I honestly haven't donated to any kind of charity in a little while. So uh, it is the least that I can do, dude. Least I could do. So, uh, but also, how was everybody's weekends? Please. We'll love to hear about you, your days. What did you get up to this weekend? Did you do anything fun? Did you do anything chill? Please let me know. Um, as for me, I've had a very, very like laid back weekend. I don't know if anybody else feels this. I have just been like kind of like in a haze and I don't know if it's just because of like my diabetes because I've been having some like weird highs and lows lately. Um, I'm still trying to figure out shit, <laughs> still figuring it out. Um, so I don't know if it's because of that, but also I think it might, must be because of seasonal stuff. Um, I do get hit with a little bit of seasonal depression, especially when the weather changes so drastically. And I also do get hit with a lot of allergies and like sinus kind of issues and things like that. Um, and I definitely have hit been hit with both of those. Definitely, definitely have been hit with both of those lately. So, uh, Story and I were kind of suffering over the weekend. <laughs> Uh, especially yesterday. Uh, we're definitely feeling a little bit better today. Hold on. There was one thing I forgot to do next. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Sorry, I forgot to set our new sub goal because we hit our last sub goal, which we are going to be doing a giveaway today, by the way. Once, once we're finished with just chatting, we will be doing a giveaway. I think I decided on six or seven games since this is our first giveaway of the month. So we will be doing a giveaway uh, at the end of just chatting. And if anybody wants to enter in, you just got to be here for that giveaway. So uh, make sure that you are here in, in about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes will start it and everything. I'm also excited for today's stream because we're going to be trying out a new game. And then we're going to do a crowd control game, um, which the theme for both game. There's a theme for both of the games. So it kind of works. Uh, I'm taking a break from uh, Lords of the Fallen and Liza P, at least for this Sunday. Um, also because I was going to go back into Lords of the Fallen and do some grinding because I just totally forgot <laughs> to do grinding because we're at a boss fight and I'm definitely under leveled. So I was going to do some off stream grinding. So I'll do that this week. Uh, and then also we're going to do like kind of a community game, like one game you would have to buy to participate. But I think there's like 6,000 players on the game right now. So anybody could join and come come play. And then the other game is like a game that you don't need to buy. You can just join and play with us. So I, I, that is going to be the schedule for today's stream if I didn't mention that earlier. So um, and uh, yeah, again, as my weekend weekend was good, chilled, relaxed, um, really vegged out, like really, really fucking hard. I did some shopping uh, at the pharmacy, had to get some like vitamins and some some stuffs. Um, hung out with some friends, uh, got a lot of recording done. Like I said earlier, I finally finished our next Let's Play, which is going to be Uncharted 4. It's my first time ever playing a Uncharted game, which if you do want to check out any of my YouTube videos, they are all over there on my YouTube channel. That's the link to my YouTube if you want to check my videos out. Uh, but uh, I am going to start probably posting the Uncharted series every Wednesday. Uh, it's a total of 20 episodes. I might pause it midway through only because there are some games that I, do, I did some demos for. I plan on doing some videos for. There's uh, headbangers I wanted to try out. There were a few demos that I wanted to try out and stuff. Story and I might be doing a fun little co-op game called Kalalax, Col which is like overcooked, but you're building IKEA furniture. 
Um, there's a bunch of stuff, so I might be taking breaks, but for the next Let's Play series, it is going to be Uncharted 4, and it's my first time ever playing an Uncharted game, and uh, I really like the way that it came out. And uh, I think for the first, like, two episodes, I was recording using, uh, editing using uh, uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, and then I have fully converted over to using DaVinci Resolve. I actually, for my birthday... Uh, for my parents, I was able to get a uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio. And ever since then, I feel like my editing is getting faster and better. So I like it. I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, and uh, this will be my first Let's Play series on YouTube that is edited in DaVinci Resolve. So very, very excited. I'm also interested in seeing how the videos sound from like the last like five episodes. I used this microphone because that's how many episodes I recorded last night. They're all about like 30 minutes, except the last episode, which had the epilogue, which came out to like 40-ish minutes. But um, I'm interested in seeing the differences between the earlier videos with my old mic setup and then the newer videos with the new mic setup. So we'll see. I'll also let you know, I'll let you guys know how how difficult it was editing and everything when I actually sit down and like take a look at it. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna have to change like all the audio stuff and everything for my edits and everything. So uh, happy Sunday, Chris and chat. Happy Sunday, Turtle. How are you doing, by the way, Turtle? Welcome on in. How's it going? We're just we're just talking about stuff and things, and we're gonna be doing a giveaway here in like a little bit. So you know, um, need DJ to help you confirm audio setup. Yeah, I was I was thinking DJ might be a good person to I mean to 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 ask. I mean, I did have help from Slit, and these were the settings that Slit recommended. The, the right now what we're listening to. The other one was me doing some tinkering today. I did some tinkering earlier, which again I'll I'll switch between the two profiles. So this is Slit settings, and this is the one that I was doing today, um, on my own doing some tinkering. So again, I don't know which one sounds better. I know some of you guys said that two sounded better than one. This is two, the other one was one. So let me know. Um, I feel like there's some tones on this setting that are a little muddied, if that makes sense. They, they sound a little muddy, but it might just be, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing or anything, but yeah, maybe I'll reach out to DJ back on one now. Uh, maybe I'll reach out to DJ and see if he could sit with me one day and kind of go over the settings and everything. I don't know. I don't want to bother the guy though. Cause I know he's, he's pretty busy. He's a busy, busy, busy guy. Busy. So, um, but anyway, uh, again, please let me know how your days have been. Love to hear about you and your days. What did you get up to over the weekend? Did you have a fun weekend? Did you have to work? Um, was it a boring weekend? Was it a chill weekend? Please let me know all of the things in the chat would love to hear about you and your days again i had a pretty pretty easy going weekend pretty chill pretty relaxed and everything uh i also oh also i did do i did add some new things to pepe chris for anyone that doesn't know i am not a png tuber but uh with the whole new audio setup i realized that i could do png related things now on the stream and um i added some new cosmetics i call them cosmetics for pepe chris he's like the png avatar yeah png I'll, I'll show you when we go into the giveaway because normally i turn off my camera for the giveaway i'll turn i'll turn pepe chris on for um for the uh for the giveaway so you guys can see pepe chris uh but i added some new cosmetics for pepe chris um basically basically turtle because like you, you know what obviously i feel like a lot of people know was it waving chris yeah that's that's pepe chris it's based off of the the pepe emote uh, Mark made made me the the Pepe emo. You've probably seen Pepe. Hold on, let me see if I can find a good Pepe emo that isn't spinning. You know, Pepe, this guy. Is he gonna pop? Oh, he's so tiny on the screen. He's 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 right there on the chat on the screen. He's so fucking tiny. But the the Pepe frog, the Pepe frog emo, and then Mark, uh, our good friend Mark Chop, uh, turned me. Here we go. Here's another good one. The Pepe Arrive one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's based off of Pepe, essentially. Essentially, so. But um, Mark made it for us, and then I asked him if he could make an open mouth version for the uh, program that I was going to use for when I talk. 
uh, and he did. And now, and now we have it. And you know, just in case, like I'm not feeling like being on camera, I'm feeling kind of crummy. Uh, I, I feel like I'm having like a gross boy day. I can just go ahead and just turn the PNG video, like the PNG tuber thing on, have that on the screen and everything. And then I, I like the idea of the fun little cosmetics, like depending on what we're doing, like when we were playing hunt, I had him have a little cowboy hat, a little a jar of bees, and then a, a revolver that obviously does not fit in his hand. But I, I thought that was like a lot of fun and we can do a lot of fun little cool bits and, and things like that with him and stuff like that. So uh, giveaway, what's the reason for the today's giveaway? Uh, that is because we hit our latest sub goal turtle. So uh, Friday's stream, we had a goal of 155 subs and we hit that. Uh, and since uh, it is the first month, uh, the way that I've been kind of doing it is that uh, as we hit more and more goals as the month goes on, I then will then up the giveaway. So since it's the first giveaway of the month, uh, if we're hitting a sub goal, uh, we're going to give away either six or seven, six or seven games. Uh, I haven't decided. And uh, actually, today was the day that I went through and I ordered uh, and actually some people sent me some keys. I got a lot, a lot of new games on the giveaway list um so and uh we did also our last uh we did our last giveaway our, our well last stream we did our sub only giveaway which we had a total of 44 winners uh and out of the 44 i am still waiting to hear back from 21 of those lovely peeps and if you want to see that full list just to make sure if you were a winner go head over to the beard zone discord and head over into the announcements section and scroll up just a tiny, tiny bit and you will see a list from one to 21. And uh, if you're on that list, that means that you are a winner uh, and I and you can claim it right now while you're here in chat or if you wanna send me a Discord DM, you can go ahead. But this giveaway that we're doing, anybody who is physically here, who is also following will be able to enter once we do the giveaway, so. Uh, that's a lot of subs. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of subs. Um, a lot of subs, so a lot, a lot of hype and everything. I honestly was just blown away. Uh, the support lately has just been freaking crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it is the first giveaway. So we usually start off with like a low number, like five, six or seven. And then as we set up more sub goals, the 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 game amount that we give away increases as time goes on. That's usually like the beginning of the month is like the reset for that for me. Um, just so that way we have like something to look forward to next time. And like the, the, the chances increase each time as the subs go up, you know, that's, that's the way that I've just been kind of working it. Or sometimes I'm like, ah, you know what? We're going to give away this many. I decided, I don't know. I like to think I have methods to my madness, but sometimes I'm just mad with no method. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but turtle, I hope you had a great weekend, by the way. I don't know if you did anything fun or if you had work or anything, or I don't know what you got up to, but again, guys, gals and pals, please let me know how your weekends were. Would love to hear about your days and your weekends, whatever you got up to. Uh, please let me know. Please let me know in either of the chats, in either of the chats. Um, there were a few things that happened kind of over the past few days since I streamed some stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, Last time, last stream, there was also a funny video that I wanted to I wanted to show you guys. It was from Viva Viva La Dirt League, so we're gonna check that out as well. Um, but a few things happened. Um, I know Wookie is gonna be excited about one of these. I don't know even know if he's listening right now because you know it's Wookie. Wookie's like here, but he's not really here. He's always lurking, always lurking in the shadows. Uh, so this is the thing that Wookie I know would probably be excited about. Uh, Overwatch came out with a new character. Uh, called Muga, Muga, Magu. Uh, and he was talking about them a little bit in Discord last night. Uh, and they're a new tank character. And he was like, they they look like uh, like they're straight out of Moano. Mo Moano? Moano? I, what, fucking the, the, you're welcome, that movie. They look like that they're, they're straight out of that movie. Um, and uh, he's a tank character. And he's got two freaking miniguns. And... Wookie, if you can hear me, I want you to know after you did talk about them, I did look up images of them and holy fucking shit. He is a motherfucking hunk. Oh my, oh my God. God. Uh, but he looks really, really cool. Um, and he's got too many guns, which one of them do incendiary rounds, like fire rounds. And which is kind of cool because it does like fire damage, like passive damage. And I like that each of his guns have like... <laughs> 
<laughs> names. Uh, but he seems really cool, though. He seems really, really, really cool. Not going to lie. After seeing him, Wookiee, kind of makes me maybe want to try some Overwatch again. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, I I'll, I'll be honest. Two, two of the FPS games that I've been wanting to try again, Valorant and, and, and Overwatch. Which I might do I, maybe once the Hunt Showdown event ends, I might I might do some Valo. I know Story's been kind of itching to do some Valo, so we might be doing some Valo again on stream. Uh, maybe in like another. I think I think we got like what like less than twenty days left on the Hunt event, so we'll see. Uh, but he does look cool though. He looks really really cool, and I might I might honestly consider downloading it again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Uh, Awesome, Chris. Thanks a lot. That's a lot of subs. Weekend is going good, but I've been eating a lot of yummy fiber because my bum has been burning. Oh, no. Probably TMI. Uh, so I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, you know, if anything, if you ever feel like it's TMI, you can just be like, yeah, I'm having some potty problems. You know, that's that's probably like a not so much TMI way to, to freeze it, but I it's fine. Listen, we're humans. We all have problems like this, so it's fine. Um... Uh, so I'm sorry, but fiber is working and I'm comfortable so far today. Well, that's good. I'm glad I'm glad that the fiber is working. I'm glad to hear fiber is working. Uh, and fiber is is the key, man. Yeah, everybody poops. Exactly. Everybody freaking poops. OK, we all poop. We're all human. I don't care. You meet somebody. They're like, oh, I don't poop. They're fucking lying to you. They're straight up fucking, fucking lying, lying to you. Don't, you. Don't, believe believe them. Them. don't believe them. Don't believe them. them. Because if they're not pooping, then they're a fucking robot. All right. Everybody poops. Everybody. 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 We all do. All right. You don't need to be embarrassed about it. God. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm glad that you're feeling better, though, Turtle. And yeah, fiber will definitely will solve that. I got to be careful with how much fiber that I eat, especially with my blood sugar and everything, because I'm starting to realize I'm eating too much fiber. And it's also affecting like my body's like process on like digesting sugars and stuff. And I think that might be what caused a low a few nights ago because I had like a salad I had this like superfood shake with like tons and tons of fiber in it. And I think the combination between those two lowered my blood sugar uh, drastically where I had this like insane low overnight. So, uh, but that's awesome. I'm glad that's helping you. Uh, yes, play Overwatch. I'll re-download it. I'll re-download it. I'll re-download it. Okay. I, I, I'm surprised that Wookie hasn't jumped in here with like just him saying Overwatch or just exclamation points, but he's probably not at his computer right now. But I'll redownload Overwatch. I know if I don't invite Wookie to play, he probably will will sue me, or scream at me, or shame me. But I, you know, what? I'll tell you this: I'll go ahead and hit the install button right now. Um, what hard drive do I want to install it on? What hard drive did I have Overwatch on? I don't even remember where I had it on. Um, I wasn't referring to poopy issues, but the dreaded H, if you know what I mean. I think I know what you mean. And I, I appreciate you not like saying it all <laughs> on stream. The discretion is appreciated. Thank you, Turtle. Thank you. Uh, but uh, I'm sorry to hear that. And I, I do hope that it gets better. I do hope that it gets better and that you feel like 100% and everything, but I'm glad that the fiber so far is helping you. So fi fiber fiber is important, guys. Fiber is important for bowel movements, healthy gut. It's very, very important. And if I've learned anything with my diabetes, it is it is super, super cr crucial. It, it really, really is. It really, really is. Fiber, fiber is important. Um, but I, I do hope that you feel better fully soon, Turtle. I really, really do. Um, what else happened? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. We also had there, there's a new Marvel show coming out um, called Echoes, which I totally forgot about this character. I forget the character's name, but a while back, a while back uh, for the um, the Hawkeye show, um, Hawkeye and I forgot the character's name. They go to some like mafia place and there was this girl there. And it turns out that I'm pretty sure the game, the, the girl, which I think her character name is Echo, um, she's Ash, actually Wilson fixes, fixes, fi, fi, Wilson. I can't fucking speak. She's Kingpin's daughter. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And I think we kind of like learn that in the show. Um, but, um, supposedly, this is going to be Disney Plus's, like, first, like, R-rated, like, show or something like that, I think. 
um or at least they're gonna have like an r rating because there's like a lot of violence and stuff like that but it's all about her and i'm pretty sure she's kingpin's like daughter or maybe adopted daughter i i don't know i forget the specifics i might have to go and uh and watch that scene in hawkeye um because she kicked a lot of ass uh in the show uh and gave hawkeye a run for his money and everything like that so um i'll have to go ahead and check it but i think this is going to be the first r-rated disney plus show uh and there was a scene of daredevil hold on a second you may have not seen it da it was right there there he is he was like a blur there he is the daredevil himself which we still don't have an ETA on when the Daredevil show is coming to Disney Plus, but uh, which I loved. I loved the Netflix Daredevil. It's so good. If you have Disney Plus, you can go check out the Daredevil series. It's on Netflix or it's 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 off of Netflix, but over on Disney Plus now. And it's so good. And I really hope that they do Daredevil justice because I feel like it's what the like what started off everything over at uh, at Marvel for the MCU stuff um especially for show kind of stuff so um really really excited that we're gonna be getting more daredevil and somehow he's really i mean it has to do with kingpin so you know that it has to do something with daredevil because kingpin is essentially daredevil's arch enemy if if you had to like say i mean at least for the shows you know but um i'm interested i'm interested in this i think it's gonna be good i'm excited to see what disney can do with like an r-rated series um but it's gonna start streaming on january 10th so if anybody was interested in this, this is coming out January 10th, and uh, I'm pretty excited for it. It looks it looks good, and we'll we'll see what Disney can do with R-rated stuff because it's Disney, and I I feel like not not their cup of tea. But yeah, uh, I need to finish watching Daredevil. I started it when it first came out, but never finished watching it. Yeah, it's over it's over on Disney Plus. It's very very good. Like out of all the Netflix Marvel stuff that came out, what was it? It was it was Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Luke Cage and Iron Fist. I honestly think out of those four, Iron Fist was my least favorite, but I really did like the Defenders that was on Netflix, which was like all four of them kind of meet and have to like take on like Sigourney Weaver, who was also who was in the Defenders. It was very, very good. Um, but I, I think out of the oh, and the Punisher, you're right. Punisher 2. Punisher, which there's talks that Punisher might be returning. And they're gonna get what's his face. The, the, the guy who played Punisher. Oh, my God. He was also in The Walking Dead. Uh, Walking Dead Shane. I always forget his name. John Bern Bernthal. John Bernthal. Um, which also, there's a, there's, a, there's a Walking Dead game coming out, and it actually looks really, really cool. Um, God, what was it called? Walking Dead game. What was it called? Destinies. That's what it's called. Um, Walking Dead Destinies, which th this actually seemed really, really cool. Um, this one, this one's going to be like, okay, when, when was my birthday? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, 10, 10. I was born in 1987. There we go. Cool. Yeah, but Destiny's, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. We'll get that in a second. But yeah, John Bernthal is a fucking amazing. I love him. I love him. So... Uh, but, uh, I hope that they bring it back. I really, really hope that they bring back Punisher and I hope that they do justice for, for Daredevil. I really hope that it's good and everything. So, uh, but you definitely should watch it, Sarah. Definitely. Uh, I love Netflix Marvel shows. I'm right. Uh, I'm really bothered. Disney made Jessica Jones and Luke Cage non-canon. Yeah. I mean, I mean, out of the two, it was so hard because like, I loved both of them. But if I had to rate it, I would say Daredevil was my favorite jessica jones and luke cage kind of fight for spot number two but if i had to pick jessica jones wins second luke cage third iron fist fourth oh wait but punisher is in there okay new rating daredevil jessica jones punisher luke cage iron fist that's my rating that's my rating if i had a rate um but yeah i will disown you forever I heard your Overwatch comments. Twitch chat doesn't like me to try chatting when the VPN. <laughs> Wookie's like, when the VPN is on, I can't, I can't talk. talk. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, obviously, I'm inviting you, buddy. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm inviting you. I, I literally look. I literally have it queued up for download. 
So later tonight when stream is over, I will I will I will download it. I will download it. The new character the new character. You can thank the new character, Wookie, okay? He's a hunk. He looks like he's straight out of your welcome. I'm I, I like he looks cool. So it kind you 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 kind of play had a hand in this. So you're welcome. Uh, my fave Marvel series is Agents of Shield. I can rewatch that forever with it, not getting sick of it. It's my comfort show. I love that. I love that for you. I never really got into Agents of Shield. My dad was super super into Agents of Shield. Very very much so. Uh, to the point where he was like badgering me about it. I'm like, Dad. I'm like, you can't badger me about this. I'm like, if I get a chance, I'll fucking watch it but you can't badger me about this. And he was like, oh, but it's so good. I'm like, dad, if you do this, I'm not going to watch it. And then he stopped finally. And I'm like, all right, now I got to fucking watch it eventually. Because <laughs> I'm like that with shows too. I'm not married to it, but I agree with your rating. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, hey, again, you, you, to each their own with the ratings. No, that's just my personal rating on them. So, uh, but I think, I think a lot of us can agree. Iron fist was like the stinkiest out of the bunch. If anything, if anything, I think a lot of us can agree on that. Iron fist was the stinkiest. <laughs> uh, Moana. Yeah. Moana. Yeah. Well, today is the last day to play the new character until December 5th. Well, looks like I'll be playing overwatch on December 5th then. Oh, well, What's that, a month away? I can wait a month to play Overwatch or maybe jump on randomly with you guys because I know what, what, you, Jess, Freckled, who else plays with you guys? You have like a little crew of your own like when you guys play Overwatch so I can like join you guys to play. Uh, I definitely want to try them out, but I, 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 I'm I not playing it today. That's definitely, that's not a that's not a me game for today. <laughs> brain, brain wise, brain wise. Uh, it sounds like you're describing yourself, Chris. I probably was, maybe, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> uh been out since 2011 it's about time you watch it yeah i mean and that might be nice because I, I like oh i don't know if anybody feels this way i like having stuff on in the background uh i like having like videos and movies and shows and stuff like that in the background especially if it's something that i don't need to pay full attention to um or if it's something that i consider like you know sarah you said a comfort show um i i have some comfort shows too like uh supernatural that's a comfort show for me uh, Walking Dead, that's another comfort show for me because I've seen it now a few times. There's there's a few animes that are exactly the same exact way that like I've seen them a bunch um, that I can have in the background, like Full Metal Alchemist comfort anime completely. So, uh, but I'll have, to, I'll have to check it out. Where where is Agents of Shield? Where where do you watch that? Because I I I don't know. Oh, it's on Disney Plus at the moment. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I need to finish watching. I gotta finish watching Loki season two. I don't know if it's fully out yet. Um, and I got to and, th and then I'll check it out because I think after that, there's nothing else I really care about on Disney plus right now. So, uh, I was into agents of shield and partway through a series, the platform pulled the show, but now it's on Disney plus. Yeah. Uh, you're always welcome to play with us, Chris. I'm surprised that we don't have like the other members of your little overwatch group just popping in and just going like one of us, one of us. <laughs> Uh, me with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I know every season by heart at this point, so uh, I just start it and leave it on while I play games. Yeah, oh, I'm the same exact way too, Sarah. I am exactly the same exact way, whether it's working or if I'm playing something. I like having that extra noise in the background, like just to kind of cut out like any silence and stuff like that. So I feel you on that. Uh, Stargate, Stargate, uh, Stargate, Stargate Atlantis and Stargate Universe. All comfort shows for me. All comfort shows. Uh, I agree with that. That's that's great. And it is all on Prime. I think Atlantis and also SGU, which I recommend SGU. And it breaks my heart to this day that that show only had two fucking seasons. And then they fucking canceled it. And I was so mad about it because it was actually a pretty good series. It was a pretty good series. And then they just, they just cut their losses. And I was like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> I was so, so, so mad. So, 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 so mad. Um... But yeah, sp speaking speaking of comfort and 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 uh, games and shows, uh, The Walking Dead's got a new game coming out, um, and I think we might have mentioned it before. But it looks it, the uh, the idea of it is is interesting. So basically, if anybody hasn't watched The Walking Dead show or read the graphic novels, uh, obviously it's a zombie apocalypse movie or show or series. Um, Basically, there are different characters, like main characters and everything. What this game is, 
uh, which I, I'm glad that they kind of got the likeness from the show, uh, which is really, really cool. I don't know if they got any of the voice actors and stuff, but basically the premise of this is that if you saw the show, you would know specific things that like are like, like happen, right? Um, what this game is doing is presenting like alternate timelines. Like they did a really, really funny trailer for Merle that like Merle gets rescued by some kids and he becomes like this like happy go lucky guy and it, like the protector of like this like little colony of kids or something like that. It was really, really funny. But basically the premise of this game is what if this thing didn't happen, right? What if Rick didn't kill a specific character and the other character actually killed Rick? What would have happened to the group of The Walking Dead and everything like that? So it's a lot of like what ifs. And if you change one aspect of the story, what happens with everybody and everything like that? I really like the premise of this. Uh, I'm interested in seeing it. It doesn't look like the most like diverse gameplay. Um, it's it seems cool. I don't know. It's it seems cool, and it's it's coming out. Uh, uh, it's coming out. Uh, Eleven seventeen. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting it. I do like The Walking Dead. There haven't been a lot of good Walking Dead games. Some of them actually have been kind of flops. But um, I think this will be really really cool. I think it was actually this trailer here. The The Walking Dead kindergarten class yeah he gets rescued by some kindergartners merle <laughs> and then he becomes like their savior and he's like the protector of like this like little group of kindergartners and they call him uncle merle and it's really really funny um but i i, I like this like kind of like what if mentality uh and and stuff that could have happened if like a certain character didn't die or killed somebody else or like did made a different choice and stuff like that um, it's kind of cool. And there is also like some stealth combat, uh, as well as like managing supplies and stuff like that. So I'm interested in seeing how this goes. Um, very, very interested in this. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this game is. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then back, back also to shows, um, there's a new planet of the apes movie. I, I, I didn't even know that they were making another one. I don't think I've seen the last like one or two planet of the apes movies but this one's called kingdom of the planet of the apes and i think in the last movie essentially humans were like sort of like mostly gone or something like that i, I again i don't know um but um i think we're kind of catching up to i think we're slowly kind of catching up to the like where it was in the original planet of the apes where like they had like enslaved humans and uh, had him in cages and stuff like that and like where the original movies were at and everything so we'll see how it we'll see uh, how it goes I don't know um I loved the original Planet of the Apes movies and I got excited when they were starting to make these like more modern Planet of the Ape movies um but I'm kind of like completely off track with Planet of the Apes I don't know there's also there's also like a lot of like stuff that they're bringing back as well like they're they're doing a lot of Godzilla stuff there's like a new love the newer ones. I, I forget which which one I haven't seen. I know I saw the, like in the newest, like, I don't know if you want to call it series. The first one and the second one. I think this is the fourth or the fifth in the newer Planet of the Apes movies. Uh, the the uh, it, it, it's, I'm trying to keep track of like where what was and everything in my brain and everything. So uh, but, um, I mean, I didn't mind them. I didn't mind them. I just kind of forgot about them. Essentially. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, it's mostly going to be CGI, but you know, at least it looks like good CGI. I mean, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, my current now comfort show is Dr. Who. Ooh, love Dr. Who on UK. I player all DW available Sarah Jane and Torchwood episodes. Ooh, Torchwood was very, very good. I liked Torchwood. Um, loved, loved, loved. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of behind on Dr. Who. I haven't seen the past like three, two or three doctors. Cause aren't we back? Aren't they back on David Tennant or David Tennant is going to be the next doctor again. Like he's coming back. I think for like a new run of being the doctor, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. It's been a while since I've seen Doctor Who. I think the last, uh, which I don't think I watched all of it. Peter Capaldi was the last Doctor that I saw. So, uh, and I don't think I finished all of Peter Capaldi's doctoring or Doctor episodes. So, uh, and also, if you have a comfort show, we'll love to hear about what your comfort show is. Uh, like uh, Turtle said, Stargate is one of theirs. 
Doctor Who for Frog. Uh, would love to hear what everybody's comfort shows are. Uh, Sarah's also got Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but love the newer ones. Torchwood, gotcha, gotcha. Um, trying to think what else. Um, this is another thing. I, someone, someone came in and talked about this game a while ago, uh, which is Path of Titans. I know some people were saying that they like this game more than the Isle, but this is like another you play as dinosaur type game. Um, and it, this game's not, it's not available on Steam. You have to like buy it directly through their website and everything. It's still in early access, but, uh, they came out with a new trailer for a new update for the game. And it looks like that they're adding Raptors to the game and you can now pounce on enemies as like a pack of Raptors, which seems pretty cool. I, I, I've never played the aisle. I've seen people play the aisle, but I'm hearing a, from a lot of people that, Path of Titans is already a lot better than the Isle is uh, status wise and also like what it's going to be wise and everything. And again, if anybody doesn't know anything about this game, it's another game that you play as dinosaurs and you got to run around and like either work together with other dinosaurs or like hunt or scavenge and stuff like that and everything. So, um, but um, Raptors are cool. I like Velociraptors and it looks like that they got the right Velociraptors because the ones that they show in Jurassic Park are not the actual Velociraptors. They were more bird-like, like these guys with like feathers and shit. So, um, but holy shit, that poor, poor, poor dino got chewed the fuck up. Oh my God. Um, also, we'll, uh, I will never not watch Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. For, for me... I don't think there's any other comfort shows than the ones that I mentioned. I probably have more that I'm just like forgetting right now, but it's always nice having those comfort shows to have in the backgrounds and everything. Uh, I also have movies like Jurassic Park movies, especially like the original Jurassic Parks. Love, love, love those movies. I own like the first three and I'll just have those on in the background sometimes because again, I've seen it so many times, but just having like comforting sounds or sounds that I'm aware of. Oh my God, you can jump on, pterod uh, on pterodactyls. Oh my God. That was actually really, really cool. What the fuck? <laughs> um, oh my god. Uh, clamp attack for that, and he just dragged that raptor down into the water. Yeah, th this game looks like really, really, really cool. Um, I might have to get it I again. I think you have to go onto their site in order to get Path of Titans. Uh, and I forgot how much it was, but um, I think who was it? I think Jess really likes uh. The Isle. I think Jess was very, very much into the Isle, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to ask her next time. Um, but it's out now on Nintendo Switch. Out now on consoles. Um, I don't think... I don't think it's available on PC. Console eShop. Yeah, I don't think it's available on PC. Oh, no, it is. PC full mobile uh, and mobile full access. Oh, so the PC gets you mobile access, too. That's that's actually kind of interesting. I don't know. And 30 bucks. That's not too bad, actually. That's honestly not really, really that bad. That's not that bad for a game. I think I think it is still early access, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we'll also we'll never watch Star Trek. Captain America is my my comfort movie. Man, Freckled would love you. <laughs> if Freckled could hear that. Freckled is literally the embodiment of Captain America. He has a Captain America shield in the background on his stream. <laughs> uh, I think my comfort series is Eureka and Charmed. Ooh, uh, Charmed, unfortunately, like I don't mind Charmed, but because of a certain person from my past, not a huge fan of Charm. Like, you ever, you, like, you know, like there's like a movie that makes you sad. I, I've had shows and movies like that that have been ruined because of somebody and uh, very much Charmed is one of those, but I still like Charmed. Uh, but as for Eureka, I used to love the heck out of Eureka. Eureka was fucking great. Fantastic. Nobody ruined that for me. <laughs> so, uh, but thank you for sharing, by the way, Krista. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, Top Gear UK, The Grand Tour, Doctor Who, Old and New, uh, Time Team, archaeology show i think you've talked about time team before that sounds familiar uh blocks are you reading my mind blocks is here hi blocks <laughs> yeah uh but i think i think yeah you've talked about time team wait 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 wait. blocks talked about it we actually isn't is that that sound effect blocks is that sound effect from time team i think that sound effect that you shared is from time team yes the, the newer one that you've... Uh, uh, that, no? Okay, then I don't know what time team is. I don't know what that is. 
Uh, I'm trying to justify buying the Captain America Lego shield, but it's like $200. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking Lego, so it makes sense. Uh, but I want everything Captain America. Well, think about it. Like, as a, if it's a treat for yourself, Sarah, maybe as it gets closer to your birthday, then kind of... Registration? Chicken fucker? Well, I know that's... That's not... That's not time one. The, the, it's your, your first sound effect, by the way. Your first sound effect is time team. That one's from, um... Oh, my God. I know the name of the movie. Um... Fuck. I'm bl I know that's not time team. I know that one's not time team. St uh, super troopers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I know that one's super troopers, but your first one is that first one from time team. Careful where you look, where who looks. Okay. Freezing, but might need to close the balcony door. I mean, that, that would definitely, definitely help. Uh, hopefully it warms up. I am sweating right now. <laughs> Eventually. I've been freezing all day and now I'm fucking sweating right now. It's disgusting. Uh, time team each episode featured a team of specialists carrying out an archaeological dig over a period of three days with Robinson explaining the process in lay terms. Okay, so I don't think that was the one with Jeff Goldblum then. So, uh, Blocks, you in the UK then? Uh, bought the Infinity Gauntlet Lego back in September for 90 bucks. Might actually go and buy the shield eventually. I want to build them on stream. Do it. I have so much stuff, guys. I have so much stuff that I need to do that for. I kid you guys not. I have so many buildable things that I got to do. If you look back in this corner. Hold on. Where's my zoom? Zoom. Enhance. Not on my head. Uh, but if you look back there in this corner, that's a box of Legos. There's another box of Legos. There's, I think, three boxes of Legos. There's a Metalworks project for a Boba Fett head. And then this right here is a paintable Spider-Man that Freckle got me. Uh, I have to build all of these on stream, and I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting um, <laughs> to, to do it. And Story is getting so mad at me that she's just straight up like, if you don't do it soon, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, oh, God, okay, okay, I'll do it. I, I, I Freckle asked me if I could do uh at least a spider-man on stream so i do need to do that at least so but you should totally do it that stuff's fun to watch on stream uh balls balls are also fun to uh to build on stream yes lego balls i get what you were saying z totally gotcha and didn't uh change the context of your message in any way shape or form but how are you doing by the way z welcome on in uh the first one is from the adventures of right buckaroo bonsai across the eighth dimension gotcha no, from Idaho. Gotcha, gotcha. We drove through Idaho, actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did. I feel like we drove through... Maybe I'm thinking of... We didn't drive through Iowa. We didn't drive through Iowa. Uh, love that. What is that emote? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Demo's also here. Hi, by the way, Demo. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Don't really have any area to build on yet, but hoping I can clean up and organize eventually so I can do it. Uh, I need to get me a capture card for my camera first as well, though. Um, right. Did you say you had like a DSLR that you were going to be using for your capture, like to, to do your camera and everything? I forget if that was what you were saying that you had, Sarah. Uh, tired as fuck. Been cleaning all day. Nice. Nice. I feel you on that. Got it. I got hit with the pre-winter wipe down. What is the pre-winter wipe down? I don't know what that is. Uh, clapping beer. I love that. It looks like a, like one of the w waving flailing are two men type dudes, but I can see it beer because the top of the glass also india is just howling outside uh spider chris spider chris has many talons and diabetes yes thank you thank you yes uh deal dslr or gopro but the gopro is super old so i don't know if it works as well as long as it has an out if it has an hdmi or like so so on the camera should be a power port if it has another port then that means that it should. I think the last uh, GoPro that has an out is um, is uh, it was the GoPro 5, the Hero 5, I think was the first one that had that functionality. And now it uses an app, sadly, for like, I think the latest, like last two use an app. So they eventually got rid of the physical port and everything like that. Uh, but as for a DSLR or a GoPro, I mean, you could use Z's HD60, you could use that. Um, I would say the the best kind of capture card. I mean, I mean that is definitely an option because I'm thinking you would have to run. Actually, that would work. 
That that honestly would work. All you got to do is plug the capture car into your computer, and then you would just have to run from the camera a whatever plug is on your GoPro or your uh, or your DSLR. Uh, have that plug to HDMI. You put that in the in on the capture card, and then you then just add that onto your uh, on your PC. So you could do that if you wanted to. There are also some other capture cards as well. Uh, yesterday, I told my son to go into his room and pick out five toys to give away. He got really into it and wants to give away all of his toys. Aw, even his Legos. Aw, he's six, so he's following through and giving away all of his toys is not an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know what? Maybe just sit him down and, and say, you know, that's that's like very nice that he wants to do that and everything. Uh, and But maybe say like, hey, you know what? Like you should save some toys obviously for yourself to play with, but also for maybe next time that you guys want to do like uh, to give away to charity or to uh, gi give away toys uh, in that situation. Maybe putting it that way to him, Turtle. Like, so he has some toys and then that way next time you guys decide that you're going to give away toys um then he has other toys to give away for next time around maybe, maybe putting it that way again i mean you're you're the parent so just give give it giving you my, my thought on it uh jimbles has some good emotes i love those oh my god <laughs> uh wait can you connect it straight to capture card i have an elgato capture card but i figured i needed a cam link for the camera so cam link is gonna get you um you gotta be careful with DSLRs because we actually just found out with stories, I tried giving her my cam link, but her DSLR is older and they came out with software to use and it turns out that she actually doesn't get a full clean signal using the cam link for whatever reason. It's actually like really, really fucking annoying. She ended up having to, uh, for her stream now and her DSLR, use a different cable, not with the cam link, and pay five dollars a month for the program because that's the only way she can get a clear hdmi out to her computer so kind of dumb kind of dumb on that uh but you don't necessarily need a cam link you could use any capture card if you wanted it's just like obviously if you have that capture card you know the capture card is going to do like audio and stuff like that and everything so more like you would probably want to use that for a um use that for like your games and stuff like that but you could use any capture card that you want at, honestly with it so uh, it would just have to go from the camera to the capture card in and then you plug the capture card in to your pc and everything so but to eliminate all the wires a, a cam link would be great uh there's also some other cam like other like alt cam link ones i have some links for some other ones that are not the the straight up cam link that would work with a dslr and everything you would cut down on cables and everything also, if you have a capture card already that you're using for like switch or something like that, you know, it is kind of annoying to have to like unplug it each time you want to do the cam or if you wanted to do a cam and you're planning on doing a switch game, then you're kind of stuck between deciding, well, do I want a camera on or do I want the gameplay on, you know, kind of annoying. So, um, go, uh, go pro compare page on discord. Thank you for that. Thank you, frog. Uh, it's literally brand new, still in the box, found it in my dad's stuff when we went through the house. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome, Z. Uh, you don't need the cam link for a capture card. Yeah, you don't don't necessarily need it. You don't need a cam link. I just like the cam link. I like it. So uh, if you want to use a DSLR, you need a cam link. Yeah, it, it depends on the cameras because some of the cameras, like stories, didn't work with the cam link because it was like right around the period where you could plug it to go out, but then they came out with software and stuff. So you really need to kind of look into it. Sometimes you can use the cam link and the cam link is more advertised because it will provide a clean signal. But unfortunately, like for hers, she can't get that clean out signal. Um, and that's because of just like the time that that camera came out and the software and everything like that. From 2011, yeah, uh, it's a Canon. I have to check and see what hers is because hers might act. I think actually hers is a Canon because ESO sounds familiar. So it has an HDMI, etc. Yeah, you might end up having to use the software um, because I know Canon has one. I'll, I'll check with Story on break and see which one hers is because she read online one place that like, yeah, you could use a cam link. You could use a capture card. That's great and everything. But then when she deep dived a little bit more, they said like, oh, you have to use a software and the software is like if there's like something in the software that talks to the camera and allows the camera to use clean out but there's features locked in that software where she won't get the full 1080 or whatever resolution that she wants to unless she pays monthly for the software. So it's kind of shitty, 
uh, but not all DSLRs are that way. I'll, I'll double check with her and everything, but she was doing a lot of research into it. I was like, man, I knew nothing about that. And I'm pretty sure hers is a Canon. Um, but I'll check and see what model she has um, and, and check with you and everything. You kind of have to deep dive. Some of these things, people are just like, yeah, you can use it with anything. But, you know, especially if it's like a little bit of an older one, they might have came out with a companion software and it's uh, it's like kind of locked to that companion software, unfortunately. So because she was having all sorts of problems, like the, the like sometimes the footage was coming in blurry with the cam link. And I was like, that that shouldn't be it. Like, I've seen so many videos of people literally taking the cable goes in the camera, goes in the cam link, plugs into the computer, pops up, everything looks fine. I'm like, I don't know why your camera's having this problem. Uh, and then she found out why. So thanks for the tip. No problem, turtle. No problem. Um, that's very generous of him though. That's very generous on him. Just wanted to give away all of his toys. It's very, very sweet. Uh, not going to lie. would hundred percent buy a new DSLR if I need to. Uh, I've been trying to find a reason to buy a new one, even though I don't do photography as much anymore. Yeah. I mean, I got story that camera a few years ago. That was a, I think that was a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. And I got it as like a bundle for her. And I knew at the time it wasn't the best camera, but my thought was like, if she wants to do streaming and stuff, she can borrow my cam link and and use it or you know and obviously for going out and doing pictures because at the time for the company that she worked at she was like taking pictures and stuff like that so i figured you know can use it for work could use it for content could use it either way um but it is a little outdated now so but i don't know i mean from uh, you have a cam from 2011 i mean that's pretty old i mean upgrade could be on the table and everything that's that's pretty practical practical a lot of the a lot of the newer cams have like a straight out that you can just plug in like just just it's just good to go like it's made it like you can then not only just use it as like regular dslr but you can also just plug it in and just use it on the computer which is really really nice so uh bought mine for like for one to two k dollars because uh, uh i said i was gonna get more serious about photography but then i lost interest and said well i mean you know what maybe maybe see if you can use it maybe see if you can repurpose it and then just have it as your webcam um, and then if later down the line, you know, you want to upgrade because you want to get more into photography or something better, but just do some research on the camera. I would say, I'll let you know which one story has, because I'm pretty sure hers is a Canon. Um, I'll let you know what model it is because she like read, it was like a specific model that like here before they added the support for, but it's locked to the, so the support software, which was kind of stinky. So, uh, I have a camera made in the 60s and 70s, not digital, made in Sweden. Ooh, nice. You know what a camera I always wanted? I had I had like a broken one growing up. It was uh it was like one of the the Polaroid cameras. I wanted a Polaroid camera so fucking badly. And my grandma had one and it was broken. But I used to pretend when I was really, really little that it worked. So I would go around pretending to take pictures and then just shake nothing in my hand. <laughs> Like I, I must've been like five or six at the time. I must've been like five or six, but I would just go around just shaking my hand with nothing in my hand, just going like, hey, check, check this, this out. out. I got, I a, got picture. a picture and it was just nothing in my hand and nobody, nobody stopped me. I just looked like a fucking idiot. So I was like, all right, cool. This is great. This is great. <laughs> um, have a command in the 60s, 70s, uh, has, has all bald 500 CM. Nice. Those are cool. I've been wanting one. Yeah. Also, Sarah, a place also to check. Like if you don't want to spend a lot of money, check like eBay and stuff like that. Um, just check like eBay and stuff because sometimes people will just sell their old cameras that like they don't use anymore. Like sometimes they might need a little bit of work. Like there might be some like little bit of rough, like rough tear on the cameras and everything. Uh, and it may not come with the lens and stuff. So you might have to like go do some extra shopping, but sometimes you'll save a lot of money. Like I've seen some DSLRs on there for like two, $300. And, you know, comparing to the prices when they first came out, like you're paying closer to like a grand or something like that. Sometimes checking on eBay or places like that, that sell like refurbished goods and stuff like that. You sometimes can find like a, a pretty pre-owned camera. Um, that would be a nice little upgrade, but isn't going to break your bank and everything like that. Plus also might have the support that you want that would just plug and play right into a capture card and or a, uh, a, a cam link or and if again, if you want the links, I can send you some of those cam link um, stuff because also uh, Z uh, Sarah w lives in Sweden. So I don't know how much that would be for shipping and handling to ship the capture card over there and everything, but <laughs> just th just thinking outside the box for all the options I, I, that might be like your like, you know, cheapest scenario i guess i don't know that's uh, you know 
Uh, niece loves my Polaroid. She always wants to steal it from me, but I refuse to let her use it because uh, film is expensive as fuck. Yeah, even like those like newer ones, the the you, you know which ones I'm talking about, the ones that you can go to like Best Buy and buy the the like newer Polaroid cameras. Those are expensive, and the film's really expensive too, like real fucking expensive. Uh, but I also ha still have mom's old Pol Polaroid from like the 80s or something. That's fucking awesome. I wish I kept that camera that my grandparents gave me, the broken one, because maybe I could have gotten it fixed one day. Uh, ha saw bald. I what? Oh, ha saw bald. Okay, okay. Listen, do you do you really think that me? I I, I know I how, to, know spell how spell to spell or speak. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to do it. I don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'd only need the uh, camera body since I already have the lenses. Yeah, I mean, you might need to buy, like, an adapter um, because, uh, you know, some of them have, like, different threads and stuff like that. But sometimes you just got to buy the adapter, which those are pretty cheap. Like, Story had to get one for one of the lenses that she had. And I think she spent, like, five bucks on the adapter for a lens that she really wanted that wouldn't fit on her camera. So she has the adapter, and now she can just throw anything on there, like, for that particular size and everything. So... Also, yeah, I think shipping would cost more than a new capture card. I do appreciate the offer, though. Yeah. Sour, do me a favor. If you want options for the cam link and also the cam link alternatives, which probably would be the best one, because I wouldn't say you would need a full capture card because it sounds like you have one because you already do switch. Uh, let me know. I can send you some links on some good ones that would provide good, clean HDMI out that you could get and try. And then, you know, if you needed to get a new DSLR, you could and everything, because I, I personally like when I was talking to story, I'm like, you're really going to pay $5 a month to like use this software. I was like, let me at least look online and see if there's an alternative. And she's like, no, nah, I'm just going to do it. Um, so, you know, I, I can always send you those links and everything. If you, if you want, uh, if want cheap digital, have a look at camp, uh, camp snap photo, camp snap photo.com. Thank you for that frog. Blad, not bald. No, I'm going to say blad. I'm going to say bald instead of blad bald, bald hassle. Hassel bowed. Because I'm a heathen and I don't know how to speak English, Frog. I appreciate you trying, man, but I just, I can't, dude. I can't. I can't read. <laughs> I don't, as Slit usually says here in the beard zone, I don't know how to read. Me too, Slit. Me too. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway now. Um, uh, we are going to be doing a little bit something different today. Uh, I'm going to be taking a trip to Cali and bringing you guys along with me, uh, because we're going to be trying out a new game and that's the only hint that you guys get. So we're taking a road trip to Cali. Uh, I'm going to be a tourist there. So very excited for that. Uh, after that, we're going to do some project Zomboid with Twitch integration. And then after that, I have three options for us to do as a community game. Uh, one is Jackbox. One is a free to play type game that we could do uh, together that people might need to download. And then the other one is a game uh, that I kind of recently have been looking at again that has like a lot of player potential in the game. So uh, we might do that. At, uh, we might do one of those three, depending on how late the stream goes. But surprise game, a.k.a. road trip to Cali. Then uh, then Project Zombie with crowd control, and then we're going to wrap things up if we got some time with a possible community-ish game for today, if we got time. So, uh, we'll do things. No problem, Sarah. No problem. Uh, that's similar to Ba Humbug. Uh, yeah, Bald Humbug. Mm -hmm. Bald. Just like my, my chrome. My, my dome. My dome chrome. Uh, Camp Snap is around $70. $70. Okay, you interest me. Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. Oh, and it's got no screen. Uh, oh, you know what it reminds me of? It's like a fancy disposable camera. It's giving me like fancy disposable camera type vibes. That's actually pretty cool. Is it digital though? Like, or does it use film? Flash selector, vintage style, drop proof LED. Pop buttons. Oh, and it's got a, mem a memory card. Okay, so it is a digital, but it looks like that it is. Uh, it uh, it looks like that it is uh, disposable. That's actually really really cool. How's the quality on the photos? Eight megapixel. That's not too bad for eighty bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hope I can make it to the community game. Got D&D. Yeah, the, the only game that we may not do is community game. I'm kind of leaning towards Jackbox. There's, there's two games 
that I'm planning, uh, like that I'm kind of tossing between. There, there's technically three, but it's Jackbox and then this other game that I've been kind of looking at. Um, and it's because of demo. So thank you, demo. But that game, I think there's 6,000 people playing, but you would have to buy it to play it. But I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards Jackbox if I was. It, it's Foxhole. Foxhole is the other game that I was thinking about because uh, uh, I jumped on last night to try it out. And uh, oh, my God, they have improved that game majorly. I think the last time that I played that game was like three or four years ago. I think two, like two or three years ago, the game has changed drastically. Like, holy shit. It's, it's basically planet side, but World War II top down. And last time I checked, there's about 7,000 people playing. It's that big of a war game. It's insane. It's insane. Uh, it's uh, almost a throwaway digicam. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, but you can reuse it, right? Like you can you can take the photos off and then and then reuse it, right? That's the that's the premise of it. I'm assuming, right? <laughs> ban ban demo. No, it's time out demo. Time out demo. That's that's what it is. See, I like that. I might honestly get that for myself because sometimes I would prefer taking photos on something like this. Like it's nice having my my phone. But I don't know. I wonder if they sell like accessories for it. Are there like accessories for this thing? Like like a lanyard or something like that and everything. Oh, we have one more thing to do before before we go into our giveaway. There was one more thing that we got to do before the giveaway, uh, which I'll show you guys right now. Um, but I wonder if there's like accessories for it. So. And I'm going to need your help. I'm going to preface this because I will need your guys help for clipping things and possibly doing backtracks, which I think only mods can do backtracks. So I'll have to do it myself. Uh, but please help clip this because I need to make social posts for this. So please help. Uh, but G Fuel, uh, which it just reminded me uh, that that timer went up, that announcement. Uh, G Fuel was kind enough to send me a new flavor to try out for you guys, gals and pals. So um, help me out. Suck a dick! Sorry. Ah, oh, man. Excuse me. That cough was just something else. Uh, but anyway, thanks for that, Blocks. <laughs> anyway, um, so help me out. Make up for that. Anyway, um, Chris broke it again. Sure. Yeah, I totally broke something. Absolutely. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that was a cough demo. That wasn't words. That was just a cough. Anyway, so G Fuel was really, really kind to send me a G Fuel to try out for you guys, gals and pals. I uh, was very excited about this because if you don't know me, I love Mega Man. Uh, and uh, their last Mega Man flavor was very, very good. That's the Blue Bomber Slushy. It is raz uh, blue raspberry with vanilla. It's very, very good. Would highly recommend it in my top five to this day. Um, so they sent me this other one and they did send me it here right now. It is available now. It is the Mega Man Rush, which is cherry slushy. Uh, and they actually sent me the collector's box, which I totally didn't even realize what was in the collector's box. I thought it was cool. Um, so if anybody doesn't know Mega Man, Rush is Mega Man's robo dog. Um, so not only do you get this dope shaker, you get this dope shaker. You also do get a collar. Which I was like, oh shit, because Rush is a dog. And you also do get a collar as well. Uh, or, or leash as well. I don't know if I'll use the leash with Indy because it is a little bit of a shorter leash. But I thought that was really, really cool. It's a Mega Man G Fuel leash and collar. Um, you obviously get the, 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 the tub. And... You also do get the shaker, which has Mega Man and Rush on it, uh, which I thought was really cool. And again, this is Cherry Slushy. If you don't want the collector's box, they also do have just the tub as well. So you can get the tub. And again, it is Cherry Slushy. So if you like Cherry, I have tried some G Fuel Cherry stuff in the past. So I am also very interested in checking out because the, ch the Cherry Lollipop that we tried out last time was very, very good. Very, very delicious. Um, not saying would use, but would they fit either doggy? I mean, I'll show you what the collar looks like in a second. I'll show you what it looks like. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing. I'll show you guys everything in the box, um, which also love the design of the box. Again, I'm a big Mega Man fan. I love Mega Man. I also want to do uh, a Mega Man uh, crowd control run eventually. 
but it's got both the characters. It's got, oh, that's the wrong button. It's got Mega Man and Rush on the box. More Rush, more Rush, Rush. Fucking love Rush. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? Here, actually, instead of zooming in on this camera, we can go ahead and do the face cam. And I can do face cam with the overview. Which mode I forget is it? Ah, that's wrong. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. That's back to that mode. It's this mode. Yay. Hello. Hello. Um, wrong way. That's me. I'm gonna go this way. Why can't I go anymore that way? What the hell? Okay, well, I guess that's as much as it lets me go. But yeah, the crotch cam. Everybody's favorite, favorite angle here. But we got the box. It's actually a very, very nice looking box. Very, very nice. Please take clips. Thank you. So we do get the the regular it's a it's a regular plastic G fuel shaker. Also, I don't like how this camera angle makes everything look. It's a little warped. But we do get the the Rush and Mega Man on here. Uh and it is clear and red and blue for all the colors. Please clip. So we get that. And we also do get the collar, which this I might put on Indy, honestly. I mean, if we, especially because we didn't have any backup collars and his collar is getting kind of kind of gross right now. But um, it is a nice collar. It's just like a, a very standard, standard collar. But I do like, plus I normally don't use the collar for him for taking him out on walks and stuff like that and everything. I actually reuse a harness because he's just a pulley boy. So, but there's the collar. It, it is adjustable. So if you need to make it bigger, make it smaller and everything you can. But I thought that was really, really cool and clever. Uh, and then we also do have the leash, which again is not the longest leash. Look kind of small, well, because it's it's adjustable, so you can make the you can make the collar bigger, but the the leash is kind of tiny. But you know what? Sometimes having a tiny leash is okay. Um, I personally like having a tiny leash on hand, so that way if I really need to like kind of get something on Indy fast and like get him out the door and everything because I have all his gear in one place or as a backup leash in the car or something like that. But it is it is a pretty sturdy clip and everything. It feels like a regular clip for like a leash and everything like that. But it does also have Mega Man and Rush on here as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, de decent quality, decent quality. But, you know, I think it's I think it's honestly clever doing a leash and a collar in a G Fuel box. So um no sticker or anything but we do obviously have the piece of the resistance the rush flavor the cherry slushy which i am going to try this out on stream for you guys gals and pals we're going to try it out right now please clip please clip so looks kind of small but yeah again i mean listen if you got like a big big dog like if you got like husky or like the, the leash the leash is probably not the best for for you know a bigger dog God, why did it do that with my camera there we go eh 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 there we go uh the 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 leash probably not best for like a super super big dog but the collar you could probably use with a bigger dog I would say Pro probably could so all right let's go ahead and try it out and then once I'm done trying this out we're then we'll we'll do our giveaway so but um, let me go ahead and try this flavor. I'm excited. Again, the last cherry flavor that I tried for G Fuel was the uh, the the Pac-Man Cherry Lollipop, which was very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very cherry. If you're not a fan of cherry flavored whatevers, I probably wouldn't recommend cherry flavor because, oh, God. You know, let me let me back up for my keyboard before I get G Fuel powder, because, you know, first time you got to have to dive through here to get the shaker. Ooh. oh, yeah. Oh, man. OK. I like that. That's actually really, really good. Hold on. A 
You know, it probably isn't a good idea doing this on my desk. Hold on. Um, let me do this really, really quick. Hold on. Uh, all right. Sorry, I also had to turn the AC on because I am sweating balls right now and I refuse to take my hoodie off because I'll be freezing immediately because diabetes is a bitch. But anyway, uh, mix it up. So let's go ahead and try this out again. This is the Rush G Fuel Cherry Slushy flavor. Um, I did try a little bit of just the powder because I got some on my fingers and it is good. Very cherry. It tastes like a slushy. That 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 tastes like a, a, a like a cherry icy. It's not, you know what? Compared to compared to the um God, whatchamacallit? Compared to the cherry lollipop, this one isn't as much cherry. They didn't go ham on the cherry on this one. It is cherry, but it's got like a slight like little after kick that reminds me of like the consistency of an icy almost or like the aftertaste of an icy, it's really good. Oh, hell yeah, that's really, really good. So I would say if you're not the biggest fan of cherry, maybe steer clear of this one. But if you if you like cherry and you like like cherry slushies or like ices, this is really, really good. Very, very, very good. And also, just in case if you didn't know this, uh, I am a partner with G Fuel. So thank you again, G Fuel, for the partnership. It's been a beautiful relationship. But you can go ahead and check out G Fuel for yourself. Uh, and you can actually use my code, ChrisXChat, to save 20% off of this G Fuel pack. Um, so whether you go for the shake, uh, the, the whole collector's box, or just the flavor, you can go ahead and use uh, my code, ChrisXChat, to save 20% off of your order. And if there's anything new, you can use the code to save 30% off within the first 48 hours of a new product coming out. So definitely recommend it. You like cherry stuff? Check out the Cherry Rush. Very, very good flavor. Uh, would probably give this... I'm going to give it... Ten, uh, let's see, out of 10... Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.7 7 rushes spring jumping onto the next platform. Uh, so thank you. That was that was very good. Very, very tasty. All right. Now that we did that, now we can do the giveaway. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for the clips. Have I tried the money pool flavor? Yes. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Um, I was very, very hesitant about the mighty poo flavor. I was very, very, very hesitant about the Mighty Poo flavor. I didn't think I was going to like the Mighty Poo flavor uh, because I had never tried corn soda before. I've never tried out corn soda before, so I was kind of like wish-washy on it. But, but I ended up falling in love with it. It's very, very good. It's like, it's it's good. It's it, <laughs> I, it, it's funny because I tried it and I was like, man, that's actually pretty good. And then I let Story try it and Story is like, I hate that I like this. That was Story's response to trying it out. And actually, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can see it on this camera. Uh, let me see if I just go like this way. Wrong way. If you look over this way and right there. Where's the zoom? If you look closely. Okay, now, now we're lost. Ugh. Oh, wait. 
There he is. <laughs> right above the machete. Right above the machete. There, there. Uh, they actually sent me the collector's box, so it came with a um, a U2s or a vinyl figure of the Mighty Pooh himself. Um, so yeah, um, it's it's good. I I honestly didn't think I was gonna like it. I honestly, I honestly didn't think that I was gonna like it, but I ended up then liking it, and uh, it is tasty, and I still have some left over. I might actually have to pick up some. So, um, dude, the stainless shaker, steel shaker is top tier. By the way, I'm so glad I got one of those. I swear it, it keeps my G feel cold for like the whole day. Yeah, it's they're good, and there's two. There's so there's there's two different types of steel shakers. There's the regular ones, and then there's these guys, which these are collectible ones. Um. They're slightly, slightly different, but they both are freaking amazing. They're both very, very good. And I was so happy when G Fuel decided to come out with the steel shaker because nothing against the regular shakers. Like I love the rush one. I really, really do. But the steel shakers are just, they're just, they're so good. They're so, so good. They keep it cold. I, I like, I, I, I just, I, I prefer them much, much more. And the, the cherry blossom one that you got is one that I really, really wanted to get so badly. <laughs> so bad but i have so many still shakers i have a white one for uh that g fuel sent me then a white one that i gave to story then i have the onyx black one then i have the regular g fuel color small one then i have this one then i have the resident evil one like they've sent me so many fucking shakers that i'm like i can't justify getting another shaker on top of it you know <laughs> so i actually i ended up giving jess and freckled shakers when they were here i was like here take a shaker each goodbye <laughs> I didn't give them each a shaker because I just had too many. I was like, please, uh, take it, take it. Uh, do it. Uh, I think I'm going to start using mine as just a regular water bottle as well. Because Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, that's the beauty of these things, by the way. The shakers for G Fuel, like you don't just have to use them for just G Fuel. You don't have to. You can use them for water. You can use them for any beverages. And then obviously, if you get some G Fuel, then you, then you got a shaker ready to go, you know? Also, hi, Sleazy. Hi, buddy. Always woke. <laughs> Welcome on back. How are you doing, buddy? Maybe give away some shakers for give. I thought about that. Uh, actually, you can thank Story for that idea. She's like, why not do like a like a giveaway for the some of the shakers that you don't use and then like autograph them and then you can then send them out to people. And I was like, that's an idea. She also thought the same thing for the amount of G Fuel shake uh, stickers I have. And I was like, you know, that's also another good idea. I'm like, I thought about that. <laughs> So maybe, maybe. Also, you might be noticing, guys, gals, and pals in chat that some people are typing in exclamation point join G-A. That's exclamation point J-O-I-N-G as in give, A as in away. Uh, and that is because we are about to do our giveaway. So we hit our sub goal last stream, uh, which was 155 subs, uh, which was amazing. Uh, we do have a new sub goal on the board. If we do hit that latest sub goal, we're going to bump up from the amount of games that we give today. Uh, I think today we decided, I think it was anywhere from five to seven to start off because this is our first sub goal giveaway of the month. And then next uh, next giveaway, we're going to bump it up from whatever we had for today. And that's usually how I work the sub goals. Like every single time we bump it up and we bump it up. So, uh, but hold on, let me catch up with chat. But yeah, if you would like to enter, there's three things you got to do. A, you got to be here. B, you got to be following. And C, you got to type in exclamation point join GA. That is exclamation point J-O-I-N-G as in give and A as in away. Um, so please, please, please go ahead Type that into the chat if you would like to be in. So far, these are the all the people that I have. I actually just had an idea for a thing. So please give me one second. Um, I had a, a brilliant idea on a possible thing for our Pepe Chad. I had I had a great idea for for Pepe Chad. Oh my god, how did I not think of this sooner? How did I not think of this sooner? How did I not think of this sooner? Oh my God, guys, I am so stupid. Oh God, I forgot about that G Fuel. That flavor was disgusting. Disgusting, yuck. Um, no, that's stinky. Trying to find, uh, trying to find, just like a good image for this. Hold on. Join Goose Attack. Yep, that could be one. That could be one. 
Um, I noticed it too. Hi, by the way, Margin. How was movie night, by the way, Margin? Throw him in a box with a couple of tubs and call it a G Fuel Jackbox Jackpot giveaway. No, but see, I would want to spread the love. I would want to spread the the uh, the love across or out across out. I, don't know, I would I would want to I would want to spread the love. You know what I mean? Instead of just like giving it to one person, I would want multiple people to have a chance to win. You know, you know, you know. Ooh, that's actually a good one. Uh, hold on, I'm doing a thing, guys. I'm doing a thing. Join Goose Assault. Yep, that could be one of them. Yep. Uh, look, give me your best. What does the G and the A stand for in the giveaway option? Um, go ahead and let me know in the chat while I do this really, really good idea that I didn't think of earlier. And now I'm delaying the giveaway because of this. So uh, give me one second. I have to do this. This is this is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is this is amazing. Why did I not think uh, think of this sooner? Beautiful. Uh. Okay. Hold on. I know what I gotta do. Uh, edit. This is this is mandatory. I need to do this. I need to do this, guys. So negative. Let's try ten. 20, 30, 40, 50? Yeah, that's good. 50 is good. 50 is good. This, this is, I need to do this. This is, this is, this is important. Oh, come on. Okay, that's 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 good enough for right now. That's that's good enough for right now. I'll have to do some finer tweaking later on. Um, let me let me just set up the final final little bits for this. Uh, what do we got here? What are some of the good GAs? Join Goose Attack. Do not do an Oi Frog and fall asleep and miss two giveaway chances in one evening. Listen, I'm, I'm, listen, if anybody can say anything about me, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy when it comes to the giveaway stuff. Uh, because uh, I, I don't like cross somebody out right away because I know people are, I, I don't expect anybody to be sitting here during, especially a stream day like today, because today is like long stream day. So I will be nice. And I understand people are busy and they got their own things going on and everything. Um, okay, I, I set up the thing. I set up the thing. I did it, guys. I don't know how I didn't think of this sooner, but I did the thing. All right, I'll show you the thing in a second. Uh, what do we got? Join Grey's Anatomy. Movies were good, but I cannot say this enough. Do not watch Suitable Flesh. It's Really? It's bad? Like, how bad? Like, what would you rate it out of 10, Margin? Join go ahead. I like that. Janky giant arseholes. But well, but wait, wait, but the J word is join. We know what the J word is. It so it's join giant arseholes. Is that what it is? Grey's Anatomy. I never actually really watched Grey's Anatomy. Is it any good? Join Glorious Ass Hattery. I like that. Joe in Glorious Ass uh, Glorious B Aster. <laughs> Chris, I just found it funny. Wait, what funny? Oh, oh, yeah, no, I mean, it was funny. It was funny. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, like, four at best. Really? Ah, oh, man, I was excited about it, dude. Also, Wookie, welcome on back. Wookie, thank you for the Ds. I'm sure Fed would appreciate it. Uh, Wookie, would you like to join in the giveaway? We are going to be starting. I, I haven't decided. It's anywhere between five and seven. Five and seven games are, are, are going to be the amount that we give away. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. We'll see how I'm feeling. I still have like 21 peeps that I'm waiting to, for them to claim their, their games for the month. So if you would like to join Wookie, you're more than welcome to, you know, the deal just type in exclamation point, join G a that is exclamation point J O I N G as in give a as in away here in case anybody that hasn't seen, I'll, I'll go ahead and switch over to uh, my new form. Welcome. This is, this is new 
Chris doesn't feel like being on camera, Chris. So, um, here, and, and then this is the thing that I made you guys wait. I got G Fuel in my hand now. <laughs> I might have to, I might have to tweak it because it's not like the best, but I got G Fuel in my hand. I also, I also have an outfit, by the way. I, I have, I have an outfit for, uh, if I decide to use this during our first game, which is a surprise, unless you're watching on YouTube, YouTube gets to find out first only because I had to put in a category. Um, but we're going, we're, we're taking, we're taking a trip. You're, you guys are coming with me for my first trip to California and I'm vlogging. So amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't know if Grey's Anatomy is up your alley, but in my version of, of it, Lord Leaf would be McSteamy. I know who the characters are. I know who McSteamy is and Coley would be McDreamy. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that for sure. Absolutely. But thank you. Yeah, th this is this is Chris feels stinky. Doesn't want to be on on stream. And uh, as as I showed last night when we play Hunt Showdown, um, throwing bees and I got a cowboy hat. So this was our Hunt Showdown attire last night when I was showcasing it. Yeehaw! Who wants some bees? Bees, bees, bees? You got the bees in me. If you know what I'm saying. Bees. <laughs> But I can I can see why people like having stuff like this. It's it's nice uh, to not have to be on the camera twenty four seven. So I like this. I'm not a PNG tuber, by the way. I'm not an official PNG tuber. This is just like a bit. All right. I promise. I like being on camera. I like people seeing my face. I'm not camera shy. Just sometimes I don't know. I just I don't know. Anyway, uh, if streaming on the YouTube's doesn't does the join. Nope. Uh, it is an exclusive feature only over on Twitch. Um, yeah, primarily I am a Twitch streamer, but if anybody is on YouTube and you want to be on this giveaway, you got to come and join on into the Beard Zone over on Twitch if you want to be in this giveaway. Only on Twitch. Uh, me and the wife have been wanting to play that for a while. Not going to ruin it for everyone, though. Wait, you know what it is? You know what the, the our road trip to Cali is going to be? Like my little avatar. Thank you. I like it too. It really speaks to the inner, the inner gremlin in me. <laughs> uh, I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got a good deal on it. That's all I'm going to say. Only one is watching. I guess it was me. Uh, it's not, it's not about who's watching. I mean, cause it's, it's a very new thing with the simul casting. So I honestly don't expect anybody to, to watch on YouTube, but you know, it's just nice being able to get our content out in multiple places. You know, that's, that's the main goal of doing it, getting our content out there more, um, especially cause I'm trying to grow YouTube, but also grow as content creator in general. So, um, you know, the YouTube streaming thing is new for me and that it, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time, you know, but all, all of the features for the stream, that's all over on Twitch. So if you want to be part of giveaways, use any of the buy options and stuff like that. That is, that is a t Twitch, Twitch exclusive to anybody that is listening on YouTube or watches this later. So, all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this giveaway. Uh, I'm going to start with five and if I feel like I'm being generous, we might do one or two more. We will see, but we are going to go ahead and do this giveaway guys, gals and pals. We're going to do this giveaway now. Been waiting for a decent deal on it. Haven't seen that as completely. Oh no, there was there was a deal and I missed out on it, but there is another deal and I will, you know what? Let me let me share it with you right now. Hold on a second. Um because that deal that I am talking about is going on for the next like 24 hours, I think. Uh and that's the only reason why I'm doing this today. Uh it's going on for the next 18 hours. Um and it it was on a sale on the site that it is located at. But unfortunately, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but here, here's the link. I'm whispering it to you. But it was on sale on the, the place that it's mainly based, and I missed it. And I think it was like maybe three or four bucks cheaper on the place that it was at. And uh, yeah, th this is the closest that I saw it to. Uh, and that deal that I just sent you is going on for the next 18 hours. You can trust that site, by the way. That's actually where I get a lot of the games for the giveaways and stuff from that site that I sent you. So Enjoy, Sleazy. Enjoy. So 
Anyway, uh, more Chris for everyone. Exactly, exactly. And if I could figure out how the hell to multi-stream to Instagram and or to TikTok, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would do it. I would, I would stream over there as well because I can literally stream to as many places as I want. Anyway, uh, appreciate it, my dude. No problem, dude. No problem. Love VTuber, Chris. It's not a VTuber. It's a bit, all right? I got my G Fuel, right? G Fuel in hand, right? I also got my cowboy hat, my, my jar of bees, and my gun. Don't mess with me, all right? This is a bit. This is all a bit. All right. All right. God. All right. Anyway, bit of a VTuber. Nah, nah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not. I promise. I promise. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up this here giveaway. giveaway. That's loud. Ow. Boom, 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 boom. It's a bit of a VTuber. He's a B-tuber. Yeah, I wrangled the bees. It's Sarah! Sarah! Congratulations, Sarah. Please, Sarah, say something to kill the gross worm! I got my gun. Where's my gun? Why does my gun say bees on my stream deck? Hold on. This is not bees. This is gun. Why is it saying gun? It should say gun. There we go. It says gun now. <laughs> anyway, congratulations, Sarah, on being our first winner for this giveaway. Sarah, do me a favor and please pick a number. 1 to 136. 1 to 136. Uh, but congratulations, Sarah, on being our first winner of this giveaway. And let's see what Sarah wins. It's a bee gun. No, no, no. This is a gun. This is a jar of bees. You, do you see? Gun, jar of bees. Two different things. Two different things, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh, all right, let me go ahead. Is Sarah off of the giveaway list? Yes, I took Sarah's name. Oh, no, I did not take Sarah's name off the list. There we go. All right, and uh, 93 is the number that you have chosen, Sarah. Let me go ahead and tell you what you won. And Sarah, you have won a game called Metronomicon, the Deluxe Edition. I think it's a beat game. This is actually one of the new games that I just got today. Uh, that someone gave us. I think that it is a beat game, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But it's the Metro Metronomicon, Metronomicon, which I think is supposed to be like a metronome, but it's a nomicon. So like, yeah. Anyway, congratulations, Sarah. You won the game. Um, tell us what it is. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. But yeah. Bees by Fed? No, no, no. See, Fe Fed, Fed's got a whole process with the bees. I just chuck a jar at bees, of bees at people, especially when we play hunt. He loads the bees into his gun like 44, like 44 bees in the gun. Is that what you're saying? Bees, jar of guns. <laughs> why did that get me? Why, why did, why did <laughs> that got me? God damn it, Margin. Congratulations, Sarah. Uh, yes, congratulations, Sarah, and enjoy the game, Sarah. Yeah, D let us know what you think of it. Uh, Do your bees come in hollow stinger and full metal stinger? Um, uh, anyway, giveaway time. Kitty Alley, hey Kitty, come on down. Come on down to the B go round, Kitty. Kitty Alley, you are lucky winner number two, Kitty. That's not rigged. Bees nuts, poison ammo, press X to deflect. I've 
Yeah, sounds like you need to deflect these nuts. Anyway, uh, the FMJ in B of bees would be Yellow Jacket. Oh my God, Kitty too. Yeah, Kitty, Kitty won twice in a row. She won the sub, uh, sub only giveaway for October, and also this giveaway. So congratulations, Kitty. Uh, congrats. Yeah, throw some congrats in the chat or bees. License and registration, chicken fucker. Yeah, or that. <laughs> Or that you could throw that in the chat, but Kitty, congratulations, uh, Kitty! If you could do me a favor, please pick a number between one and one hundred and thirty-five, and congratulations, Kitty! Uh, and listen, you know I know Kitty won the sub giveaway, but that's a perk of being a sub. So if you want double giveaway chances, uh, you know always make sure you know if you're interested. Every month we do it. Every month, every month for our subscribers, you know, just just saying, you know. Anyway, oh, Kitty picks number 65. 65 is the number that Kitty have cho has chosen, so that gets Kitty. Re-Legion. Re-Legion is, wait, nope, I'm sorry. It's actually River City Girls. River City Girls. I, 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 I read 60, 63. <laughs> My bad. River City Girls is the name of the game that you won, which I think is actually another Game Grumps game, and it's supposed to be like Streets of Rage, but unlike Streets of Rage, or no, uh, d uh d Double Dragon, sorry, Double Dragon, um, what game is that? Yeah, sorry, sorry. So River City Girls, so it's like Double Dragon, which was like a, a like kind of like a move around beat up, beat em up game, but the premise was two dudes whose girlfriends got kidnapped by a gang. But in River City Girls, it's about two badass gals whose, I think their boyfriends got kidnapped. So you got to go around and beat up the bad guys, fight the bosses to try and like save, save the peeps. Freckled and and everything. Just guys, subscribe. Freckled's here. Hold on. Hold on. I got to equip myself. Hold on. The bee man is here. I have to defend my bees. I have to defend my bees. Freckled, you're not allowed to eat any of these bees, Happy all right? They're strictly for you. purposes. They are they are strictly for purposes of Happy defending and, and saving my friends in Hunt Showdown. How dare you? Do not try to eat these bees. I will shoot hollow hollow stingers at you, sir. Uh, but Freckled, thank you so much, Freckled, for the... How many months of Seven Love was that? Holy shit, that was... 41 months. Freckled has graced us with his presence and with the sub Freckled. A special welcome back to the one and only the Bearded Beard, Beard sub. sub. Where all the subs have all the beards. No bees. You're not allowed the bees. Anyway, thank you, Freckled. Thank you for that. Also, you like how now the shout outs work with uh, this guy? I did a lot of work. I did a lot of planning into this, you know. But hi, Freckled. How are you doing, buddy? Don't eat the bees. Protect the bees. We need them or we all perish. Exactly. Bees are important. But thank you so much, Freckled, for the 41 months, dude. Welcome on back. 41 months? That's almost a year. Uh, I got to put these bees away because I'm afraid that Freckled's going to get a little too feisty and eat these bees. So... Uh, that's almost a year. It is. Freckled, how are you doing? By the way, Freckled, if you want to join in, man, please feel free to. Now's the time. Uh, we already have two winners. Our first winner was Sarah, and the second winner was Kitty. Kitty, please enjoy that game. It is a good game, by the way. It is It is a good game. Uh, can, can guarantee I actually own both the first one and the second one. I haven't played the second one yet, but I, I, I got it from somebody, so... Uh, but enjoy the game, and congratulations, uh, Kitty, on being our second winner. Um, not home right now as, uh, as and out grocery shopping with my mom and my aunt. Gotcha. 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 How, how is she by the way? Cause with the, with the dog bite and everything, is she okay? Is she recovering? Um, this is Chris's VTuber PNG. It's not, it's literally just when, you know what? Freckle's going to get a kick out of it because the game that we're playing today, Freckle, we're coming to your state today for our first game that we're doing today. We're, uh, my first trip to California vlogging. Um, and you guys are coming along for the ride. I will need to start it up as as PNG tuber, Chris. Anyway, um, uh, not deflecting or changing the subject. A giveaway, giveaway. I don't know, Freckle. You'll just have to see.
She's doing much better. Her arm is healing really, really good. That's great to hear, Kitty. I'm glad to hear that. But California is my state. Well, then, you know what, Turtle? You got you and, and Margin and Freckled all got to show us around on my vlogging trip. Congratulations, Blocks. Blocks, you were lucky winner number th three. Blocks, please say something in the chat, Blocks, to kill the worm. Blocks, 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 Tom. Blocks, 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 killed worm. Now we really need a redemption to toggle. I thought about it. I thought about it. It's a thought. I, I might have a slot for one buy option, and I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, GG blocks. Yeah, GG blocks. Way to go. Something. Thank you. Uh, and number. Oh my God. I was about to say your number options, but you knew. Uh, congratulations, blocks. You are our next winner. Let me just go ahead and just poop. And you chose the number 42, which gets you the game code. The game is code. Uh, I. D Dakar 18? Dakar 18? Dakar 18. D-A-K-A-R space 18 is the name of the game. I, I have no idea what this game is, but Blocks, you do, and now you know the game, and now you can tell us about the game, and then uh, how uh, game is. So, congrats. Congrats. Thank you. No, thank you, Blocks, and congrats. Guys, throw some hype in the chat for our winners so far. We have three winners. Two more to go for base, and I might do maybe one or two more. I haven't fully decided yet, so we will see. We will see. And if anybody wants to join, now's the time. I will give a minute here. All you got to do is be here, be following, and type in the command, exclamation point, J-O-I-N, G as in give, A as in away. All together, no spaces, and you'll be entered into this giveaway. So if anybody is entered in, you got 60 seconds on the clock. Uh, if anybody would like to enter in, now is the time. Uh, phone's at 30%, so I must reserve battery. I'll pop back in when I get home. Okay, Kitty, sounds good. Good luck with the shopping. I'm glad to hear that she's doing better. Uh, have fun shopping. Get lots of gummy snacks. Yum, yum. No bees. No, no bees. Even if Freckled asks, don't do it. We need those bees, all right, for my jars. And then, you know, for, like, the plants and stuff. So it's a rally race game. Ooh, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, I gave 60 seconds, so uh, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to lower the volume a little bit more because I can't adjust volumes like I used to. I would like bees. Well, freckled. What are you going to do? Hmm? That's what I thought. Freckle, what do you think of the the, the PNG guy? I, I'm only using it when, like, I don't know. I don't feel like being on the screen. Hey, I mentioned his name. He pops up after how, I don't know how long, but Freckle Boy is the winner. And uh, I know that he's here because he just said I would like bees. So, Freckled, congratulations. You're lucky winner number four, dude. Congratulations, dude. Freckled, do me a favor, buddy old pal. Please pick a number, one to 133. And I will go ahead and tell you what you won, bud. Congratulations, Freckled. Guys, can we get some, some hype in the chat for Freckled? I miss this boy. That's my best friend, guys. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> I will take 26 bees, please. I don't know who told you that bees were your option, but I'll pick the number 26 for you. I'll pick the number 26 for you, Freckled. Hold on, hold on. Happy birthday, dear whoever the fuck you are. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. All right, Freckle, you might have this game, so I want to confirm this, dude. Uh, Freckled, you have won a game called Metro 2033 Redux, which I think was like the remaster version of the Metro 2023 2033 game. Um. I think it has like the best graphics and all of that. And I've, yeah, okay, okay, I figured. Okay, so pick another number other than 23, and then I'll tell you what you won, bud. I allow rerolls, I allow them. Five. Man, just going up higher, huh? Really making me scroll here. Five, because I scroll down to the bottom like an idiot. I believe you have this game. So, not even to spoil it, go ahead and pick a different number, please. 
Pick a different number. <laughs> Pick a different number. I'm like 90% positive you have this game. Forty one. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so freckled, you've won a game called a little Lily princess. Sorry. A little Lily princess is the name of the game. <laughs> you have won. I don't think you have that game. Ah, yeah. Congratulations, freckled on winning a copy of a little Lily princess. Aw, <laughs> sounds perfect. Sounds like a very relaxing game that Freckle Boy needs because he lives such a such a, a, a busy life for such a busy, busy boy. But congratulations, Freckled, on winning a copy of A, 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 a Little Lily Princess. Freckle needs to stream it. Thank you, Chris. No problem, buddy. No problem. <laughs> I'm still sure that you had that other game, too. Like, I, I think I think I've seen you play it. So I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later what it was. Uh, for real needs to stream it freckle. I mean, you heard it now. Now the people demand it. I'm not saying because don't want to give it away. Uh, I'm also randomizing the list here. Give me a second. All right, cool. All right. Anyway, so freckle was lucky winner. Number four. Let's go on to lucky winner. Number five, number five. five. Oh. 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 Who's it going to be? Who's the lucky winner going to be? I bet it's not going to be bees. Also, Freckle, do you like how I sound, bud? New mic. New audio. And turtle. Turtle, come on down, turtle. Kill the worm, please. Get this thing out of here. Very crisp. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I love this new audio interface. It's it's so much better than my Go XLR. So much better. But turtle, come on down, turtle. You want to eat me, worm? Don't you threaten me with a good time? Eat my life. <laughs> Very good, turtle. As always, you you really showed that worm what for, turtle. Way to go way to go turtle uh turtle do me a favor and please 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 pick a number one to 132 turtle one to 132 and congratulations on being our next winner for this giveaway congratulations turtle way to go oh my gosh 131 131 is the number that Turtle has chosen. Let me... I was doing a thing on my deck. Because I was noticing that my attack and release were a little... Uh, a little harsh. Does my voice sound okay, guys? I, d I, I just changed a quick thing. Also, wait. Hang on. I want to check on the, the other... This is the other setting that I had. Deck was set to 99. Hold on. I'm switching back to the other one because I, I still haven't gotten a gauge if you guys like the way that this sounds versus the way that this sounds. I do have a slight buzz in the background. How about like right now? Do I have a slight buzz in the back background? What about now? It's probably it's probably the noise gate is what I'm noticing. When the noise gate kicks in, it has like a slight buzz it seems. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get it out if that makes sense. Is it the bees? I hope it's not the bees. God, please no. Please not the bees. Anything but the bees. All right, turtle, let me go ahead. It's very subtle. Just might have musicians ears. Yeah, I I want I want to know what it is cuz I can hear it. But it's very, like, if you weren't paying attention, you don't hear it. Uh, all right, Turtle, you have chosen number 131, which gets you a game called Heroes of Monkey Tavern. Heroes of Monkey's Tavern is the name of the game that you have won, Turtle. So congratulations. Please drink responsibly and tell us how your trip to Monkey's Tavern was. So congratulations, Turtle, 
on being our fifth winner. Congratulations, Turtle, for being our next winner. Uh, and that was the base five. And I've already decided, you know what? We're going to do two more drawings. Two more drawings for two more lucky peeps. Just in case anybody would want to enter in, uh, please let me know. Um, yeah, also, Sleazy, if you have any idea what it could be, um, I would love to know because it's... I've noticed it, but I can't figure out what it is. There's a lot going on on this, uh, on this audio interface. There's a lot of EQ and, like, noise gate and suppression and all this stuff. So I, I feel like it's got to be... It's got to be the the noise gate. I feel like clicking on and off, you know? Uh, Going to save all the monkeys? Hell yeah. You know it, turtle. You know it. Congratulations, turtle. All right. We're going to pick two more lucky winners because I'm feeling generous. Gotta be just like our good friend Gotta. Gotta respawn. Do 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 I also wonder if it could be the windscreen. I don't know. And Krista! Krista, congratulations. You are the next winner. Krista, please say something in the chat. Krista. Krista, kill the worm. Blow it up to smithereens. Congratulations, Krista, on being our next winner in this giveaway. Krista, do me a favor and pick a number 1 to 131. What, what happened, Krista? You won the game giveaway. So congratulations. That means you get a Steam game. All you got to do is pick a number 1 to 131. I'll tell you what it is, and then I send you the Steam key, and then you get the game. So congratulations, Krista. 77 all right 77 scrolling up from down there uh okay i don't i don't know what this game is uh krista you have won a copy of a game called chenzo club c-h-e-n-s-o club chenzo club i have no idea what the game is but other than you've won it so congratulations krista on winning a copy of chenzo club I just sent you a Steam uh, or Twitch Whisper with the Steam code. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah, me and you both. Uh, but congratulations on winning a copy of Chenzo oh, Club. Oh, Freckle, but you're going to miss it. He's going to miss our trip to Cali. God damn it. All right, that's fine, Freckle. We'll see you in a bit, buddy. We'll see you in a bit. Love you. Love you too. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, Lord Shadow, we're doing one more winner. If you want to join in, man, now's the time. All you got to do is just type in the command right here. Exclamation point, join GA. If you want to enter, and we're picking one last lucky winner. Uh, and congratulations to all of our winners so far. Sarah, Kitty, Blocks, Freckle, Turtle, Krista, and whoever this last winner is going to be for a total of seven winners, guys. Seven winners. And next time we hit our next sub goal, we are going to bump this up. I think we'll go to 10 for our next sub goal, which we got our next sub goal on the board, which is 170. So if we hit 15 more subscribers, we'll do another game giveaway. Uh, and I'll bump it up to 10, 10 for the next one. So, uh, all right, shadow is in and without further ado, let's see who's going to win. Gonna be not a bee, but it's for zero on the wolf. Z, even though you call me a VTuber, you're the winner. So please say something in the Let's chat to kill the worm, Z. Also, that just reminds me, I gotta take off the little spoopy hats for the emotes. Thank you for reminding me. I'm not a VTuber. Because as soon as we launch the game, <laughs> I'm going to go back to regular camera. 
Uh, I also need to wake up stories. So somebody remind me to go wake up story. But congratulations, Z! Z, congratulations, my dude. You are our next winner. Uh, Z, do me a favor and pick a number 1 to 130, dude. And I will go ahead and tell you what you won, Z. Congratulations. Well, I mean, tell me to wake up story, but when I go on my potty break. Sorry, I wasn't specific enough. Uh, but congratulations, Z, on being our next winner. 125. Okay, let me real quick turn off the spoopy hats here for the emotes because I forgot to do that. <laughs> I didn't even know that I put on the spoopy hats. I thought I didn't. Hold on. Ah, you know what? It's not... It's not the end of the world. You know what? Fuck it. We can just keep the hats on. You know what? We'll just keep the hats on. I think they go off eventually because it's still technically what they consider like enable seasonal hats. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just keep them on. Who the fuck cares? Who the fajoli cares, right? All right. 125. You got it, buddy. Number 125 gets you a game called Ooh, Search Party, the director's cut. Search Party, the director's cut, is the name of the game that you have gotten, Z. So congratulations on winning a copy of Search Party. Uh, congratulations, dude. Enjoy the game. And thank you so much for, you know, being a member here in the Beard Zone. I really appreciate it, buddy. So thank you. 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 And throw, throw a few more thank yous in there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but congratulations, Z, on being our next winner. And uh, guys, gals, and pals, that was all of our winners for this giveaway. Actually, I think, you know what, Sleazy, if you're here, I think I just got rid of the hiss or that slight little thing that you were hearing. I think it's this thing called hysteresis, which I still don't know what the fuck it is, but I think I just fucking figured it out. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, but congratulations, Z, and congratulations to all of our winners. We had seven winners for this giveaway. We had Sarah, Kitty, Blocks, Freckled, Turtle, Krista, and Z were our winners for this sub goal giveaway. So congratulations and throw some hype in the chat, guys, gals, and pals, for all of our winners and for all of you for just all being awesome and amazing peeps. If I could just keep giving out games, I would, but I got to cut it off so that way we have more opportunities for game giveaways and things like that and everything. So got to cut it off somewhere. Uh, at a certain point so but congratulations to everybody and if we do hit our next sub goal that means we will be doing another giveaway and we will be giving away 10 games for the next uh, sub goal giveaway which right now our next goal is set for a hundred and oh story's up hi baby story is up guys uh so i don't have to go and wake her up thanks for the reminders uh but anyway uh that's it for our giveaway and Pepe chat, Pepe chat, chat is going away because I just had it on for the giveaway because it cuts less screen room. Plus, some of you guys haven't seen Pepe chat. So here I am. I also have Indy here. Hi. Hi. Is it almost dinner time? Yeah, you want? Okay. Okay. Indy's like, yeah, dad, dad, dinner, dinner, dad. <laughs> All right. So let me, let me go. Indy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, good boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start up the game, uh, which we are going to be checking out Dead Island 2 today. Um, I have been kind of wanting to play this game for a while, and nicely enough, I was able to find it on a very, very affordable discount. Uh, Epic Games actually had it on discount a while ago, which was slightly better than the discount that I found, but it's been a game that's been on my radar for a while. And I really wanted to play it because I did play Dead Island 1. I also did play, there was another Dead Island game, like an in-between one. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed Dead Island, and I was very, very excited for it. And if you didn't know this, Dead Island 2 actually takes place in California. So we are going to go ahead and take a little road trip to California. It'll be my first time visiting California. Oh, puppy. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Krista. I'm giving I'm giving him pets. As you can see, he's right here. He, he He's very, very anxious because I said the magic word. So that means I have to give him dinner. Otherwise, he is going to freaking riot and be very, very upset about it. OK, good boy. Yeah, good boy. But see, also, it's another theme because we are also going to be doing Project Zomboid with crowd control today once we do some Dead Island. So both are zombie games. 
Both are zombie games, but I am excited because I have heard some pretty decent things about this game and I felt like mixing it up. We've been doing a lot of Souls stuff, which I really love Souls games, but this has been kind of on my radar for a while. And once I found it on sale, I was like, hell yeah. Project Zomboid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, hold on a second, please. Indigo, I need you. I need you off. I need you off. Thank you, good boy. Thank you. Let me just, I want to just go in and tweak the settings and stuff. Uh, and also make sure that there's no copyright. Actually, just in case there is copyright. Can you, you guys can't hear the game, right? You guys can't hear anything, right? How fucking amazing is that? I can still hear it, but you guys can't. <laughs> I gotta wait for the fucking shaders to cash, but... Because I don't, I don't, I don't think that they would have copyright music in here, but a part of me thinks that they might have copyright music. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, options. Streamer mode. Oh my God, that song was copyright, by the way. That fucking song in the beginning was copyright, by the way. What the fuck? Dude, how can you? Oh, my God. Ugh. All right. I think we I think we should be OK. I'll probably go in and probably have to delete the VOD because, um, you know, I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and do that. Save changes. OK. Uh, gonna look at that game another day. That's fine, Krista. You don't have to look at it right now. Totally understandable. Uh, let me go ahead and just change some of the settings here so that when we come back, we can just kind of dive right into this motion blur all the way off. Um, advanced. Advanced. That should be okay. I think my computer can handle most of this. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. And wait, did I put it on bordered? I think I had it on bordered. Windowed, full screen. Yeah, that's what I had it on before. Okay, so I should be able to just, perfect, okay. That's always the way that I like to go in games, so. Well, it's late, gonna, uh, gonna sleep soon. All right, sounds good, Krista. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I do hope you have some wonderful sleep and hopefully we get to see you again. Have, have a good rest of your night and a great Monday. And uh, guys, gals, and pals, on that note, I am gonna go ahead and take a quick pee pee break. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick, quick pee pee break. And then once I get back, we are gonna go ahead and dive into Dead Island 2. Uh, this will be my first time, my first time taking a, a road trip visiting California. Um, so I don't know what to expect. I also didn't watch any kind of gameplay on this. I, I have seen a few clips here and there of the game, but I'm very excited to try it out. Just felt like mixing it up today. Uh, and we'll see if this is something that we want to continue and everything. Uh, just needed a little break from the Souls nonsense. So, uh, But anyway, I'm going to take a quick potty slash feed indie slash get my desk into standing mode. And then once I get back, we are going to go ahead and check out California A on some Dead Island 2 together. Um, so I will be right back after this quick commercial and potty break. So go stretch your legs, go get some water. Um... And uh, when we get back, we're going to go ahead and check out what California has to offer us. So I will be right back after a quick break. Right back.
Hello! Uh, I get so worried about copyright. <coughs> Excuse me. I get so worried about copyright. It's such a pain. Like, there was muted... Muted audio in my last stream. I think, it, I think it's Pretzel Rock, but we should be okay, because we're just using Pretzel Rock radios, so... It's fine. It's all copyright free, but I just get so, so worried about it, you know? So, so worried about it. But anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and, oh, there we go. Open up your stream. We are gonna go ahead and jump on into this game, which I haven't played this yet. This is my first time playing it. And I did set up Pepe Chad to be the perfect, the perfect uh, <laughs> tourist because I've never been to California before. Um, not gonna use him the whole entire time. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll showcase him. So, which would be a stupid to ban you. Well, so it's it's <laughs> it's such a weird situation, Turtle. Um, I know we've talked about it before. But it's it's not it's not just Twitch. Like with copyright. Oh wait, I have I have to show it off. I have to show it off now because Mark is here. Hold on. Um hold on a second. Wait, I was just looking at a thing. Uh Mark, hello! Mark! Are you ready to see the creation that you have created? And the thing that I've been kind of running with it? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me let me do a thing real quick. I just want to make sure that my title is updated here okay we're good i've been having weird issues with the stream deck hi mark uh but yeah um like i was saying with the whole copyright stuff on twitch it's not necessarily twitch like what twitch is at fault for is not giving enough materials and tools and ways to help content creators to protect themselves which now they have a lot more than they used to when all like this wave of dmca stuff was happening right also mark how do i sound by the way i'm on the new mixer and everything. I'm, I'm curious on how, how it sounds to you, by the way. Um, and also, thank you for the thing, the, the Pepe chat. I'm excited to show you. Uh, but the problem is the way that these the copyright strikes happen, Turtle, just in case you or anybody else doesn't know, um, is that music labels. So let's say, like, I don't know, Kanye West's music label. Here's some streamer using Kanye West songs in their stream. The music label is the one that launches a DMCA strike. They then go to Twitch and say, hey, you got a streamer who is using the music of Kanye West. That's not allowed. Um, and then that then Twitch then has to issue the strike, right? So while it is coming from Twitch because they have to, legally they have to, and then the way that it works is three strikes and you're out. You get three copyright strikes and then your Twitch channel can be terminated. Um, so... Twitch at fault for not providing a lot of like resources and materials and things to like kind of help with that. They now have more resources and availability to, to kind of do that stuff. Also, it's got to be six seconds. Six, I think it has to be higher than six seconds of copyright music. Um, and then the strike comes in. So, um, but yeah. Uh, you sound good, it clear, and don't hear any weird audio objects. Hell yeah, that's what I love to hear, dude. I also got a new mic. I also got the uh, the Rode, the Rode Pod Mic USB. It actually, I actually found a nice little package deal for the Rodecaster Duo and this microphone, and it's nice because if something were to happen, right, I could use this with USB if I wanted to, or if I wanted to record a TikTok and I don't want to turn my computer on, I could just plug a USB cable into this thing, and boom. I, I can actually use this with my phone if I wanted to. So it was like kind of a double upgrade, but I, I, I you know what? I just want to kind of get ahead of the curve because I've just been having more and more and more issues with my GoXLR lately, like where the software just craps out. 
where I turn it on and then the software just automatically turns off and I know it's just going to get worse and GoXLR still hasn't said anything since June or July. So uh, I just wanted to kind of get ahead of the curve, especially since we have that date coming up where everybody's got to upgrade to Windows 11 or you don't get it for free, which I will be upgrading both PCs at that point. So, uh, but yeah, I'm glad you like it, Mark. Also, Mark, without further ado, I want to show you what you have created. So uh, guys, gals and pals, Mark is one of our good friends here in the Beard Zone. So please, please, please go check out Mark. Go drop him some love. He's a great dude. I know he streams kind of here and there and everything, but you should definitely go check out Mark. He is the one that created the original Pepe Chad and then modified it to reflect my baldness. Okay, I love I love this clip of you. This is great. <laughs> uh, but uh, Mark, so because of what you did and everything, now when I don't feel like being on camera, we now have him. And I found that there was a, a plugin in OBS that basically just flips it back and forth between two images. Um, so that's why I was asking for the image with the, uh, the, mou the mouth and everything. Uh, but I also did this new thing for cosmetics. So when we were playing Hunt Showdown last night, um, I, <laughs> I just kind of like... <laughs> Gave myself a gun, a cowboy hat, and a jar of bees. <laughs> Ch Chad's been helping me come up with ideas. Uh, I mean, we only we only just started using this. Isn't it great? I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. And I was like, oh, yeah, we can, like, dress him up <laughs> if we're doing different things. Like, for instance, I now got G Fuel, so now I can rep, I can rep my brand, my, my, my sponsors, so they'll be happy. He'll be happy with me. Um, and then I figured for this game, since, you know, I've never been to Cali before, uh, and this is our first trip to Cali for uh, for Dead Island 2, um, you know, I got to look the part. I'm a tourist. I don't know, you know, anything about Cali. So, you know, it's a beach. I got myself a little beach hat. And then I got my little, my little DSLR camera. I'm going to go take some pictures and see all the sights and everything, like a true little tourist that I... <laughs> that I am. I thought about putting a katana or like a sword or something. I mean, I could always just throw the, I could throw the gun. <laughs> I feel like this is the appropriate attire for a zombie apocalypse in, in California as a tourist. <laughs> but, um, I, I thank you again, by the way, Mark, I, I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I love the way that it turned out and it's just, it's just beautiful. So, can you make the mouth open, uh, mouth PNG a GIF instead? Uh, if you could, you can turn it, that in into a GIF that alternates the ma the open and closed states. So when it looks like you're talking, instead of keeping the mouth open while speaking. Oh yeah, you actually can. Actually, you you are right. So you could. So the plugin. Hold on, I can tell you what the plugin is called in a second. Uh, the plugin is called. Actually, I think it's a source. It's actually a source. This, it's called the image reaction. It's called image reaction. And yes, you actually could add GIFs as an image. It actually will accept GIFs into it. So I, so yes, yes, we, we could, we could do that. Um, I would just need to figure out how to turn this into a GIF, <laughs> which I think I know how. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we totally, we totally could. I could probably, I could probably record myself like just doing some like, but, 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 but like do that with a green screen, then throw it into like Adobe. And then I could go ahead and then chroma key the green out and then just render out just the Pepe as a GIF file. I think I know how to do it. I think I could. That would that would look more like I'm talking instead of like just my mouth is open and like sound is coming out of my mouth. <laughs> you know? You can use Photoshop, an online tool, or Clip Studio Paint, then just throw in both and open and close mouth picks as frame. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's how I made this one for giggles. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. 
I will, could, could you do me a favor, Mark? Could you send me a reminder message to do that? And those three as options, Photoshop, online tool, or Clip Studio Paint? Because I will forget. I will forget. I feel, I feel like I got to start this off as this because no, we're not going to ask Mark to do it. Mark, Mark A is a very, very busy boy and he already was nice enough to take some time to make the open mouth version of this. So I'm not, I'm not going to ask Mark to do that. And I can obviously do this myself. I can, I can do things. I know how to do things. Mark just marks the idea, man. <laughs> Uh, good times. Hey, good times. What is going on? And how young am I? Uh, I am, as of October 15th, 32 years young. 32. And I'm going to California for my first time here. Look at this. Look how beautiful Cali looks this time of the year. Uh, but good times. It's a good thing that you're here because I don't know if you saw my Twitch whisper. Uh, but you were actually one of the giveaway winners for the month of October. I tried to at you in the Beard Zone Discord, but you weren't in there. But I did send you a Twitch whisper. Um, so you were one of the lucky 44 winners for the month of October. So if you could do me a favor, dude, and please pick a number 1 to 129. I would love to get you your game now. Um, and then I can go ahead and send that to you and get you off the list. But how, how are you doing, good times? Welcome on in, dude. I, I, let, let me know what number you pick so I can get you your game. Also, Krista's still here. Hi, Krista. Uh, I could do it if I had time. Yeah, no, no. I, I know you're busy, Mark, and you were nice enough to do this, which I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but I could probably figure it out. I could probably figure it out. It can't be that hard. All right, 64. You got it. Um, Let's see. 64. 64 gets you a copy of... Police Stories. Police Stories is the name of the game that you have won good times. So congratulations on winning a copy of Police Stories. I'm going to go ahead and send it to you here as a Twitch whisper. Um, so congratulations on being one of the lucky 44 winners for the month of October. Uh, the rest of the winners are posted in the Beard Zone Discord in the announcement section. Uh, I always do that the day after, um, especially because usually like it's late the nights that I do them. And then I'm like, oh, God. Uh, but if anybody wants to go and check and see if they were a winner, please go ahead and check in the um, in the announcement section. Um, no, you can't climb up on me. You can't. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hi, buddy. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, I said, so oh, OK, I got you. I got you. I got you. Sorry if I called you out on that. My bad. My bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, how are you doing? Otherwise, good times. Welcome on in. And what did you, oh, you sent me the reminder, Mark. I was like, wait, what did Mark just send me? <laughs> what did Mark just send me? I, I just asked you to send me something. Thank you, Mark. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, this is my first time. I don't know what Slayers are. I have no idea what that is. No idea whatsoever. But we're going to go ahead and start up some Dead Island 2. I have never played this game. I am very excited to check out this game. Um, managed to get it on a pretty good sale price because I was like, I don't know if I want to spend $60 on this game because I did enjoy Dead Island 1. I had a blast with that game. It was so good, and I got excited when they were coming out with 2. This game got delayed a bunch of times, and it came out. It was only on Epic Games, so I was, like, very, like, hesitant on it, but then when I found the sale that I found, I was like, hell fucking yeah. And I just felt like we should mix it up a little bit because Sunday is our variety day and we've been really, really into a lot of uh, Souls games, which don't get me wrong, Souls are like my jam. Uh, but I also do love zombie games, so we're going to be checking this out. We're also going to do some Project Zomboid with crowd control and uh, maybe we might end the stream off with a little bit of... Um... Hold on, there's a thing that I noticed here on the other screen. There we go. just wanted to adjust my camera. Oop, there we go. Uh, but we're also going to do some Project Zomboy with crowd control and also going to do uh, maybe some Jackbox. We might have enough time to do some Jackbox. So, um, But let's go ahead and jump on into Dead Island. I'm going to turn my camera off for the cutscene here. Where the hell did you come from? Long Beach. I gave up my seat. It's got to be 20 clicks. Through them? Can you catch me? Does that say okay. big bro? Shit. Fire department, out the way! Shadows on the wall. Hiding in the open. Run from the cold. Arrange the 
things of course, eh, Jefe? What kind of intro is this? Oh, they're dead. Don't you know you're not supposed to smoke on a flight? That's illegal. Oh my god, you're Emma John, right? And Robert Steele? Can I get a selfie? Oh, well, that sucks. was in Dead Island 1. Right? I'm pretty sure he was in Dead Island 1. Sammy B. I honestly I I don't I don't remember. Oh, choose who will slay your way through Hella. Oh, so we got to pick a character. Okay. All right, I wasn't sure if we got to make a character, but I think in Dead Island 1 you played as characters. So we got Jacob uh, stackable minor damage boosts, critical gains, critical hits when stamina is low. Uh, peak health, he doesn't have a whole lot of resilience. Okay. We got Bruno. That's why they were showing us all these characters. Okay. Moderate damage boosts. Okay, so he's kind of stealthy because he gets the stealth kills. Okay, I don't know if that's really my play style. I don't know. Um... Doesn't have a lot of health, but a lot of resilience. Also, how was how was the other guy on agility? Okay, on agility. Uh, who else we got? We got Carla. Very resilient. Not a lot of health, not a lot of stamina. Gets a minor damage boost when close to multiple zombies. It's a minor toughness and resilience boost. Okay. Danny. Big on stamina. A lot of stamina. Uh, Danny's heavy attacks trigger a forceful explosion on impact. What the hell? Who are these people? What the hell? I might, I might go for Danny, honestly. Danny seems kind of cool. Uh, Ryan gets a moderate force boost when using block or dodge. Regains health each time he knocks down a zombie. Um, really bad on agility. Toughness, though. Uh, and then Amy regains stamina when hitting a zombie with a throw weapon. Um, all right. I think my choices, I think I might go with Jacob, Jacob or was it Carla? Who was the other one? Yeah, I think Jacob or Dan. Does anyone have any preferences? Any thoughts? Jacob or Danny. I think those are my two go-tos. I don't know. I don't know if this matters. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even realize. Darlin, if you don't stop sticking your nose in my business, I'm going to feed it to you. What was Jacob's? Maybe that'll be my deciding factor. Cheer up, sunshine. You're with me. That's just cocky enough that I might. <laughs> uh, toughness, stamina. What was what was Danny's? Because stamina, I remember, is, like, really, really important. Uh, three and three. Peak health. What was... Peak health. You got a lot of health. Uh, 
Got a lot of stamina. I think I'm gonna go with Danny, cause that Danny's heavy attacks, that, that just sounds dope. That sounds really, really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Also, hang on one second. What the fuck is happening with my fucking browser over here? Okay, there we go. Alright, we're gonna go with Danny. Yes. You'll not be able to change Slayer's mid story. Okay. Danny's our choice. Owie! Ow! Oh, I'm bleeding out. Okay. Um... I think we're actually dying. Okay. Well. Let's fuck off out of here. God, I love her accent. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh yes. Someone else made us. Yeah, also the the ship got shot. So that's cool. Like an RPG or something. Or Javelone. Hello? Hey, over here. Hello? Oh. What the? Oh, they're gone. Okay. Not the time to be losing it, Danny. Another mirage. Jesus. Ugh. Okay. Also, how how's the game volume, guys? Let me know if it's too loud. I can I can adjust it. Something to smash, huh? Then I need something to smash it with. Smash your way through. Okay, there we go. So we got a regular attack and then hold for a heavy attack. Got it. Okay. And if I remember, uh, like in the first game, because it's been so long, um. I think there's durability for weapons. It's not hoarding if I'm sure I'll use it someday. Uh okay, nothing. All right. But yeah, last last zombie game that I played like this was uh Dying Light 2 with Freckled. And I really enjoyed Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 was very very good. You're not going to get up, right? Right? We don't we don't have to worry about you getting back up, right? Ooh, got a kick. Right, we're all dead in here. Oh, you're definitely dead. You could be not dead. Oh, god damn, my mouse is going to disconnect. I'm calling it. Oh, yeah, you got you got fucked. You got Absolutely, you got bounced around in this room. Ugh. That's loud. I was waiting for it. Shite in a bucket. Skirt the flames. Okay. I'm skirting. I'm a skirting. Also, I can't run. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I can run. There we go. Uh, 
It's this way. Well, survivors. Something in the plane. Stay back. Uh, picked up a medical kit. Press H. Okay, just juice up real quick. Hey, calm yourself, man. Anyone hurt? Uh, just a few bruises. I think we got lucky. I I'm Michael. Danny. This is fucking tremendous. Dude, that guy's ears Darling, got I'm blown. So sorry about Robert. Why? I mean, this is all his fault, the selfish wanker. If you stop standing there and find me some fucking shoes. You're right, boy. You got blood coming out your ears like. What? Yeah, dude, you. his eardrums are blown. I got blood coming out of my ears. Well, I mean, what are we going to do? Not stand around here like Egypt's? People, this is Emma Jaunt. Grand. Of course you know what a huge star she is, Romero winner no less. We need to get her home to safety. What was that? Careful. Let's give it a lash. <laughs> Whoa, hey. My my wife. Wife is gonna be a zombie? I feel like she's gonna be a zombie. Oh, Jesus. She's got a pulse. Small mercies. Or not, okay. Hand, then. Michael, help. Ready? Lift. It's too heavy. Sir, we need to go. Look, we can't just leave him here to die. Hey, Ewok, how you doing? Darling, the world needs you. They'll protect them. <laughs> Will I? Yeah. Okay, Michael, if you're sure. Here is my address in case you change your mind. Good luck. With friends like you, I'll need it. I'll call the army. Send help. Hey, are you Emma Trant? <laughs> sure, fantastic. No bother at all. Off you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zombie! A fellow survivor. You're not. You're not. Looks like they're in shock. Oh God! <laughs> Fuck off out me face! Die! Die! Die again! Die again! Die again! They can be killed. My weapon broke. I need a better weapon. Get another weapon. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, let me try my heavy. Oh! Curb stop. Bring it on, you kill, kill them all. Curb stop. Pick it up. Ooh. Com combat's pretty good. Excuse me. Curb up. Oh, I missed that. Go to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Curb.
curb stomp news sound alert? I don't know about that. <laughs> knock down the burning. If I knock that tire down, it'll barbecue them. What's that? Uh, hold. Oh, I don't want to throw that. Yeah. Hiya! Oh, because they were in there. Oh, oh. Do I get my weapon back? Ha! Fuck the lot of you. Right. Where was I? Uh, I guess talking to Joshua, who's dying. Oh, fuck's sake. How are we meant to but I mean, it could be a sound effect, though. <laughs> hey. Curb stop. Oh, Curb stop. Did this happen? It's not meant to be like this. Deep breaths now. Yeah. Have some water. Uh. <laughs> Wake up now. Oh, girl. that zombie. Have a little drink of water for me. Do you good. I knew it. Oh no, shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, zombie kill with a heal. Trying to help you. Curb stop. Curb stop. Curb stop. Oh shit, what am I going to do? 66 Alpine Drive. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's one heck of a way to open it up. Ed Island 2. Ed Island. Yeah, I honestly forget everything from the first one. I know that it was like a contained zombie outbreak on the island. Uh, and the musician guy, Sam Sammy B was there. But I thought, I, I don't remember how that one ended. I might have to go and watch like a recap video because it's been that long. Uh, but yeah, I honestly forget. Oh. I've woken up in worse places. Bel Air. So I'm pretty sure I'm in Bel Air. Hope it's the right bit of this. Uh, you know what that means, guys. Now we now we have to go full Pepe Chad now. Because I'm a tourist here, first time in Cali. Oh boy. Ugh. We're in Bel Air. We're in Bel Air. Uh, Emma's place is on the other side of this mansion. You'll need to fight through it to get there. Okay, okay. Well, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look here. Is this? This is the map. Oh, there's Emma's place. You place waypoints using Enter. They will appear on your compass. Okay. So what if I just do? He's like right here. Did I did I put a Okay, I guess there. That's fine. Alright. Cool. 70 Alpine Drive. Legend. If I cut through this place, I'll come out right by Emma Jones. Yeah, but aren't you concerned a little bit that you were you were bitten? I'm not getting over this in my state. I'll find another way. What if we just go up here? Ugh, breaker's missing. Okay. 
Open sesame. Circuit breaker. Uh, pipes. Medical kit. Pipe wrench. Skulls are getting. Sp there you are. Battery. That. Fabric. Oh. Okay. Also, why is there. Oh. Thingy. Also, why is there a lock on this. on this battery? <laughs> also, was there a way to go back there? I could jump that gate. That's an easy gate to jump. Why am I going and doing all this effort? Perfect space. Open skill deck. Oh, dodge plenty of punches and mosh pits. This is just like that. Okay. Okay, all right. She bop bop. Oh. Is that a protein bar? My health is already full. Okay. Oh, that's my block. Are you going to get back up? No. Okay. What a beautiful home. Look at Bel Air. Oh. Please stay down. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, my weapon wheel. Oh. Rebar. Sheba. I don't know why I'm turning into like a, a scat person when obviously we're dealing with heavy metal, but you know. I digress. Not feck off. Locked? Some doors are locked. Find corresponding key card code. Interesting. Okay. All right. Hello. Oof. Shit went down here. You're gonna get up, aren't you? Energy drinks and protein bars. Kick the corpse. Oh, wait a minute. I my brain didn't register this. Oh, magnetic lock. Hey, anyone in there? <laughs> Hitting stuff solves everything. Oh my god, that broke. Curb stop. One left melter in me way. I keep forgetting I can dodge. Uh steel pipe. A key card. Panic room definitely lived up to its name. Uh. Oh, okay. Can we end the audio log, please? I'm trying to enjoy my vacation. I don't want to hear Colt Swanson eating. Oh. Okay, that was a fast zombie. So we're dealing with multiple types of zombies. And curb stop. Which I remember in... Oh, okay, I messed that up. If I remember in Dead Island 1... Man, you are... Oh my god, dude, his head... How do I heal again? H. His fucking head. It just it just looks like a slice. It's just been sliced up. Okay. I'm 
this place should be through. Oh, play with your voice. No Alexa device <laughs> required. Wait, what? Dell N2 supports voice command through the Alexa game control. Get zombies' attention by what? Whoa, wait, I can talk to the zombies? What? Hold on, hold on. Excuse me? Enter the code link to Dead Island 2. What? Amazon.com slash use code to enter the code. Wait, what? I'm, I, what is, what is this? Hold on. <laughs> I have to see what this is. What is this? QR code. Open in browser. Hold on. Hold on. This is this is not what I was expecting for my first trip to California. I was not expecting to have to link my Amazon code. Okay, signing into Amazon. Success. Yeah, yeah kind of cool, honestly. Uh, okay. Um, enabled. Tap to talk. Okay, there's my chat. Is there a way to test it? For optimum experience, a headset microphone is recommended. Well, you know, we don't have that. I have this microphone, so. What did it say? It said that I can, I can call them over. Here and out the back, I think. Hey, over here. It worked. <laughs> it worked. He's taunted. Oh, he's taunted. Oh, he, that she's a fast one. She's a fast one. Oh, my weapon broke. That is so cool. Ah, oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, saying hey to attract zombies. Okay, so I can I can literally yell at that is that's a cool feature. You know what? Since since we're inside here, I'll I'll switch back to regular. This isn't much tourism rather than looting, so we don't need Pepe Chris right now. Pepe Pepe Chris is on vacation. All right. He's on vacation going to California for his first time. But yeah, that that's a cool feature. I I wish more zombie games had that. Um damaging them would set off an alarm. Okay, so I'm assuming Oh, got to take out the alarm box. Okay. Pardon. Well, call of my name are you? Oh. I can relate. Interesting. So you have to be careful when you're like looting and stuff like that. Oh, that glass effect. Oh, you're you're awake. Uh, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Please sleep. He's sleeping. He's taking a nap. I've just been kicking corpses. Like you? Oh my god. Okay, I gotta stop kicking corpses, cause what I'm assuming is if the alarm went off, it would it would have woke them up. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Curb stomp. Off, would you? It's gotta be, it's the tone. It's the tone of the curb stomp. As long as you say it nice and like you aren't trying to smash their skull, then it's fine. It's fine. Okay, can't get one there. Look at that, this one. Is that a whale? Are there whales yelling at me now? Opens from the other side. Okay. Saving that sword for when I need it. Ooh. Yes, I'm a 
Master, I need some relief. <laughs> oh, matron. The, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, how do I drop? Uh, oh, F4. And then F4. Sounds hot. I mean, Danny, Danny's a hottie. Just got that punk rocker vibe. And I dig it. Ugh. Wanna have a sit? Also, that accent, though. Oh, my God. Door opens from the other side. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we have, like, the parkour like we do in Dying Light, which I love that about Dying Light, but I'm okay with how this is going. Uh, medical kit. A lot of medical kits. But... Johnson's to the left, unless I miss the mark. Whoa! Shit! Holy fuck! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! 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 Curb stop! Oh shit! Uh, knuckle dusters. All right, everybody's everybody's sleeping now. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, dude, am I going to have to make... Is, is this a... Hor I, I, uh, God, I was not expecting a zombie to jump out. But I'm, I'm playing a zombie game, so I don't know why. Hey! <gasps> Darts! Hold on. Oh, God. Get up. Fucking... Get away. Kick. 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 Herb stop. Wait! Oh! Her jaw is hanging off! Oh no! Uh, I'm so sorry, lady. I keep forgetting that I can dodge. Oh! <laughs> Dude! Can I pick up? Oh, that would have been so good if I get. Oh! Pull cue! I'll take that. I wish. <laughs> what what movie was that? What zombie movie was it, guys? <gasps> Shaun of the Dead. It was when they finally get to the Winchester, and they're in there, and uh, having a good time comes on, and they're all hitting the zombie in, in unison with the pool, and um, Shaun asks, uh, oh my god, his buddy, to help him out, and he starts <laughs> throwing darts, and I think one of them, like, hits Shaun in the side of the head, I fucking love Shaun of the Dead. Such a good movie. Also, all three of their movies. I think it was uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and what was the third one? Um, to War to World World's End. All three of those movies. I forgot the the trilogy that it's a part of. Great, great movies. Wait, how am I supposed to get in that other room? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There is there is a whole nother room. And we were not able to enter, and I want in. Okay, those are water zombies. Well, I could. I don't think I wanted to do that. <laughs> oh my god. I just went in a complete circle. How. Excuse me. Pardon me. How do I get in that room? Like, it's not end of the world, but I want to know Sarah how we get in. My stream with 11 viewers. Oh. Hello, Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much for that beautiful and wonderful. Wake up. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not fall. That beautiful and wonderful uh, raid. raid. Thank you so much, Sarah and crew, for that raid. And welcome on in, all of you Sarians, you Sararians. 
I'm, I'm working. I'm trying, Sarah. I'm trying. I did it. it Brain, brain can only work so much on, on names. Uh, but Sarah, thank you so much for coming in and raiding us. How are you doing, Sarah? What's going on? Uh, let me go ahead and give you a shout out because I think a lot of our mods are busy or unavailable right now. So uh, guys, guys and pals, please go check out Sarah. Sarah is one of our newer friends here in the Beard Zone. She's great. She's a multitasker. She loves Zelda games, so please... Go and drop Sarah some love and go check her out. She was playing some Tower of Fantasy, which I think I actually got a drop from having you open with the lurk, Sarah. You! Oh! Two time! How are you? How are you still moving? Where did you guys come from? I cleared this room already. <laughs> yeah, Jerbin, join in on the uh, the polite curb stomping of, of zombies. Specifically just the zombies. Okay. Love these brass knuckles, though. Energy drink. Uh, but how how was Tower of Fantasy, Sarah? How'd it go? I want to know how to get in that room. You know, I'm not that curious. I'm going to wait till we're out of tutorial land before I bring Pepe Chris back. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, okay, we can do this. With the Alexa control, attract attention of zombies saying their name or by using common phrases as, hey, you over here. Uh, switch weapons anytime. <gasps> I can use my voice to switch weapons? That is cool. You can also use your voice commands to set waypoints, perform emotes, and access all of Alexa, a digital... What? In the tutorials, man, how do I do that? I can find help? I can suggest a resupply? How? How? How do I do that? Ugh, needs a code. Select my best weapon. Select my worst weapon. Select another weapon. Select my best weapon. I guess that's my best weapon. That is so cool. And I can I can attract zombies too with my voice using Alexa. That is I never thought I would be happy talking about Alexa. Ooh, supplies. Uh, Walk it off, Danny. Walk it off. Uh, love that clip. It was a right. I did some explorations. Tried catching some fish pets, which failed miserably. Fish pets. What are fish pets? I've never, I've never played Tower of Fantasy. I've seen like a little bit of gameplay, but I mean, I, I have an idea of what they probably are. That didn't sound good. Well, I'm just unlocking all the gates here. Oh, wait, can I? Hold on, hold on. Can I go back over here? And can I take this battery out? Nope. Nope, that'll that'll electrocute me. No, thank you. How cool is that, though? Here, I'll, I'll show you how we can attract zombies with our voice. That's so cool that I can, like... How many pool cues do I have? Do I literally have two pool cues? I have two. <laughs> uh, supposed to switch over to Zelda, but I didn't want to get stuck for hours when I need to get. Or, or, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. As I, I, I run into that kind of that same situation on, uh, on like today's stream because we usually do two to three games. Hold on, watch this. Are you, are you guys ready for this? Let's find a zombie. Watch how cool this is. Hey, you. He heard me. He really listens to me. Hi, guy. Detective Danny's on the case. <laughs> Fucking shit bag fuck. I got brass knuckles. I, I honestly, I know that this is technically the better weapon, but... I missed what the tutorial said. What did it say? I got the sword. 
I'm using my brass knuckles. I was having fun with those. <gasps> Fedora! That was the kind of hat that I was trying to make Pepe Chris wear. Uh, oh. You set up like your own island, and on the island you can build pet pens. Then you tame slash catch wild creatures out uh, out in the uh, TOF world and trap them in your pen. Oh, so it's like just like it's like breeding animals. Like, can you do anything with them? Like, you take them out on like adventures, or like are they useful in that sense, or is it just purely like cosmetic and like aesthetics? That is just oh right, we're looking for the code for the door. Not here. Rip. Medical kit. Ah. One nine seven chat. One nine seven five. I need everybody to write that down. One point to me. One nine seven five. Ooh. How do I get in there? Uh, that's gross. Oh. Well, shite. Hey, you. I missed. Can't cover stop him. He dodged. Yep. I got. That was cool. That that that. What what a vacation! What what a great first time to be in California. This is this has been a blast. Uh Ooh. Hearing that's wet. Oh, Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Oh. And curb stop. God, this is actually fun. I I think this is also co-op. I'm not sure how many players. I know the original um Dead Island was uh, was four player co op. I don't know if that's the same for this one. I have no idea. Uh, let me see. There's uh, there's five different types of pens, I think, and only about five different creatures you can tame for each, depending on taming level. Then some. Stop yelling in the background, please. Uh, and then some of them can just be turned into a mount. I think. Oh, that's okay. So there's some there's some usability. There's some functionality with them. They're not just purely just gonna follow you around. Like I, I get that. I like that. Uh, some of them can be turned into mounts. I think. And then the rest kind of sell if you want when they're max level. Okay. So so make a little bit of money, a little bit of functionality. I like that. I like that. Uh, did you just grab her brains? I think I like punched so hard that my hand went through her head. I think that's what happened. Uh, there's some who also drop materials for you to pick up. Oh, okay. So is it kind of like the sense like if you tame a sheep, you get like the wool from the sheep? Like kind of kind of sense. Uh, also, thank you, thank you so much to Pickle. Pickle 012. Pickle, thank you so much for the follow and a special welcome to you to the one and only the Beard, Beard Zone. <laughs> Where beards never die. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome on in pickle. How are you doing today? Welcome on into my first time going to uh, California. It's it's squishy. Is California always this squishy? I've never been to California before. Very squishy and a lot of curb stomping. Politely, politely curb stomping. Deadline two controversially caps the player count at three. Really. I wonder the reason why. I knew it. Stay down. Stay down. Sleep. 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 Crips down. Whoa. Sorry. Part of me. Excuse me. Part of me. Excuse me. Part of me.
Oh! Oh! Okay, well. Def not the right pool for a quick dip, no matter how hot it is. Well, thanks for the money. <laughs> please, pl please, wait, hold on, hold on, please. But oh, where'd it, where'd it go? in the pool. You belong in the pool. Anyway. Uh, but thank you again, Pickle. How are you doing? I don't know if you've played this or not, but this is my first time playing it, and I, I am loving this so far. This is great. Uh, let me see. Uh, not really. It's a bit confusing. I don't know what all of them do yet, but so far I've had one out of three pet drops an item, and it's like fire, like a fire rat who dropped like red gems. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking too complicated. Sheep for for wool but meanwhile it's like sheep for gem or or sheep for like crystal saber Ugh. walk it off Danny. walk it off yeah are we still turning into a zombie i kind of need to know okay let me go grab that battery i think we need that battery you would like that of course i would like that dude Come on, of course I would. It's great. Wasn't there? Yeah, hold on. Here we go. You? Oh, I need a fuse. Oh, where the fuck is a fuse then? I thought I needed a battery. Oh, I didn't even need to remember the code. It just remembered for me. Let me go back to Brad. I really like the way the brass knuckles are. I'm sure I'm going to like the sword. Guys, watch this. Ready? Watch this. Hey, you. I can call him over with my voice. Hey, Dumbos. Oh my god. Did I Did I punch so hard that I blew up those canisters? I'm just going to heal and take that and why did I come over here? <laughs> what was the point of coming over here? Also, there's like areas in the house that I want. Oh, maybe this is the way? Where's this lead? Well, I guess we'll never find out what's in that house. All right. I guess we're going to the story house. Um, uh, who's out there? Danny, from the crash. You'll remember my face when you see it, darling. Oh, uh, okay. Come in. All right, I should be going to bed now. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Sarah, thank you so much again for coming in, for raiding us, for hanging out with us. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. I think you said... Oh, wait. No! Finally. <laughs> Almost closed the gate on me. Uh, I hope uni goes well tomorrow. Hopefully get to see you again. Thank you so much for bringing your crew on in to hang out with us. Uh, guys, guys, and pals who are over here before uh, Sarah's raid, please go drop Sarah some love. Go check her out. Again, she's one of our newer friends here in the Beard Zone, but I promise you guys will have a great time over on her stream, so please... Go check her out and go drop her some love. And again, thank you so much, Sarah. I will do many curb stomps in your name, Sarah. No hangover compares to this. Uh, hold on a second. Do we have any other dead weapons here? Uh, F4, F4. Okay, just throw those on the ground. It's California, right? They're they're okay with me dropping weapons on the ground, right? Just need a nap is all. Just a quick little kit. Oh, he's got a gun. Get in. 
It's crazy. It's everywhere. It's a miracle you didn't get bit. Ew, is that? <laughs> I'm as sick as a small hospital. <laughs> get away from this house! Oh shit! Ray, what are you devil? doing? Give me the gun! No! You have been bitten! You will turn. Eat us, I know. I've seen it now. Get away! Uh. Hey, uh, they were at the crash. I invited them. Just give me the... No! I will not have this devil in my house! Uh, your house! You may have snuck your whole family in the moment I was gone, but this is still my home! You abandoned me! Well, I'm back now, and you are still my housekeeper, so give me the bloody... Oh, God. Gun! For fuck's sake. Here. After party's over, I need to crash, uh, like... Uh, we, we've got a problem. Um, our friend here has been bitten. So? Uh, what the bloody hell does that mean? It means they will turn into a beast! We must uh. kill them! This is not a fucking movie. I'm not killing them. It's definitely not my job description. Oh, no. oh God. Are, are they turning? What is happening? <laughs> oh, that was just a misfire. I hope that was just a misfire. Okay, just a misfire. It'd be one hell of a way to end the game. Smart. That's what I would do. Very smart. Something. Unexpected. I've not been shot. And Michael fainted and the gun went off. Fucking idiot almost hit me. No need for these. Fever's gone. Feeling fine as a blue sky. You do seem better. And the bite's healing too. But you're staying locked up. But the fever's gone. That proves... No, it proves nothing. Okay? I mean, people are eating each other out there and... No one knows anything about what's going on. And, and I can't get hold of my agent or my manager. I'm a sight more use than an agent right now, darling. You can trust me. Nice try. But trusting people never worked out too well for me. Emma! Can I ever get two minutes away from here? They're surrounding the house. They're trying to get in. Give us the key to the cops. I can help. Oh, shit. Okay, they're, they're toy cuffs. Just press the button. Everything in this city is fake. The fuck? <laughs> fake cuffs? Oh my god. I was gonna say, that's smart. Like, if you're unsure somebody is bitten, just handcuff them. Handcuff them, wait it out, see if they're bit. But I, I think we're immune? Because we were totally bit. Uh, Would have chopped the bitten arm off, but maybe still too late. Maybe because like in, in Walking Dead, um, they do do that for a few characters where they do like get rid of like someone got bit on the hand and they cut off like above that. But they had to do it like right away, like right away, because the longer you wait, the chances are that like whatever the virus is or whatever, like gets contracted. So but it could be too late, could be. But I, I think in this case, we're we're immune. So but this is good so far. I'm liking this. Uh, going to bed as well. Night, beard lovers. Night, Krista. Take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you for chilling, hanging out with us. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, skill deck. Skills are combat moves and bonuses that appear as skill cards, which are found uh, or earned while player playing the game. Your deck is how to create and tweak your play style, choosing which skill cards to equip. Uh, to be used a... To be used, a skill card has to be equipped in unlocked skill slots, which come in four tiers. Uh, slots are unlocked as you progress through the game. A slot can hold any cards from its corresponding tier. Uh, first tier abilities are your bread and butter combat moves. They're auto-equipped as you unlock them by playing story quests. Okay. So we got the dodge move. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you've unlocked a new survivor skill tier, uh, tier skill slot. Uh, selected to equip your first survivor skill card. Will help you survive longer against zombies. Help you slay zombies and Newman skills. Well, you'll find out. Okay. Newman skills. Uh, let's see. So we got two choices. Um, Danny and Jacob Oi indulge in a vicious cycle of death. Slay a zombie for a minor boost to damage. A well-time block or dodge regains health. Uh, well, since I'm not, I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> As you progress through the game, you'll learn your favorite ways to splatter zombies, find and unlock new skill cards. Gotcha. That's cool. Okay. 
Very, very cool. Yeah. I'm not that great at, uh... I'm assuming that there's going to be crafting. You just grab all this stuff in here. What's that? Pink water bottle. Okay. All right. Who's screaming? Going upstairs first. Hold on. I got looting to do. I know there's zombies surrounding the house, but... Cool. Oh, what's that? Llama milk? Order llama milk. Confirm Aurora therapist. Check flowers. Look at seating. Order Yanni eggs. Latex gloves. Arrange uh, repair of toothpaste. We what? All right. Fucking rich people, man. Fucking rich people. They're getting closer. What do we do? That's my cue to get on stage. Are, are you sure? Take the gun. If they get past me, you'll need it. Oh my god. Go! Open, open, it. open it to go. Oh. go. Now, for fuck's sake, I do it. Keep out of sight. Ah. Woo! Let's get to partying. Defend the house. Okay. Drop kick. What space and an E? I gotta try this. Please. Oh, I can't. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curb stomp? No, nobody. Okay. Can't have more party crashers getting in. Let's close this up. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Fuck. How do I? Okay, gonna just heal real quick. What the hell? Fancy place like this must have spares. Curb stomp. Where am I going? Spare what? Oh, right. We need the gate. Um, so maybe down in the garage here. Curb. in the garage, right? Okay, dead. How many cars do you you got three cars? I too wail on corpses when I see them. Listen, you can't be too careful. What? Let me just let me just Okay, well Wait Oh no, the jerry can <laughs> I don't know what I need these for <laughs> Oh 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 I was putting the fire out I thought I don't know what I was thinking. Here we go. You're dead too. I think we'll just leave you off, eh, Sparky? All right, going to close the gate. Is that a Jerry can or a Jerry can't? Well, it can't sit up.
Please, curb stop. Oh, their stamina wasn't all the way down there. That's why. I cut his hand off. Okay. This has to be a nod at Left 4 Dead 2. I mean, maybe? I don't know. Oh, really? The world's slowest gate. Oh, they're runners. You're welcome, Jaunt. Zombie ass kicking services at competitive prices. I did it. That's a nice bag. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, Fed? Welcome on in, bud. Oh, Fed, you haven't seen it. Hold on. Fed, um, I did a thing now with my new audio setup because now I'm able to actually route out my microphone separately from, like, the stream audio and stuff. So now when I'm feeling like a gross boy or just, you know, not in the mood to be on camera and everything, um, I now have a thing. Um, I'm not a VTuber, but yeah. So now if I ever don't feel like being on camera, um, we got Pepe Chris to, to, to represent the beard zone. Uh, and then, you know, depending on like, you know, specific games or things that we're doing, you know, we could do things like, you know, Hunt Showdown, uh, where I have a jar of bees and a cowboy hat and a gun. Or, you know, in this situation where this is my first time ever being in California, I'm a tourist here, so I'm just, you know, taking in the sights of the, the fantastic Hollywood sign. Just that, that everything's burning up there. That's is it supposed to be doing that. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be doing that or not. But anyway, I, I love this. Our good friend Mark made this for me, this emote a long time ago, and he updated it. And now with this new audio setup, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like being on camera. Um, and before I just kind of had to deal with it and I was like, well, you know, I, my fucking mouse. Now I don't have to deal with it. I could just turn my camera off and there we go. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Uh, but I, I, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, Pepe Chris is going to be hanging out here in a, a bit. How do I? Are the devils gone? Taken care of. Yes. Where are the others? <laughs> They're downstairs in the games room hiding. Tomorrow I will say a prayer for Sean, but today, today I thank God for keeping my children safe. I don't know who who you're talking about. Three guesses who will be cleaning the guts off the drive. I don't know, not my problem. I'm just here, uh oh, rise of the god spider. Why does that look like Jack Nicholson for some reason? From like a certain angle, that looked like Jack Nicholson, and I don't know why. It's the guy with the flamethrower. <laughs> I would go see that movie. That sounds great. Rise of the God Spider coming to you this summer. God Spider Summer. I think we're safe and sound for now. Oh, thank you for going out there. God, this is beyond insane. I mean, I'm, I don't know how to do this. I'm not supposed to die here. At least you'll die with me, Emma. I'm fantastic. No, no, what I mean to say is you're not dying. Not with me around. Now, since the health of our possibly undead friend here not is... Undead. We can't verify that, okay? Since your health is in question, we need a lead, um, a person here. A, a lead protector. And Emma, I will be your protector. <laughs> Really great job at protecting, bud. Whoa! You got no shot on this eight ball. Who's the cure? Uh, it's broken anyway. This is the guy from the first game. It's Sammy Don't B. Touch her. Sam. You hear that eight ball line? I saw the cue. Mm. Nailed it. You're shocked. I get it. I couldn't exactly call ahead. No. Or call any time in the past 15 years since you popped out to the store. I think we should talk about this later. 
I'm here to kick well, you out please. of here. Emma is a huge star. Her fans are probably crowdfunding for her rescue right now. Guess again. City's locked tight. Being famous don't count for shit. Lucky for you, I've been through this before. Fuck off. No one's been through this before. Guess again, again. This zombie shit happened twice already. All got covered up. But I survived. You want to know how? I'm immune. Big deal. So are they. What's that now? This motherfucker. This motherfucker. So, we're <laughs> not special and we're doing fine. Thanks. I'm immune. You still need me. I killed more zombies than you got you. So what exactly is your plan for getting us out of here? I'm still working out the details. We don't need him. And you know you do. <laughs> I'm immune! <laughs> Fine, you can stay. Everyone else has moved in, so why not you? I'll show you where you're sleeping. This way. Uh, you don't want to leave that shotgun. <laughs> you mean being famous doesn't count for shit? How ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, I would I would be so freaking excited if I was immune. I would be so so excited. Okay, so we got drop kick. And I guess we'll equip that. That's our next upgrade. Emma John we're talking about here. Wait, do I talk to you? You know what? It's gonna Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Let's not let's not jump over any more counters. Um Can we talk to you? by blind Andalusian monks. My dog slept on it before Robert shot him. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Damn girl. All right. Hi Sam. Don't you think that if we're immune, we should tell someone? <laughs> sure, if you want to get dissected. Hey, come now. We'll be VIPs. RIPs. Emma's got six months of food in the basement. We can wait it out here. What? Your plan is to just sit in your arse for six months? Nah. You do you, but I'm getting out of this city. You're immune. You ain't bite-proof. Neither are they. They're not the only ones who can fight dirty. Ah, you don't know shit. Uh, out there, you gotta be a mechanic, medic. Jackie fucking Chan rolled into one. Or I could do even better. Yours truly. Uh, all right, it's your ass. Hey, if you're going out there, you're gonna need some special sauce. Grab that machete. Ooh, are we going to learn how to do some crafting? Because I've been grabbing all those. Oh, that's a green machete. Hell yeah. This is how you give us some spice. You'll need parts, though. Take some of this shit lying around here. Okay. walked into a zombie outbreak to save Emma? should never have left her. It was just... I Use the workbench, and let's get cooking. Okay, what are we going to make? Uh, use workbenches. Use workbenches to repair your weapons and customize them with devastating effects. Only, uh, only uncommon, rare, or superior weapons can be customized. Uh, customize your weapon by adding mods and perks to them. Both will enhance a weapon in different ways. Okay, so we're going to add a mod. Uh, so they do additional damage. This electro, electro, electro cuter mod will convert your weapon to shock damage and electrify weapons. Okay. Ooh. Fabricate a mod or a perk. You need a its blueprint. Uh, you have one blueprint so far for the electro cuter mod. You just fabricated. You have a blueprint. And let's look at perks. Uh, perks enhance weapons in various ways. Some perks have negative as well as positive effects. So weigh up benefits and decide what that means. Weapons of higher rarity have more perk slots, making them more flexible and powerful. Uh, you'll need parts found around LA to fabricate mods and perks. If you're running low on parts, scrap weapons or remove mods. Oh, I didn't know we can scrap weapons. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because we have like a whole bunch of junky weapons. But right now you have enough parts to add a perk this, to this weapon too. Go ahead and fabricate it. Enhancer. Blueprints are found exploring LA and completing quests. 
Uh, some traders may even sell them. You can, or, oh, there's traders. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Got it. Uh, what does this do? Increase damage, but reduces durability. Ooh, I wouldn't have added that one on. Can I just, uh, yeah, I don't like that. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stinky. Can I fix my, I would like to fix this. How do I, okay. And I would like to fix the sword. I'm gonna keep those. Um, we can scrap with F3. 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 Oh, I have two brass knuckles. Can I? How do I upgrade? F2. Okay, I can't yet. Uh, let's just scrap that one too. The pool cues don't really do much. So. Hit a zombie with that, the motherfucker's gonna stay here. Consider me schooled. Cool. Uh, hey, Heiser, how you doing, man? Welcome on in. Oh, I got a dog hair on my face. Uh, oh, storage. Okay, cause so we can we can store things. So can I store you in here? I really like the brass knuckles. How you doing though, Heiser? What's going on, man? Hi, Carlos. So meat is bait. It's just meat. But the zombies go for it. Saved my life getting here. I got some meds you can have too. Just maybe next time you give me something in return, huh? Oh, so you're a traitor. Okay, so got some meat. That hold on. Hold on. Can we can we enhance that, please? Can we just the fuck is that? That's not meat. That's like That's like intestines and a liver in a jar. Oh, maybe that's what he meant. Oh, maybe that's what he meant. <gasps> Javelin. Uh, oh my God. I can make medical kits. Yes. <gasps> fuse. Wait, uh, there was a house that there was, there was a fuse that we needed. Uh, I'm going to buy that. I remember where that is. No, that was $1,500 for that fuse. Thanks. Still think you'd be better off staying here. But at Time least to get in, you're in on the plan. Uh, doing great things. Lovely fall day here uh, in the northeast. Yeah, it was. Hi, Ronnie. Don't worry. All the doors are locked. Are you? Nothing's getting in. Oh right, his eardrums got blown out. Okay, well, you know, <sighs> poor Ronnie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, dude, it was beautiful out today. Not too hot, not too cold. Very, very fall. Um, but I am just freezing cold. Uh, I think it's mostly because of my diabetes. So uh, how much? It was $1,500 for a fuse. But it, you know what it fuse feels like? It feels like that kind of item that there's going to be like secret little areas that you can't get in unless you have a fuse. So it's kind of like open a secret area kind of item, which is probably why it's like so expensive. Oh, we got a new card. Invigorating. Uh, laugh in the face of death counter attack zombies to regain extra health. Ooh. You know, I'm going to switch it out for that one because, again, I'm not that great at dodging. Is that a... Is that a fucking photo of you almost naked? Just going to just... Procure some some things real quick. Um, don't don't mind us, Emma. Oh, Emma's note. Uh, Roberts just informed me we have to leave immediately. He's made my arrangements. I don't even have time to change. This is just to say I'm sorry. Uh, you've done so much for me. I hope you make it out. Oh, from Andrea to Emma. Oh no, from Emma to Andrea. Cool. A lot of money, a lot, a lot of money for for a fuse, but that that's the that's what I'm getting as I think that's what it's for, which would make sense. I feel like we're shipwrecked. Am I going to end up in some dead fan's stomach? You won't let that happen, will you? But I hope I hope you had a good Maybe. weekend, though, Heiser. I hope Isn't everybody had great weekends. Involved, like. Sam doesn't trust them. Sam doesn't have friends waiting on him in Portland. I do. 
We all want to leave. You wouldn't believe what we had to pay to get on that plane. We're stuck here. Come now, we could make it out if we... You can't just jump in a car and go. The roads are all blocked. I saw videos of cars getting swarmed. You might as well put wheels on a coffin. No cars, right. There's millions of those things out there, just waiting to sink their teeth into us. Face it, we'd need a helicopter to get out, and everyone who has one is already fucked off in it. Then we'll fuck off elseways, in style. Boats. Oh dear. Where's the nearest evacuation center? We were supposed to report to the helper in hotel. If Robert hadn't made other arrangements. Then left you heartbroken, I see. Our marriage was just PR, okay? Okay. Lifestyles of the rich and the famous. Oh! Well, Wait, what song is that? Still at the helper in hotel. Fuck, was that good Charlotte? Don't forget your friends if you do find a way out. I feel like that was a good Charlotte quote. Or, I don't know. I think that is good Charlotte. I'm not sure. Uh, all right, let us. House is locked up tight, but Michael can let you out the back door. I've unlocked cosplay. You can change appearance of your slayer in the storage locker from the extra menus. Cosplay. Yo! Which one do we like more? Do we like blonde or we like teal? I'm claim pop property. Uh, I'm gonna stay with the the green hair. Um, where do I gotta go? I think down here. Yeah, this seems right. Okay. Uh, just looking around for some supplies. Nothing. Hi, Michael. Hey, Mikey. I'm gonna head over to the Halpern Hotel. See if the army's still there. Yes, yes, uh, good. Good, exactly what I was going to tell you to do. All part of my survival plan. Uh, uh, oh, you'll need keys to get out here. Uh, just tell them Emma Jaunt and her staff need to be evacuated immediately. Okay? On it, Sarge. Tell the authorities they you're immune. A helicopter right in the ground. Fine. This all would be more fun with more hands on deck. Uh, slay together in Hella. Okay. So you have unlocked co-op play, join force with your friends, or jump into others. Um, single player. Okay, so you have to like change it. Got it, got it, got it. Well, I don't have any friends who have this game, so we're running solo. Wait. Tennis racket weapon? Nope. But uh I remember I remember playing uh Dead Island 1, and I believe we played it on stream. Uh sorry, it's not gonna work. The civilian no-fly zone is non-negotiable, however much money you throw at it. However, I have secured three places on a military evac flight out of LAX. Yes, I know you only wanted one, but oh. You need 150k in cash. Jesus Christ. Really? Holy fuck, man. Again, lifestyles of the rich and the famous. Jeez. Alrighty. That's a zombie eating trash. All right. Well, I think now that we finally hit the street, uh, time to uh, unleash Pepe, Chris. I'm here. I'm here to, to enjoy my vacation to California for the first time. Man. What a great vacation this is so far. <laughs> I thought I could sneak up and, and stab him, but I guess not. I guess I had to be that one guy. One guy who's got the stabby stabs. Why is there a marker here? If 
Vax Center this way. Halperin Hotel. Get my suite ready. Well. My trash now. See? Use. Ah! Fire! Yikes. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. They, they knew. They knew a dumbass like me was going to come in all willy nilly. Ow, ow. They knew. They fucking knew. Damn it. Whoa. Pike! Oh no! <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna light all this gas that's on the floor. I wonder if I could have like snuck up in there and like did that. Let me let me just use. There we go. But see, I I had a feeling with how much that fuse was that that was gonna be like the trick. Fuses are gonna be like secret little things that you can find, or to get into like secret little areas and things like that. So don't laugh at me. <laughs> all right, I'm just a tourist here. This is my first time in L.A. All right. I'm just taking it. I'm just taking in the sights. Oh God. Ah! How do I throw the... Oh, yeah, I have this. Okay. Oh, I hit, I hit the wrong button. I'm doing great. This is great first time trip to LA. Battery. That sounds so swell. Is that a box of donuts? Okay, this, oh, it's the electric pole. Okay. Well, we might need that battery. We'll come back for it. I say, I wonder in this one if we get any guns. Ah, here we go. Meat bait. Cue to throw. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stupid zombies. Oh. Uh. 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 Ow! Dude, fuck you. I'm trying to enjoy my trip here. Huh. I have to wait. I have to wait till this leaves. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another battery. Where am I? Where am I going? Uh, oh, wow. We're like leaving this area. That's a fuse over here. Find a fuse to unlock it. Can we just go in any of these houses? 
Also, I don't know if we have anybody in chat who is native to California. Uh, but I would love to hear. I mean, is this what Cal? Are you still out there? Hey, can you hear me? Is this working? Everything all right there? <laughs> oh, good. Finally, some life out there. Well, you're not much to look at, but I'll take a chance on you. Rude. Uh, say, you seen another kid out there? Who you calling kid? At any race, it's just me and the zombies. Damn it. Must have thought I was shooting at her and got spooked. Well, listen. If I get the gate, can you search the front? Y you find that girl, you bring her around back, and we'll straighten this thing out. Just watch out for the other trespassers. They might. <laughs> hey, get out of there, you scourge of a Satan. Ah, yes. Right, Scourge of Satan. No! No, lady! Heck. I can't let the old fella die too now, can I? Well. Is that a gun? Oh my god. That is a beautiful car. But yeah, I've never been to Cali. Um, so I'm using this to take in the sights. Where am I hearing that zombie? That's not going to bring any zombies in. I don't know what will. Isn't there a water jug? Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Secrets. They call me the... A rake! Ah, what was that noise? They call me the secret sniffer and a blueprint. Reinforced rake. Uh, where's my rake? And we'll do upgrades. I can make an electric rake. Uh, durability enforced, but reduces attack. Let's see how much it reduces it by. Electric rake. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair my machete. Cool. I do like... Um... Well, that's locked. Whee! Uh, I do like... The weapon crafting and everything. I feel like I heard the gunfire coming from here. Hey, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm new here. I'm new here. Oh, hey, look. Uh, is that a Nikon? I got a Sony. Cheese. Garcon. Direct me to the champagne. Chop, chop. Mister? No, that was a missus. That's totally a lady. She does not look okay. Oh. Killed you, kid. You find that girl. She didn't make it. I'm sorry. Son of a bitch. Well, I say it's about time we send these party crashers back to hell. Come to the fire. Come to the fire. Come hang on the fire. Hey, don't worry. Blood washes out. 
Hi ya! Curb stomp. You're not shooting at me, are you? <laughs> oh, some damn fine work, kid. Thank you. Hey, get over here. I need to talk to you. I'm here. Oh, it's from a down damn here. Shame about that girl, but uh, I'm sure you did what you could. Curtis Sinclair's the name. Did a bit of acting in my time. <laughs> Ma'am, excuse me. Pleasure to meet you in these dark times. I thought you were looking familiar. Pleasure's all mine, Mr. Sinclair. Now, let's get you down. Ah, uh, listen. Uh, I need help. Years of doing my own stunts means, well, the old hip won't survive this drop. I need to get my chairlift to get down, uh, but the power in the house is gone kaput. Sure, I can lend a hand with that. What's the What same? are those noises that I'm Turn hearing? The connections down at the end of the yard. See if the problem's there. Now, if you can get things running, I can buzz you inside. Godspeed, kid. Okay. Stop calling me kid. Was he having like a dinner party here and then the zombies attacked? What is the noise? What is happening? Oh, I love these things. The outdoor, the outdoor heaters. My cousin had one at their wedding. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's dead. Cousin had them at his wedding because it was like late fall and it was actually kind of cold out and oh my god. Really, really, really warms you up. Yeah. Yep, it's dead too. Yep, checked it. Okay. Also, I love that there's no stamina for running. So that's really, really nice. That's pretty cool. Da, da. Hello? Oh, wait, hold on. I can do this. Ready ready for this, Heiser? So I can actually use Alexa in-game to call out to the zombies. <clears throat> hey, anybody here? I don't think there's any zombies around. Oh. My. God. Let me take some pictures. I'm just kidding. That's... Uh, Yeah, it uses Alexa. I can also do this. Select my best weapon. Select a blade. Select a, 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 a modded weapon. Like, sometimes it works. But I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Tony the Schemer. Where the fuck are you? Pool house. All the coats are here. Why would my uncle keep his coat in the pool house, genius? Party guests, they left the, a gold mine or wallet mine. Uh, will you get your head in the fucking game? In a ghost stop. Uh, will you get the head in the fucking game? We're here for my money. The suck ups uh, have nothing compared to what the old man's keeping from me. Oh, they were trying to rob him. Oh, interesting. I mean, this would be a good place to rob everybody leaves their wallets all the rich people oh god jesus christ i uh, my vacation stop it that's the second time that's the second time a zombie got me Oh, I know what I gotta do. Who could have imagined such a thing? Here we go. That should sort it. These are my good pants. I hate it. John Wick. I don't know why. Just the hair. Zombie John Wick. You know. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go help the old man. 
The second time, man. Second time a zombie just burst yeah. through. You did it. Hey, get your keister in here. We're not out of the woods yet. Get your keister in here. Oh, the front door. Whoa! <laughs> Down for the count, baby. Oh, there was water there. I was like, why am I taking damage? Whoa, 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 wowie, wow, wow. Um. Whoa, I chopped him in half. Like zoinks. What a vacation. All right. I think we're good. Did you just... Oh, I don't have a good feeling about that. That lady crawled out of the house. Um, you're going to turn out to be like a serial killer or something, dude? To the wise, kid. If you're going to fight these things with grenades, don't do it in your own home. Take my chances. Well, either my ears are playing tricks on me or, or trouble's on its way. I'm, I'm gonna need you to clear the runway. What? Ta-da! Whoa! Well, well, well. If it isn't my not no spoiled brat or that threw my favorite maid to the zombie. That's his own hide. Oh, for all the good it did him. What an asshole. That cowardly little shit, the beating he deserves. I, I did. <laughs> You know, you could have shot him as you were coming down, like in this this chair. He's got a <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what a great memory. I love like his like smoke jacket. A lot of a lot of fighting. Also his uh his like white like under the armpit holster. Beautiful. <laughs> Where, where are you? And to think I said they wouldn't catch me dead in that chairlift. <laughs> you know, you, you take your time, old man. I'm just gonna, you know, look around. Look at, yeah, right. I'm, I'm getting like Hugh Hefner vibes, but like, I don't know. So far, the characters are good in this. Also, Lala. Hello, Lala. Thank you so much for the follow and a special welcome to you to the one and only the Beard Zone, where beards never die. Thank you so much, Lala, for the follow. And welcome on in. How are you doing? Welcome to my first trip to uh, to LA. Uh, not what I expected. Really squishy. A lot of curb stomping. Um, I don't know. Is LA normally like this? I have no idea. Pokemon reset. Yeah, I can do that. Hold on. Because I don't think we have any real active mods right now. I think a lot of people are just busy today. Reset. And I'll spawn one in. But how are you doing, Lala? Welcome on in. Hi, Curtis. I... Oh, that's a nice looking gun. It's got a buffalo on it. <gasps> just gotta take a picture of that. All right, cool. Cool. All right, for my scrapbook. Someone up there must really like me if they sent you to save me, huh? <laughs> Not sure what I did to deserve it, though. <laughs> Just call me your guardian angel. Things An doing angel good? Good. I'm glad to hear. Thank glad you. to hear. Hope you're having a great weekend. Listen, anything in this house you need, it's yours. The least I can offer you. 
Oh, well, that's Damn sweet. Sure can't stay here, though. How's it looking out there? Patched up arseways and back, but there are survivors over at Emma John's place. Well, I'll be damned. The neighbors were here all along. I ought to give him a piece of my mind for not checking in on me. He's dead. Turned zombie on our evac flight. And then they couldn't wait to shoot us out of the sky. Emma's right as rain, though. He's dead. Damn shame. The son of a bitch owed me money. Oh, well. I'll make my way over there after I say my goodbyes to this place. Dude, how are you going to get over there? You, you couldn't even get down the stairs. Thanks again. Don't you want an escort, old fella? I won't be able to sleep at night if you get killed on my watch. Watch your tone, kid. <laughs> I'm old, not senile. Peggy here will make sure I get there just fine. Did, did he name his gun Peggy? You know what? Good name. Good name. Ooh, gunpowder? <gasps> I love you. You're great. You're fantastic. I would love to hear more of what you got to say, but we, we got places to see. <laughs> that did nothing. <gasps> oh, lightweight? What's that? Oh! oh, that's O, not Q. Attack speed. It increases attack speed but reduces force. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, well... I dirtied up his room. Uh, not going to take a picture of that because. Oh, is that like an Alexa device? I think that's like an Alexa device. Ugh. Hate what you did with the place. Yeah, I've never been to LA. Um. I know we have a few friends in the community uh, who may not be here, but actually one of them is streaming right now. But I'm curious. Oh, oh, not again! You fucking. <sighs> what did I? <sighs> anyway, um. Where does save key? Okay. I'm just gonna go to every door now and expect every door. <laughs> every door now is going to be a jump scare door. Also, I'm sorry if that blew out anybody's eardrums. That honestly fucking scared me. Tony the Mooch. Uh, Tony the Mooch. Uh, this you're lucky you're out sick. Tony Mega Mooch Sinclair just showed up. Oh, that creep. Don't let him get you alone. I got my eye on him. How could Mr. Sinclair have such a scummy nephew? Oh, the, 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 the nephew. Right, 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 right. Which he turned into a fast zombie. So I guess if you're a piece of shit, you turn into a really uber fast gross zombie. That's just, that's just the way zombification works. Excuse me, pardon me. Is that it? Also, I did get, what did I get? I got a, got a golf club. So I am running out of space here. Um, uh, we'll scrap this. I like the idea of a sword. I really like my knuckle dusters, but we'll scrap that. All right. Um, out for the count. Live long and prosper. That was the name of that achievement. Okay, wait a minute. I'm opening all these doors thinking... See, that would have been a perfect point for a jump scare. That would lead down. But I want to go back to the main street area. Also, I do want to go back and fix... Hello. 
Level five. Um, also got a new card. Oh, new card. Uh, that all you got block or dodge. How do I block? Wait a minute. I don't think I actually learned how to, to block. Remind keys, block, block, left alt. Ooh, or maybe certain. Oh, you know what? It might be certain characters because there was that one guy, the guy who was totally a firefighter. Right? So maybe certain characters can block. I, I like that, actually. So far, I'm actually really liking this game. This is this is fun. I haven't played a good zombie like <gasps> the safe key. It's right there. Hold on. I got to fix that. And then can we upgrade this bad boy? It's lightweight. Use attack speed. Eh, you know what? We'll just keep it as lightweight. Oh my god. It was the girl. <sighs> Could have just went that way the whole time. I want to see what else LA has to offer. I'm new here. Some vehicles are alarm damage and then we'll set off an alarm. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see what's up this way. Oh, sledgehammer. Ooh, I'll take that. Ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Oh, shit. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, he lost a hand. Where's this lead? Oh, you're a runner. Oh! I couldn't read what that said. It was so quick. Looks like I made the team. Get it? I don't know. It said coach's keys, so I, I tried. Did anyone see what that said? It said something about the, the, the skull icon above their head, but it just, it happened. Oh. This is the, the house that we were at in the beginning. Headshot. Uh, we need a fuse to go back in there. Yeah. yeah, it was it was so quick, right? It just didn't even give me a chance to. Uh... Oh, I saw some runners. Uh, we're just gonna let's go back this way. Let's see what else uh, LA has to offer. All right, so, oh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, hey, protein bar. <laughs> uh, um, that leads that way. Let's head back down this way. Yeah, it just happened too quick, man. Chorus. Wait, I'm a Taurus. Shit.
I really I do want to go to Cali one day. Um I have quite a few friends who live out there. I have quite a few friends who live out in Cali, so I would love to uh, eventually get out there. Private property, no trespassing. What I'm hearing is that I should trespass. Yes, that's what I'm hearing. Staff only. Oh, a fuse. Are you a runner? Oh, you're a runner. Oh, oh shit. Oh, got, okay. So how far did I, oh, my fucking mouse. I might need to unplug my mouse. So I think what the skull meant, because those guys all had skulls on top of their head. I think that meant they were just like too hard. Like, right? Like. Skulls usually mean, no, don't, don't do that. Difficult. So I'm assuming that those guys were just above my level. So probably don't go that way. What about here? Just leads down to Death Alley. Gotcha. Yeah, that was a big oof. Check my map. All these streets look the same. Curb stomp, curb stomp, curb stomp. Curb stop. Nope. Oh well. Huh. Right. Um. I guess I gotta go up against that wall. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. We good? Oh. This is more feckin like us. I love her accent. Hello. Okay. There's another one around there, but I don't need to fight them all. Needs mailman's keys. Okay. Whoa, 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 Sparky. Simmer down, simmer down. I need to use electric rake. Electric rake. Oh sh shit, fucking. Oh. You're almost there. Come on, guy. Oh, you did like the little little jumps. Okay. Well. I am liking this though. And again, this is co-op by the way. So, I think uh Frog you Frog was checking it earlier and it looks like it's three player co-op. Not one to pass up a shortcut. <sighs> Locked. Time to stay to break it. Ow. Okay. <sighs> Drop kick. <gasps> Curb stomp. Oh man, I missed it. I can see why what's her face said that. <coughs> oh, this is where all those cop zombies were. Ooh, shovel. Ugh, dead end. I can see why she said that cars were a bad idea because if the roads are blocked and then the zombies swarm, then that's just like it. Oh, this is really pretty. Again, I, I really don't know if this is what L.A. is like. 
protein bar. Does everyone just eat fucking protein bars in LA? Hi. Goat Pen Troy. Hi, Troy. What you doing down there, bud? <gasps> More inflate. Uh, it's an inflatable unicorn. <gasps> Take a picture of that. And pizza. How can I forget about the pizza? Bye, Troy. Thought I saw something down there. Oh, wait. I did see something. Steel pipe. I don't need that. I guess that's my way in. I to find a workbench so I can fix this. Scaffolding pole. Healy's. I guess this must have been some sort of like press conference or like an interview or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to come in with style. Style. Apology. Oh my God. Is this like a content creator apology? I am alone in the house. It's 1 a.m. And I just wanted to say sorry to all my fans that I've disappointed. But most importantly, my sponsors. I'll do better next time. Cry. Hold on. Cry here for sympathy. This feels like... Hold on. I gotta, I gotta turn Pepe Chris off here for a second. This feels like every content creator who made an oopsie and is looking for sympathy and they do one of those half-ass apology videos that this is a total jab at it the unsympathetic but i need to do an apology video so let me do it that's what this is this isn't scripted this is from the heart please take the evacuation evacuation seriously it was a mistake i should have i shouldn't have joked about it love you all even even in a zombie apocalypse that's what you worry about fucking Dude, you drop all that shit, man. It's a, it's a, it's an apocalypse. It's, it's a, it's a. <sighs> okay, well, I'm inside now, so. Uh, what do we got here? I just had to turn off. Goat pen planning. Merch meeting Tuesday, 24 hour. This is a streamer house. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, and you're Goat Pen Troy. <gasps> He's the streamer boy. Hello. Oh, man. I don't know who you were. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's even worse than I thought. The meta. The meta of... of the meta of a streamer meeting another streamer during a, a, a apocalypse. God. Well, maybe a nice expensive house I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah, I mean, I don't find this architecture pleasing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just too simple of a boy from New Jersey, but... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think, I think this is like an actual, whose fucking logo is that? I, that logo looks so familiar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lock boxes. All right. Safe of Brosodian. What? Found you. Whose logo is this? Brosodian and the Spartan? <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, look at all of the energy drinks. Oh, to my followers, hold on. To my followers. Not snap to going down. That face when you gotta write your thoughts on the phone instead of sharing them with your 50k followers. Pray for me, y'all. Just made the most incredible GF lean turkey sandwich. Moisture levels through the roof. Perfectly crisp lettuce. And some aioli, 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 drizzled over top. Having time to spend on me the last couple of weeks has been so great. Just my pantry supplies don't run low. Another gorgeous sunset in LA. 
This place really takes your breath away. Remember to attach photo. Um, I think they were writing up a, a social post. I gotta see whose house this is. Hold on, hold on. That this this is this is a reference to an actual content creator. Uh, Dead Island to streamer house. Uh, let me see. Goat Pen, also known as that location in Dead Island Two, located in Bel Air. I, I, that icon looks so familiar. Rock Safe has found the upper streaming room. Okay, no, I'm not looking for a walkthrough. I just want to know whose house this is. Here we go. Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Streamers. Oh, there's multiple streamers. <laughs> there's multiple streamers' houses. Uh, I'm looking for the one that I'm at. Hold on. Come on, come on. I just want to see whose house this is. That icon looks so familiar. It's like on the tip of my brain. No, <sighs> fuck, I can't find it. Uh, if anybody gets a chance to look, I'm, I'm honestly really curious on who's, whose house this is in reference to. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very curious. Uh, also, give me one second because... Uh, only one out of the three peeps who were, I was lurking in are no longer lurk or no longer streaming. So let me just go find somebody else that I can open up. Open up another tab. Uh, perfect. One, two, and three channels I'm lurking in. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Right. Okay, they're muted as well. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. But yeah, this looks this looks so familiar. Oh, ow. Troy. Is he going to do a stunt? Jumping into the pool? What's this? Welcome. Trying to find out who you meant. I found info on the safe in the room. I won't say why, but need to come back. Okay. To late. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't trying to get like... I was just trying to figure out who this is. It's not Tim the Tat Man. It's not Tim the Tat Man. It's somebody else. That icon just looks so familiar. Okay, so... Go pen. Okay, well, at least we open those doors. There's a blueprint in there. How do I get in there? Excuse me. Oh, I could drop down from up there. Let me see if I can get in that side room. But I love the references. And, and according to the, the link that I was looking up, it said streamers. <gasps> oh! Okay. I think if we... right down here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I hear gunfire in the distance. Yikes. I'm just a floating... <laughs> Oh, no, they don't have full reflections. Oh, no, I'm just a floating rake. Oh, no, just a floating rake. Well, how much you want to bet there's a zombie in here? Woke up like this. One's from the other side. What? There's more? Oh, that's a whole green screen area down there. Yo! What the heck? 
Got a new blueprint. I hope that the cat's okay. He's goat pen master. Was I not supposed to come in here? How are you back? Ah. Oh no. Oh God. That's fall damage for you. That's fall damage for you. Please tell me I have to do that all over again. No, the doors are open, so we must be okay. I'm going to assume that we did all that. We can make some progress here. You alive? Or sort of alive? You're dead. Take that, Lenovo. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean Lenovo, I'm sorry. Actually use a Lenovo for work. Okay, hang on. I gotta I gotta fix my microphone real quick. Hold on. Not my mic, my my mouse. Been having this weird issue that occasionally it like it like gets stuck. And it's not the sensor, it's it's either the port or the mic the mouse is going bad. I haven't been able to really find out. Uh, gotta run for now. Catch you later, sir. Take care. Take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Heiser. Look forward to Tuesday, man. Eat rake. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, we're going to be doing a, uh, a multi-stream on Tuesday. Oh. That zombie is deadly and you'll tear you to pieces. Okay. Okay, yeah, they're strong. But we're stronger. litter shit Dude, you got you're dead Ooh, sledgehammer inventory is full can't carry any more i can either scrap uh let's see i guess this is the time to start scrapping stuff so anything in the 40s yeah i gotta get rid of some stuff oh but the brass knuckles now yeah, i'm gonna get rid of the brass knuckles we don't need it uh oh man uh 60 well we got two of these so i'll get rid of one of them there we go okay blades blades The fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh. You were tough. I gotta be careful, man. Last time I messed with the zombie that was skull and was a runner, they they screwed me over. I could have probably got them to the pool. I can love the the mo the movement in this game just feels satisfying. You know, it just it just fe it feels good.
Rip. What? Who? Um. Ah, oh, shit. Curb stop. Whew. I honestly didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're in here now. Uh, Log. Hey, Log. How are you doing? Welcome on in. And uh, yeah, man, we are. Um, it's my first time in California, so I'm just, you know, seeing the sights and uh, taking this little guy along. It's Pepe, Chris, and I are for our first time in California, so I'm a little tourist. Really? What was the what was the point of this? What was the what was the point of coming in here? There was no point. God, how are you doing though, Log? What's going on, man? Am I going? I mean, listen, it's been a wild party. Also, I need to figure out whose streamer house this is. Supposedly, there's multiple streamer houses. And and here, anybody in chat, let me know. I I feel like it. Ugh. I don't know why my brain wants to say Tim the Tap Man, but does anybody recognize? Does anybody recognize this room? Cause it's it's driving me nuts. I it looks so familiar. And on the wiki it is listed as um it is listed as a streamer house, and we found some notes and stuff, but whose icon does that look like? It's it's driving me insane. Tupac is the best. I agree. You know, I'm just I'm just out here. For, first, you know, a little New Jersey boy out here. I don't know why I did that. Really? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Did the streamer die? I think we killed him. Um, well, his zombie remains. Uh, team bar. What's that? Money. Oh. What? Oh, they heard me. How do I get down there? I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, stairs. Hello, lady. Oh. Just sleep. Sleep. Where? Oh man, I could have curb stomped that one. Also, I mean, oh my god, again, my mouse. Look at this green screen corner. Like, yeah, I have one of those in my hand. Yeah, no, I, I'm honestly impressed. Um, I was going to get this game a while ago, but to me, $60 was a little pricey, and it's been a while since I played the Dead Island games. Uh, last kind of zombie open world ish kind of game I played was uh, Dying Light 2, which I loved that game. Uh, but I managed to snag this on sale um, for like 30 ish dollars. Ah, oh, ow. And uh, honestly, they Huh. Well, that's open now. But yeah, the environment is very, very pretty. I'm honestly very impressed. What's down over here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, this is like a whole nother section of the house. <gasps> love that. I love that artwork. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that an Akira reference? Hold on, hold on. Let me clear this room. I think that's an Akira reference. Behind me? You mean this guy? Oh my god, my mouse, dude. Hold on. I'm gonna try to move the mouse to a different USB port because I think the port's bad. Or I might I might be having my mouse might be <coughs> dying. Uh let me try moving into a different port. Hold on. Thank you. 
This is going to be the ultimate test to see if it's the port that's going bad or my mouse. Uh, it's wired. It's wired. But it's been happening more frequently. And it's just like I'm moving the mouse, right? And then it just stops moving. Uh, and then, uh, what was it, like two or three streams ago? It, it just, it just, the mouse just stopped, like working. <laughs> Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god, DDR. Just take a picture of this. All right, yep, adding it to my... <gasps> they had a bowling alley! Oh my god, can I get a... <laughs> Wait, can I get a strike? Let's see if we can get a strike. Yeah, strike, baby. But yeah, no, um, it's a wired mouse. I have the Glorious O, but I've had it for a few years. So I'm wondering if maybe it's kind of going kerport. But we'll see. I, I just moved it to a different USB port on the back. So it might be the port too. It could be the port. Might be a zombie awake. No, she's dead, dead. Are you dead, dead? Dead, dead. Might need to clean of a few years. Yeah, I. You mean the port, or you mean? Who the fuck are you, Mister Silver Suit? Okay. Well, I think we've seen everything that we can see in this streamer house inside the mouse, you know? I mean, could it be causing the mouse to just stop working and disconnect like that, though? Oh, ho -ho! swing! about over here oh there's some runners down here he shoots he scores or something oh there's a fuse box here too gotta remember all these fuse box places okay. back on track to get to this hotel of theirs damn okay sledgehammer is my new favorite Oh, I see. Okay, we went through the streamer house to get down here. Because this was all cut off. Gaunt it, gaunt it, gaunt it. Can we just go through the bus? Take mine apart every now and then? Yeah, I've never done that for this mouse. I've had it, I've had it for a while, too. That's why I was like, oh god, I hope that... I hope it's not uh, a whole factor of the mouse is dying, but um, a while ago they were actually having a sale. I'll have to look for it because I actually now thinking about it, I don't know where it is. But they they came out with um, they came out with the same mouse but a wireless version, and they offered like a coupon for anybody who was like a, a customer with them. So I do have, excuse me. I do have that one, but I just don't remember where it's at. Also, hi, Dillers. Dillers, look at me. I finally made it to California. Woo! Watch them swing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Swing! We finally made it down here, though. 
Uh, travel to the hotel? Sure. I'm liking this. What are you guys thinking so far? You guys liking this? I would like to try this out with with some some peeps. This would be this would be fun. I also don't know how long of a game this is, but I know that they just came out with a DLC called House, H O U S House. Chris X VTuber, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm the streamer, and I'll tell you what I am, and I'm me. So take that as you will. I guess. Hi, Z. C tuber. <laughs> Here, I'll put it back on. Since Z has got to call me that, then there, fine. The bit's over. I'll just okay. go find a fedora and then wear that and then strap a. <gasps> Shuriken? Oh my god, I got a shuriken. Any non zombie pals of yours wandering about, do you know? How do I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, a splitting axe? Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. The locals are restless. Oh! And we swing, baby! Oh, man, I feel like Negan. Oh! <laughs> Workbench, thank God. Uh, let's see. Oh, my mouse did it again, so maybe it is the mouse. I really hope this mouse isn't dying. Because I don't know where that wired mouse went. I have no idea. How you doing, by the way, Kyoko? How's it going? Chris X Mob? Psycho? Sure. Nope. I think it's the mouse. It could also be the drivers um, as well. So uh, let me go ahead and get rid of that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then we'll repair the rake. Tactical rake, repair you, and then can we do any kind of upgrades? Can't do any upgrades for you. Ugh. This is fun so far. I'm I'm really like it. Twitch integration would be fun with this, or crowd control integration would be fun with this game. I just I could just imagine people like summoning in like zombies with crowd control. I think that would be great. Uh be fantastic, honestly. Uh, give me one second. Okay, just making sure we, we, we have streams open that we're lurking in. So there we go. I miss VTuber Chris. Yeah, I never even met that guy. He doesn't even exist either. Doesn't exist. So don't know what you're missing. Uh, let's see. Let's repair the sledgehammer. Okay, you know what? Let's do some upgrades on the sledgehammer. Why the hell not? What do we got? Um, increase force but reduce attack speed. Uh, increases damage but reduces durability. Increases durability and force but reduces attack speed. I mean, what's the force on this thing? How do I see the stat for force? What about mods? What mods do I have? I don't think I have, I think I have one mod, which is the electric mod. So I'm going to wait till we get some more mods. Stop yelling. Stop yelling. Uh, I'm okay. Suffered on 2042's event for the skin. Oh, you mean 2042. You mean Battlefield 2042. That's what you meant. I was like, wait, what? what's 2042? And then I was like, wait a minute. I know this. Stand by. Ah. Who are you banning? Target acquired. Who got banned? Boom, got him. Was it that Anthony account that I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, man, I should probably do something about that and I just kept forgetting to do that? Stop screaming. Thank you, Dillers. How you doing, by the way, Dillers? Uh. 
Oh, you got no legs. Eat shuriken. That that didn't. You know what? Curb stomp. Curb stomp. Oh, that's not a curb stomp. Okay. Well. Keeping the neighborhood safe. Yeah, Battlefield. Yeah, no, I, I tried out the event, and it actually was pretty good. I actually... How much damage was that? 75? Do have anything that's under 70? Eh, we're gonna leave that. Uh, I actually tried it out, and I think I understand the event. I wasn't sure at first. Oh! Forget about Negan and his baseball bat. Freaking sledgehammer is where it's at. But yeah, I, I was checking out the event and it, it was actually pretty cool. Um, they kind of did zombies, but not really zombies, so. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. Um... Half, that is. Swing! I knew it! Knew you weren't dead! Gonna try to jump scare me? Get out of here. Red spider. Uh, Kayla, you see that dope head post. A couple of guys mixed a little infected blood with some H and said the high. What? Are you fucking kidding me? You know, here's the sad part, right? Here's the sad part. If there were a zombie apocalypse, I guarantee. I guarantee there would be some people trying to mix zombie blood with drugs. Like, oh, my god. No, 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 no. Get back in your hole. Get, get back in your hole. Get back. Curb stomp. Hey! Coupe de Gras. Fucking, fucking shitbag. Curb stomp. Huck. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed it, but I did grind it within like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> like people are liking their events that they're doing, but what I'm hearing a lot of from people who are like playing it and like, like really like the event are saying that they wish it was a little bit more, like a little bit more rewarding. Cause I think there's only like technically three rewards. Right. And then that like once that's, Run. I didn't. What? How do I? I fucked up. Sorry, I fucked up. I was going to blow up the truck. Oh my god. <gasps> Curb stomp. Curb stomp. What? Get out of here. Curb stomp. Oh, I am running out of stamina here. Are you fucking... Jesus. Are you really?
get out of here. My God, man. Hey, I got a sword back. I thought if I threw a kunai at it that it would probably like... I need Jamal's crate. I'm assuming that might be something we got to come back for. Seems like there's a lot of those. Stay down. Sir. There we go. Uh, I am a tire boy. Went to bed at 4 a.m. and woke up at 8.30. Oh, God. I am so sorry to hear that, Dose. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Claws? All right, we got to try this out. Oh, I'm fucking Wolverine. I'm fucking Wolverine. Also, yeah, we should probably check our map. Um... Okay, looks like that those are blocked out. There is a road down that way. How do we get to that road? Oh my god! They're just filling up into that hole there. Okay, well, you know what? Pokemon on iPad says out of stock. Don't know if it's an issue. I can test that for you right now, good sir. Let's see if... Yeah, it's just an iPad thing. Probably an app thing. Whoa. Uh, but Dillers, I do hope that you get some sleep, man. Hi, Chris. Hi, Demo. Hi. Sleeping. Sleeping. Oh, ha ha! Time for skill! And Kurt. Yes, isn't it? Why is it telling me here when the hotel's right here? Oh, I see. So this weapon doesn't have a lot of force, but it's a bladed weapon. So it does do more like mauling damage. So it's been uh, out of stock on iPhone as well. It's Twitch Mobile being stinky. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Maybe do a good little refresh there. See if that fixes the problem. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Huh. Did you? How are you? Dude, through the brain. Uh-oh. Ow, 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 ow. Get out of here. Dagger. Uh, where'd that valve go? Okay, I'm gonna have to see where that valve goes. I think we gotta turn the water off. Right. Okay. I honestly didn't think we'd be playing this as long as we've been playing it. <laughs> gonna be honest. I did not turn that off, did I? I didn't turn it off. Oh, is this going to just be in the car? I think it did go off in there, but I think it's still like electrocuting, so. Ah, uh, I see. How do we... Ah, check this out. Kunai! Where 
rake. I did that all for a rake. Uh, but uh, I am enjoying this, though. This is honestly... <laughs> it's honestly better than I thought. Not that I thought this was going to be a bad game, but I was just, like, very uh, very hesitant on the $60 price tag. But uh, this is a good sequel. This is a good sequel to Dead Island 1. Which I did really enjoy Dead Island 1 when it first came out. I heard something. I don't know what we just destroyed. I think there's somebody up there. What's down here? Death probably? I hope not. Oh, I hate this. You know, maybe we don't need to go down there right now. And we don't. Why don't we just go this way? You know, as much as I like these claws, we gotta go with old faithful here. Old faithful's just been a little too loyal. Oh! Uh-oh. Wait, watch. I can call the zombies. Hey, assholes! Nothing in taunting range. Hold on. Hey, big boys! I taunted the zombie with my voice. How? And it uses it uses Alexa, guys. It uses Alexa voice recognition in order to uh, to like read. How, how, how cool is that? I honestly was really impressed by that. You can also use it to, uh, to switch weapons and stuff, but I love the idea that you can use your voice to taunt the zombies. Break a leg! Damn. Damn. Okay. Uh, got some supplies, got some supplies, got some supplies. Onyx. Hmm. Ow. We're locked by a mag lock. Let's see about that mag lock. Right, if that was the mag lock. But that should like Really? All right. Let's golf you away. That should be it, right? That was the mag lock. How do I get in there? I want the green. That looks like a baton. Oh. Aha. Oh, I should probably go back to that other, other one. Where's that other little security booth? Really? God, the combat in this is just... It's just very satisfying. Whee! 
Like, it's not the most intuitive. Like, it's definitely an improvement from one. Which I'm gonna have to go back and like maybe look at some gameplay with one from one, but like I am liking the way this feels more than uh, than one for sure. Oop. Update for security. Uh, we can read that later. Need a security guard's key. First aid, metal. Okay, cool. That's all I wanted to get. I also didn't realize that we could just go this way. Woo! He shoots! He dead! Nice. Got all these suitcases around, man. A shovel! Uh, let me just take a look. Do we have anything that's shitty? Oh my god, I have rake shovel. I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of everything's like in the 89 bracket. We got two shovels. Let's get rid of one shovel and one rake, uh, and then the gray sledgehammer, and start trying to phase out all of the gray stuff. All the gray stuff. Hmm. I mean, dude, I don't know about these fences, but I could totally jump. Oh! I could jump that fence. You're dead. Okay. I may not be the most spry chicken, but I could, I could totally jump that. What? Who and where? And why? Oh, hello, boys. Okay. Oh! She shoots! She sure! Sure! Alright. We'll just do that, and then... Okay. Hey, assholes! Oh, son of a... Dude, oh my god, and I just love I love the dismembering They did a really really good job on like the zombie degradation You're dead. Whoa Pff, I just batted her. I was like just get out of here lady Yeah, you're dead too and just go hang out in your trash. You don't really need to come after us, right? I'm dead. Catch game is dead for mobile, Sag. Oh no, my sledgehammer! Oh man. Ah, uh, I guess we'll try the axe. I can fix it when we get to the next point. <gasps> I hope that's a bat. Cause then I can really be the Negan. Definitely over. The military do love overstaying their welcome. Woo! Split you in two. Uh, nothing worth wild. Catch on iPad just not working. Yeah, again, that's it's Twitch API, guys. It's it's API. I talk to the developers. There's there's literally nothing to do. His recommendation was just tell people to reset it. They're hoping that eventually somebody on Twitch's side changes things or allows changes to be more, to fix it basically, so. Uh, hey, Turtle, welcome on back. How was D&D &D and how's it go? <laughs> how goes the California tour? 
Uh, fantastic. Loving it. It's a little squishy uh, and a little, a little gross at times. But so far, I mean, you know, I can see why people love California. Um, I'll try the electric machete. Did I just... Please don't tell me I just deleted that. No, I want to. I want to equip this. How do I equip it? Swap. There we go. No. Uh, we'll do that. There we go. But yeah, I mean, don't you see how much Pepe Chris loves this? Look at him. He's just taking photos, left and right, everywhere. Uh, <laughs> either don't get the buy options. Okay, wait, is it all of the buy options or is it just the Pokemon? Also, what I would recommend is then maybe also check and see if the Twitch mobile app needs an update. Cause I actually, that happened to me the other day where I was, I was trying to do something on the mobile app, but it wouldn't let me. Okay, so then it's not the end of the world. There's tons of buy options, tons and tons and tons of buy options, so. I thought you meant like all of the buy options were not working. I was like, oh no, what is going on with Twitch? But if it's just the Pokemon game, then not the end of the world. Looks more like Florida. I mean, you tell us, I've never been here before. I've never been here before. We're at the Harplin Hotel. Oh, excuse me, hang on. I don't know if this is actually like a, a like a real a real place. Uh Dillers, try to reset the Pokemon. Cause it might just be broken. But this is where we're at. Off of Lacuna Ave and Seabrook Ave and Palms Boulevard. Poke. Just poke. YouTuber Chris is back. Yeah, I got to continue taking my photos on this vacation. If only Freckle was here. You know, this is his backyard. Some zombies are armored, so aim for vulnerable spots like their head to damage them. Oh, no. What are we going to fight? SWAT zombies now? Beverly Hills Hotel. Okay. I mean, have you ever seen Beverly Hills Hotel? Looking around for loot. That's oh, right, gear. Whoo! Uh oh. Man. But it's okay, Dillers, don't worry. I just want to make sure that it's not a complete problem. Because again, it's just it's just a mini game. Alright. I guess they couldn't use actually Beverly Hills. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Hmm. Okay. How do I light that on fire? Has my flashlight been on the whole entire time? Oh, there goes my mouse again. Ah! Hot, 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 hot. Ah, oh, shit. Oh wait, I can I can aggro the zombies with my voice. Hey assholes, come on out here. Come on, dick bags. I can actually talk to them. Come on out, zombies. No? You have been to the Beverly Hills Hotel? Well then, Turtle, you're the aficionado, so you get to tell us. <gasps> it's a nurse zombie! Oh. What's going on, dickbag? Hello? 
I forgot we can emote too. Well, what a wonderful place. Just gonna. He came out running, and I was a running. Oh, that was a runner. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. Hotels seem like a bad idea for a zombie apocalypse. Right? I mean, is that just me? She's dead. I can buy that as a the Beverly Hills Hotel. Really? So like it's it's pretty close in, in visuals, yeah. Hello. Welcome to the Halperin Hotel, where <laughs> we are dedicated to providing you with the ultimate luxury getaway. For room reservations, press one. Wedding planning services, press two. Other event bookings, press For intimate weddings, press one. For our grand celebration... The zombie's accidentally hitting the phone. Join our platinum membership plan. You'll get exclusive annuals. Hello. Welcome to the Halperin Hotel, where we are... Do hotels in, in LA have a <laughs> safety deposit box? like this I don't think I've ever seen an East Coast hotel have like this damn it uh keep an eye uh for safety safe key gotcha like in this room or oh safe key what's in the box what's in the box parts uh, oh, hang on a second. I just got to send Clock this game. Uh, Clock claimed their... Clock claimed their game from... From the <coughs> October... Uh, the October sub giveaway. So, uh, Clock won a game called... Yum to Sutsu Remaster. Uh, that's the game that Clock won, so congratulations, Clock. Let me go ahead and whisper that to him. And then take that off my list, and then I just want to make sure that I get his name off the list. Yeah, but I honestly wasn't expecting us to play this this long, so... <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you guys enjoying this? Because, I, I mean, I'm having fun with this, but I want to make sure that you guys are also enjoying. Uh, keep an eye out for safety zombie virus. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what they were saying in, um, your safety is our priority. That's what they were saying in earlier in the game because there were, like, some NPCs and they were like, yeah, like, you can't even take a car because there's so much, like, pile up and traffic and stuff that it's, like, undrivable. And the moment that, like, you get into an area where you can't maneuver, um, it's just, it's just chaos. It's just chaos everywhere. Which, I mean, I would imagine, seeing how, like, clustered everything is. Can't go that way. That door's locked. Um, Yeah, the grounds and the plants outside look like Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah, you should have seen it. We were walking down, like, the, the main street up to this hotel. I mean, I've seen some pictures of... You're dead. Um... Oh, we got a new skill. Uh, new skill. New card. Uh, go for the knees, slide attack, get a major boost to damage. Uh, I'm okay on that. I need to unlock more of these, these perks. Now, all I need is to get into this ballroom. What? What did I do? 
Wait, are you offering free body mods? Go on then. I'll be right there. Oh, my inventory is full. Test 091 P6. What? Were they testing like a golf club? I'll be back. Gotta move some furniture. Okay, safety deposit box or. Hang on. Yummy. Uh, safety deposit box are available in many hotels that wet people. Wow, really? That's, yeah, that is, um, I mean, most hotels around here will have like, they'll have like uh, the, my God, my mouse. It's worse now on this port. <laughs> Uh, but most uh, most hotels around here will have like the the the, the what you call it. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Go to sleep. If she went to sleep, it's fun to watch, especially when you shout like Scooby Doo, like Zoinks Gang. There's zombies I'll around. You, Major Booker. You might be the only live body in this place. Yeah, I think the guy on the radio is, uh, that doctor is, uh, he's probably dead. He probably did. But I heard something. Uh, worked on iPad. Yep. What were they doing with all these bodies? You know, that's a very good question. I honestly don't know. That's a lot of, wait, that is a lot of bodies. Why? Thick in hell, fellas. You're doing acid all wrong. Oh, it's a mass grave. It's a mass grave. That's what it is. <sighs> smells like me ma's oil stew. What was the army doing here? Mass grave. That's exactly what it is. I don't know what that was about. Uh, they were totally just trying to get rid of the bodies. Oh, brass knuckles. Door. But they were definitely just trying to get rid of the bodies. So, you know, fill a pool with acid and just, you know, throw them in the pool. Because, like, as much as, like... What if I just... Can we just... Can we just get you, get, get you, okay, can't get you in the pool. Um, as much as it's just like, you know, get rid of the zombies, like, kill them and get rid of them. But then you gotta think about, you gotta think about all of, like, diseases and shit from bodies just, like, lying around, you know? Like, cause dead bodies will attract, like, Diseases and, and shit, so. Ooh. A lot of acid. It seems like they kind of turned... What is that? I can't get in there. Fuse box? Oh, man, I don't have any fuses. This is like the fourth fuse box we found, and I just can't do anything. What? Hello? That sounded like a gun. Hello? I gotta take a picture of you for my scrapbook. First time in California. Uh, wow, it looks exactly like I imagined California would look like only less people yelling. Yeah, less people yelling and more free cash. Yep, she's not a zombie. Investigate the hotel pool. What am I supposed to? What am I investigating? Am I supposed to pour acid on? Does the water do anything to the acid? Does it neutralize it? Oh, oh no. I'm just spreading the acid. Fuck. I'm just, I'm just spreading the acid. Shit. 
Um, I think we're supposed to turn this off. They were pumping it out of the pool. What's in the pool? What's in the pool, man? I guess we gotta look around. Gotta look around for clues. How you doing, Sim? And all right, Fed. Hey, I didn't even know you were still here, man. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Hope you like Pepe, Chris. It's just a bit. I'm not permanently VTuber or PNG tuber. Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? This shite was being pumped into the drains. Okay. So I guess anything involving the acid. So maybe this drum. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I supposed to be investigating? Oh, a note. Was that it? Look around the pumps. We did we did this pump. Or am I supposed to follow the pipes? Door pipes. Almost jumped in. That's a menu. Uh but how are you doing, Sim? Jump in the pool? Uh you know. Ah man, uh look at the time. Um oh here we go. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Solvent. And they have absolute shite loads of this. What? Ah. Oh, Jesus, no. Fuck, fuck. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Yeah, wait, why are they in the acid? Oh, there were they're hazmat zombies. Whoa. Jerkin. You're dodgy. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Break time. Whoa, ow, ow, ow. What if I, aha. Acid. Whoa. Ow, ow, water everywhere. Excuse me, pardon me, go to sleep. Oh, my mouse, not, not a good time, not a good time. Oh, his eyeball was hanging out. His eyeball was hanging out. <laughs> hey, a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I suppose Radar's drunk is better than Zombified. Confront the drunk. Well, maybe, maybe she's just having a rough time. You know, sounds like she's just having a rough day. Can I get rid of any weapons? Oh my god, I have so many just not great weapons. I did not like the axe. I don't know how well the dagger is. Uh, sledgehammer, Sag, it's gone. Um, get rid of you. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Use the brass knuckles. What the fuck? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Idiot. Ow, 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 ow. I'm an idiot. Where are my brass knuckles? I was having a fun time in the beginning with the brass knuckles. I just watched you WWE style drop kick someone. My day is 
complete. Dude, this game is honestly really, really good. I don't know if you've ever seen the first one, but how, how long ago was the first one? I'm honestly uh, personally curious. When did when did Dead Island two, uh, 1 come out? I'm, I'm just curious on how long it came out. Oh my God, guys. This, this sequel, 12 years. It took them 12 years to come out with this sequel. That is just, that is crazy. 12 fucking years. And, and I gotta say, I, it's good. It's, it's pretty good. I, I honestly was hesitant, especially since it was 60 bucks, but I found it on sale. Um, I actually got it for like half the price essentially, which dope. Awesome. But, um, I honestly, if I, if I knew it was this good, I think I would have been more inclined to probably pay the 60 bucks for this. Cause it's, it's, it's not bad. I'm having fun. I'm actually, I'm streaming it longer than I thought I was going to stream it. I thought we already be into our crowd control game. And then we were also planning on maybe doing like a community night game, which I might have to move to another night. So, but I'm having fun with this. I'm going to, I'm going to continue playing this. Now for Street Fighter, <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen it too. I play. I actually um, Dead Island One. I played very very long time ago. Um, how do I? Oh, that's how you do. It. Oh, wait, actually, you know, what? let's try the nightstick. I actually have one of these. Don't don't ask me why. Must be a side entrance somewhere. Yeah. But I do own one of these. Um. Not that I carry it around. It's for personal home defense, I guess. Also, who's... Who's crying? Well, you know, we unlocked a side entrance, so... Um... Oh, my God! <laughs> what? Did you just call me a feckin' whale? No, I think she's. Gobby Gowler's blind. Or she's oh. To me. Oh, oh, oh. I. Th uh, what the fuck is that? In UK, they are illegal. Yeah, you shouldn't really have them here. Shit. Grenade. Yeah, what the fuck? Um. Oh, hey. For today's special occasion, our delicious menu consists of a guest gumbo starter, fried brisket entree, and green gelato dessert. Enjoy. Curb stop. I got a pike. Uh, I think she was actually calling... I think she was actually calling the 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 group wait wait bride because out in the lobby there was like a wedding thing and, and it looks like in the ballroom. Here, let me show you guys something cool for those who haven't seen this yet. Uh let me see if we can find some zombies. Need room 307. I guess there are no zombies around. Blades. Can we find a workbench please? I need to repair some of my weapons. Some of my weapons are not doing so hot. Military personnel check in here. Well, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me just juice. Let me take my Ozempic. But yeah, uh, younger, younger Chris. Still today, Chris. Very fan of collecting like weapons and also like knives, especially. I've talked about it on stream before. Sir, you're grounded. Oh my god, my mouse again. Bad timing, man. It just stops working. It just it just freezes. Um I'm gonna have to oh. Okay, don't like this. Not fun. The two hundreds. Next floor up. Get up to the third floor. Love like the little music in the background. 
Means laundry room key. Okay. Yeah, she's ta she's talking about the the groom. She's totally totally talking about the groom. Ah, uh, hey, drifted. How you doing? Oh no. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah oh, shit. I forgot about the pickaxe I have. Pickaxe. Now, as cool as the grenade or zombies are, ooh, ooh, I, um, yeah, I ain't clean that up. No, thank you. Phone died, but home now. Well, welcome on back, Drifted. How was food shopping? How'd that go? And also, hey, G, the VTuber? Nah, it's just for, it's just for bits. It's just for bits. It's a very new thing along with my new audio setup. And I thought it would be funny if I made our Pepe Chris into a PNG little guy in case I don't feel like being on camera. And I can do cool little things like, you know, if we're playing Hunt Showdown, I got the bees, I got the gun, I got the hat. Um, or, you know, if like one of our G Fuel partner peeps come in, I could be like, oh, I got the G Fuel, don't worry. I got it. Um, uh, use code ChrisXChad to save twenty percent off on G Fuel, uh, 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 or or on new products. D do it. Reppin. <laughs> uh, or uh, as we're playing this game, which I've never been to California before. Uh, you know, I'm a tourist, so like, you know, first time in Cali. You know, I'm just checking out the sights. <laughs> But how are you doing, G? What's going on? I've been I've been kind of flipping back and forth between the camera and then this little guy. I can see why I can see why people like doing PNG stuff or like VTubers, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Oh ho ho! And he's down for the count. Uh, I'll be waiting. Keep finding all this nothing. Gonna have to try have any hands left to carry the horde of awesomeness that I'm 100% confident is lurking somewhere around here. Probably better luck than I am. Gonna head up to the top floor and see any luck you're there. If I can haul myself up there through this elevator, meet me there. I'll be waiting. You're such an idiot. Can't believe that you're still trying to prank me back in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Nearly got my butt munched just trying to get up to this shaft. This is sounding a lot more fun than it was. Pranked you. Props, love this for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's all it's all in good fun, you know. Oh. Good night. Oh. Hey. Can I? Why is the one red light here? Well, what was that? Eh, probably nothing. Uh, doing okay. Last week I worked 53 hours. Damn. Uh, excited for my three days off. Hey, well, hey, you got to live up those days off, you know? What is this? Chem bomb. That's a new curveball. Um, chem bomb. Now only have two selected. What was it? T to switch out that. What does this do? What's a little fire? Eh? I'm sure I can find something to put it out. Oh, burning runner. <laughs> And he goes a swinging. I think I was supposed to use the chem bomb to put this out, but um, I'm an idiot. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can I? Run. Aha! Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. So smart. <gasps> oh, no. 
Okay, I'm going to go through before the fire continues. What? I knew it! Curb stop! Uh, but uh, I'm glad that you get some time off. Oh, hey. Chemicals. Uh, so I hope... Uh, do you have any fun plans for the time off? Or are you just gonna chill? I always wanted one of these. You know, hold on. Real quick. Real talk. All right. These things... I always just thought they were just decorative towel racks. This is a towel rack heater, by the way. Have you guys... Did you guys know this? Some fancy-ass places and some people in their own homes have this. And it's a rack, obviously, for your towels, but it also fucking warms and heats up the fucking towels. How fucking cool is that? I just always thought that it was like a decorative rack thing, but it actually heats up the fucking towels. I want one. <laughs> I want one so bad. Uh, but I'm doing good, G. Uh, doing good. Uh, another safety deposit box key. Nice. Um... Enjoying this game so far. I honestly thought we would probably be into our other games because today's, you know, Game Buffet Sunday where we play, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but really enjoying this. And, uh, you know, work's been good. Life's been good. Uh, I am diabetic now. I don't know how long it's been um, since the last time we saw you. But I am, I am now a diabetic man, which sucks. But at least it's just type 2 for now. Um, but I'm on... Oh, actually, you know what? Fuck, I haven't eaten dinner, and... Hello! Didn't take my medication. Oh, <gasps> axe! God damn it, inventory's full again. But yes, very, very big brain. Uh, let's see. That is garbage. That is garbage. Uh, I don't want to get rid of these just yet. I like the, I like the chain, I like the, the thing. Level six, level four. Lightweight club. And eh, we'll get rid of the lightweight club. Five. It's like a mix of like levels and stuff like that that we have, so. I don't have any fuses, man. I guess also you just don't find any fuses anywhere. You just have to you have to go to a vendor and like buy them. Zombie. Or not. Okay. Those things are kind of important. Silly man needs to take care of himself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am now. Um, I've lost a bunch of weight. I'm on, you know, I got diabetes medication now. So I'm on, they got me on the metformins. They got me on the Metformin and also um, Ozempic. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I get really excited when I punt a zombie back with my pickaxe. Two or four, that's two or five. Two or three must be through there. Let me just, just. Robot, Chris. You want a robot, Chris? I can give you a robot, Chris. What happened in here? You want a big robot or you want a small robot, Chris? The choices. And before we do that, let's go check the other soul. My arm? My arm. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I hear chewing. Oh, no. Ooh. Watch out. You might hit that wall. I don't know. I'm working on it, guys. All right. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work on my type five. All right. It's not my best work. But I'm trying. What's in the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know why the woke up like this. Yeah, dead in in a in a bathtub. Actually, is that a bathtub? That's tiny. 
That's a tiny bathtub. I would not be able to fit in that bathtub. I'm a big boy. Uh, but yeah, no, like, like Frog was saying, I'm also a robot now, because, uh, I also have a... I didn't mean to do that. Did I mean to do that? Ah! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. I don't think I meant to do this. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I'm electrified, please. How do I, how do I stop it? How do I stop the electricity? Okay. I get my mouse, man. How old? How long ago did I get this mouse? Hi. I'm trying to think how long ago I got this mouse. Oh, what was that? Mom pulled me out of bed. Oh, mom, why'd you do that? But I know I have. I have another mouse just in case this one does break, but I'm looking to see if I can log on to Glorious O. It's, it's been nonstop, like where it just stops and then works and then stops and then works and then it completely disconnects. And I thought it was the port, but I moved it to a different port and it's still happening. So, uh, but I have the same one, but it's a wireless, um, it's a wireless, uh, wired slash wireless one. There we go. Uh, oh yeah. The context, the context. Yeah. Um, so they got me a, uh, my doctor, I should say, got me a glucose meter. Uh, and now I just like wear it on my arm and then I can just, oh, is that a quarter staff? It's a bow staff. Is that a stripper pole in the middle of this room? Goddamn. Huh. Huh. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm also part robot now. Why? What is that about? We need to plug something. Well, it's a way up if I can cut the power. Am I Bow Staff Selecta? Don't you mean Bow Star Galactica? That was bad. Note for engineer. To whoever, <clears throat> to whoever fixing this mess, watch out for live cables in the shaft, fuse boxes next to door, but rooms 201 and 203 are on the same circuit, so you're not pissing off your buddies by killing the power. What? Oh. Oh! I'm going to turn that into scrap. We don't need that anymore. Uh, let's turn that to scrap. I'm going to turn that to scrap. I just need to repair my weapons. Uh, we can get rid of that pike because that pike's better than that pike. Uh, yeah, now I just need to, now I just need to fucking repair my shit. So yeah, I'm robot Chris now. Uh, and actually speaking of robot Chris, I actually just got my new, um, glucose sensor um doctor was nice enough to prescribe me a um a freestyle libre um not freestyle libre, a dexcom uh right now i've been using the freestyle libre um and have been having a lot of weird issues with it actually so uh they were super nice enough to send me a brand new one or a new a new model so to speak so uh your your favorite bearded cyborg is uh, gonna be getting an upgrade soon. Uh, I just have to wait for this sensor to die and then I can start using it. So a little nervous though, cause I gotta like stab myself. Um, what did I get? Let's see what we got as upgrade. Um, those are a bunch of perks. We only have that. What did I pick up? Didn't I pick up something? I swear I picked up something. I just don't know what it was. Where's this lead? I've come too far. I can't leave now. I'm just. Uh, I just wanted to see what was outside. I'm just. My loot goblin senses are tingling. Okay. Oh, 
yeah, we can't go that way. Um, pull that lever. Oh. Pull a lever. See what it does. My favorite game. <laughs> Take that electricity. Yeah, electricity. Show, show you. <laughs> That does not sound good. All right, third floor. Where's 307? Okay, where's this sassy army court colonel or major? So, but yeah, a lot, lot, lot of things going on. But uh, you know what? It's all good. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. Dude, he... Why? Why is that... Why is his vest covered... Covered in grenades? Why? That is... That's unnecessary. That's that's too many grenades, man. Why do you have that many? You don't even have a gun. Where's your gun? Oh, what I do for a chance to strap on my skates and hit the track once more. Wait, you skate? Hey, we skate. This must have been the quake, right? You know, I'm remembering something from Dead Island One. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna like it, but. Those planks look smashable. Oh. There we go. Jesus Christ, lady! Flowing, Major. I'm coming as fast as I can. <sighs> Locked. Must be a way out of here. Hmm. Uh huh. Nothing in the shitter, as always. Just like the movies, I've always wanted to do this. I don't like this. Wait. Welp, uh... down right she's probably fine yeah it's what i thought you know i'm thinking about how we're crawling in this tiny ac uh, the air unit and uh <gasps> run um <gasps> huh Are you? <laughs> it's <laughs> just a chain reaction of zombies blowing up. What is, oh my God. Whoa. I want to meet Donatello, Michelangelo. Who's quarterstaff turtle? I forget. Donnie, okay. Leo, Raph. Michelangelo. Wait, no. Michelangelo was, uh, it's either Mike or Mikey or Donnie. I think Donnie was the, the, the prankster, right? Mikey was, no. Yeah. Purple is Donatello, maybe. I, that, see, that's what I'm thinking. Hot feet. 
Also, hey, Owen, how you doing? He's sleeping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell, you tell. How goes the tourism? Man, I am loving it. Cali's got everything. It's got sun. We got hotels. We got we got stuff. It's great. It's just, it's, man, everything that California A was promised to be, it's, it's just here. Oh, my God. Um, what's over here? Seems like a pretty bloody round, round of Geo guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, 305, 304. Uh, Kunai. See, the locals, they love me. They really do. They, lo they love me so much. Sleeping. They're just trying to show me a good time, you know? Oh. Here I go. No, but, oh, what? Hold on. Hold on. The, the fuck? Just make sure the room's safe. I don't know why there's a camera in the bathroom. Don't like that. Uh, the fuck happened in here? End of the world bucket list. Uh, hand printed list on color paper with what seems to be later editions hand scra uh, scribbled around the text. Connie and Elena's bucket list. End of the world edition. Get matching tattoos. Still, uh, can still do this. I dated a tat artist once. Book a weekend spa experience. Get drunk on hella expensive liquor. Stay at a fancy hotel. Free room service, baby. Uh, go to a wine tasting session. Why is that on your bucket list? That... You know what? Not going to judge. Not going to judge. You know what? Teach their own. Teach their own. Uh, go to wine tasting. Take a selfie by the Hollywood sign. That I get. Uh, by matching stilettos, the classy ones with the red soles. We killed a zombie with a stiletto. Uh, spend a day in crazy costumes. Too fucking hot. Attend a pole dancing class. Nobody to boo us if we suck. Rent a convertible and go on a road trip. No, not a bad. Not a bad one. I'm guessing this is a part of their... Uh, Get out of my way. Oh, it's a little zombie unicorn. Oh, I love that. Oh, it does not love me. Well, you know, I hope it went as well as they hoped. Yikes. Um, oh, she... Safe. She, uh, she's not alive, guys. Outbreak imminent. <coughs> Excuse me. But I hope that you're doing well, Own. Hope everything's been going good for you. Also, what did everybody get up to this weekend? If you haven't shared it in the chat, would love to hear about your weekends. I got $14,000. I'm rich. Buy my way out. I only need 150 k to buy my own plane ticket out of here. Uh, General Reading, sir, I'm writing to you now after having spent the better part of five hours penning condolence letters to the parents of nine soldiers who are under my command. Those men and women are recorded as having lost their lives due to accidents while processing the infected. I have to firmly object to the term accidents because it implies that these events could not have been prevented. Such a belief is false because there is something the military could have done that would have saved all their lives. If we were engaging a, 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 civil, a civilized enemy, rules of engagement would be sensible and would apply, uh, absolutely apply, but these infected, uh, but these infected are not civilized, they're animals. We have to consider them as such and thus realize that the rules of engagement do not apply to animals. So we must remove any opportunity for hesitation and execute every infected before they turn. 
Uh, if they don't change the rules of engagement now, we can and we'll lose everything. Sincerely, Major Booker. Well, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I don't think she's wrong. I mean, you get bit, you're going to turn. I mean, but I would say also give the person their choice. Like, don't take that away from a person. Let them go out the way that they want to go out. I don't think it's a military decision. I think it's a person by person choice, you know? I assume they didn't want to get, pa uh, they didn't get past their stay at fancy hotel. Yeah, ah, oh, such a shame. Their pole dancing class, they got overcharged because they didn't show up. Darn, such a shame. Uh, am safe and tired as fuck. Man, that was a long shopping spree. Did you guys get some good stuff? Almost enough for another few. <laughs> I can buy, right now, I could buy quite a few fuses unless uh, inflation's a thing. Jesus Christ. You may have had that one common, to be honest. Don't suppose you got a key to the ballroom on you? Right there. Ah, you do. Why, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Race your mate to the ballroom? Well, um, I'm gonna do some upgrading. A nightstick! How's that first this? That's actually better than this. Um... Oh, I can make it match level. Oh, can I do that for my sledgehammer? F1. Hell yeah. Oh, can I just do this for everything? Um, where's my machete? I want to make that match level. Oh no, it's costing money. Why didn't anybody say anything? Fuck. Also, hey, Hollowed, how you doing, buddy? Uh, ends up killing <laughs> immune people. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, there's also that. I mean, our character in this game is immune. Um, the main character is immune. But, like, it, losing out on that opportunity, that's huge. I mean, that stops this. Finding someone who's immune to then make a vaccine or, you know, a preventative way, you know? Or something to stop this, you know? You're just eliminating that. Like, think a little bit before you just gotta kill all the people. That's the only way. Yeah, uh, I had to run all the way back to uh, back to back of Walmart to get soda for my aunt. She said I could get anything I wanted. Heck yeah, what you get? What was your, what, 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 what you what was your haul? Uh, got a pear cinnamon Red Bull, but I shouldn't have gotten this peppermint bark rum chata I saw. Ooh, that actually sounds really really fucking good. I am jealous. Uh, been a long sleepless day. Oh no, I'm sorry, Hollowed. Was was today your day off, buddy? And I'm sorry it was sleepless, man. Can you spend to get your sledgehammer? Oh, yeah, actually, uh, sledgehammer. Well, it's level six. So it's already, it's already, uh, I'm level six. Um, not a fan of the bow staff. Wrench, you know, we can get rid of the wrench. Damage 79, damage 79. Let's get rid of this. Um... I'm gonna use the bow staff until like we we got company. So, um, all right. But I mean, hey, at least Kitty, you now know next time that's what you gotta get. Goal for next time, you know. Yeah, I worked last night, picked up my kid, and had an issue with his sugar. So I've been up watching that, dude. I I don't know what's been with my sugar, dude. Oh, there goes my mouse again. No. Clear. Not clear. Not clear. Dude, my sugar's been all wonky too, though. But I think it's my sensor. Like, I think that my sugar is weird, but I think that my, my Libre sensor is just... I'm just getting, like, really busted ones. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. So, uh, cash. Music. Well, we're going to a ballroom, so like, you know, <coughs> the flies in here. What? <coughs> Ah, damn it. I'm coughing a lot. I need some water. 
Also, do you guys want my cam on or should I just keep Pepe Chris on for now? I'm fine with either. Um, so I'm watching that got maybe two hours of sleep in total through micro naps. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry about that hollowed. Rather you than me, fella. Ow, ow, ow. Science to it. I mean, it's electricity and water. It's not... Fancy leather trunk key. Not really that... That much science, lady. Yes, the Pepe. Pepe Chris. Radio. I'm coming for you, you beauty. Well, before we do that, um, we got a bunch of uh safety deposit boxes. Ooh. Dagger. Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> you guys really like the Pepe, Chris. This isn't a permanent thing, by the way. I just want you to know. It's for certain moments or if I'm feeling gross or I, you know. I, don't know. I, I also, also just to mention, if you guys have any recommendations on, I call them cosmetics for Pepe, Chris. Like, you know. Maybe he should hold a katana or like, I don't know, maybe he should hold fireworks or put him in, put him in uh, cat ears. You know, if you guys got any recommendations, um, hit me up. Let me know. Or if you have a uh, specifically, if you if you want something very specific, if you do find it in your travels, just make sure it's a PNG. It's a transparent PNG, which means that it's just the image and no background. And uh, I will work on adding the cosmetics. We got we got a few right now. But I'm uh, I'm only one man and can only think of so many goofy dumb ideas, like this fucking hat. I don't know. This looked like a tourist hat to me. So I don't know. If I saw somebody walking around in New Jersey, I'm like, they're not from here. They're they're from out of town. <laughs> so, um, somehow his pump had a hundred grams of carbs put into it. So I had to have him eat before he bottomed out, and then it was too high. I just been back and forth. Oh my god. So was it like was it like a miss like cuz like he has an insulin pump, right? So like was it just like the wrong like dosage sort of thing or the pump malfunction and went wrong? Cr Christmas? <laughs> oh, I already I already have some ideas for Christmas or cr a Christmas uh for this for this little guy here. I already got I already got some ideas on some uh cosmetics for him but if you got any send them, send them my way it, it, you know pro probably the best way like shoot me a twitch whisper or like i don't know a discord dm if you got any ideas uh no 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 such thing as a bad idea so uh give me one second i'm gonna turn off my ac because it's cold as fucking balls in here so hold on thank god my feet are fucking freezing, man. All right. Um, so yeah, this is who she was talking about. I'm assuming it's Becky. Um, and I'm uh, I I have a feeling I know what we're about to face. So uh, take out my best weapon. This is my best weapon. Is it? 98, 87, 91, 110. The pickaxe actually is my best. Oh no, sledgehammer is the best. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need our best. Um, because if it's what I'm expecting it to be, this was in Dead Island 1. Or this concept, so uh. Jesus. They chloroformed them. Then dumped them in the pool while they were still alive. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, ow, 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 where? Where? Oh fucking fucking wires, man. 
Control bar. Do do do. Okay. Ah, there goes my mouse again. I'm gonna have to look around and find this other mouse. Someone, someone, send me a reminder message. Look for other mouse, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure this mouse is shot. I'm like 90% certain this mouse is done so. Or I might have to, I might have to switch and then see if I can open this thing up, cause I don't even know if I can open this thing up. So we'll have to see. Uh, someone had put, uh, put. Had to put, uh, had to have put in the bolos, but nobody knows what happened. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Hall. You probably were freaking the fuck out, dude. Game I One has been redeemed. Watch another friend of mine stream it before with his brother. Uh, oh wait, your game from the game giveaway? It was, it was redeemed, Kitty. Uh, please let me, let me know if that's the case because I can go ahead and let you pick another number. So I do apologize about that. Um, sometimes it happens. Um, that's why I always tell people to try and claim keys, at, like not, not you in particular, I'm just saying in general. Um, uh, and it also stinks having this large list because sometimes there is a chance that games can be, uh, redeemed. Oh no, I redeemed the game. The code worked. Oh, okay. Um, oh, it has been redeemed. Okay. I thought you meant in the sense that like, oh, it's, it's been used already. My bad. My bad. Uh, watch another friend of mine play stream it for with his brother. Oh, nice. Okay. Do you, do you like it so far? Radios, yeah, I know the radio's next to the PC. Yeah, I just, I, I know that we're gonna hit it and then something's gonna happen. So, my theory is my son screwed up, uh, up and did it because he woke me up and said he was hungry like right after the bolos was put in. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad at least you know what. As, as much as it was like an oopsie or a mistake, you know, shit happens. I'm just glad that he's okay. Um, I know it probably was like very, very stressful having to be up and like, you know, kind of monitor it and everything like that. But I'm just glad that he's OK, as I'm sure you're probably glad that he's OK as well. Um, you know, it sucks, obviously, that you had to be up for that long and, you know, kind of like sit on there and like, you know, kind of like make sure everything was OK. But, you know, just, you know, got to got to take like the small victories where you can. And I, I do hope that you're able to catch up on your sleep, man. Um, you know. Uh, no, no, should have worded it differently and I haven't installed it yet, but I do enjoy games like it. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad then I'm very, very glad that you, you like games like that. I always feel bad when somebody gets a game. Uh, I had one person who replied to their game that they got today from the sub where They're like, Oh, thanks. And I was like, that's somebody who didn't want the game that they got. And I'm like, listen, I try to make it as democratic as possible. Oh, I was called the no-no word, so, uh, okay. All right, radio time. Hi, Z. Breaker, Breaker, can anyone hear me? I hear you. I'm Dr. <gasps> Reed. He's, he's not dead. Where are you? At the evac center for Bel Air. I'm Danny, and I'm trying to reach whoever's in charge. Uh, well, you, you sort of have. I'm part of the CDC team in L.A. I was anyway. Are you, uh... Do you think you what? might be infected? Yeah. It's literally a link to an Uno reverse card, Kitty. Kid you not. <laughs> but then I got better. You got better. Oh my god. I seem to be immune. Sure, and that must be worth something to you. Oh, it's worth something, all right. We've been looking for you. Well, someone like you for our vaccine program. <sighs> Doctor. I'll need to be put me on hold for just a moment. Hey, wait! I need you! You have to get here! Hello? Oh, no. Hey, you have to get Oh, no. It's a Bridezilla. Oh! What? Ow! Eat acid! Ooh, please! In the butt! Ow! Ooh! Oh, okay. Me, ow, 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 ow. She's 
She's enraged. Oh. I'm sure there was probably some like copyright music that's supposed to be on, but uh. Just die! Oh god, oh god, okay, hang on, I gotta heal again. dance for me darling hope you didn't mind me leaving oh hey ground pound you there thank god some lassie was angry i gave her wedding cake and nibble look i'm gonna need to get help getting to santa monica but I've got a plan and a house full of people to pull it off with. Ow, ow, ow. I'll be in touch, okay? Yeah, okay. It's vital you stay alive. Oh, well, in that case, I'll change my afternoon plans. <laughs> Thanks. Hey! Level up, level up, level, level, <laughs> level up. Uh, the WWE kick, I thought I thought about it. I thought about it. I'm glad that you also thought that was funny, Kitty. Yeah, I, I feel like it freaks people out. They're like, what is... What is that link? Why why is there a link there? Excuse me? Um oh we got a new car for here. Okay, drop kick and flying kick. Press E while in air to perform a powerful jump kick attack. Ooh, I don't know, guys, what do we think? Do we like the drop kick or the high kick? Let's let's try it out real quick. I'm curious what it looks like. Serve up some flattery and rally the troops. Oh, I like the drop kick. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Drop kick is just cooler, in my opinion. Um and get a new perk here. Make it triggers forceful explosion that drains the stability of zombies nearby. Oh, why can't I have more of these slots? Why can I have more of them? Ah, oh, oh, God, again, fucking fires, man. Looks like you're done here. Uh, it's the real life tuber, Chris. No, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. You're going to spook me. Can't believe I was here for the Chris X Chavez <laughs> reveal. Darn it, Z, you spooked him. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I I, I mean, I, I mean, what do you guys think? Are we having fun with this? I, I'm honestly really enjoying this. I honestly was planning on, on doing like Project Zomboid and then maybe a community game, but the community game was going to be a maybe. Emma's the key. Get her on board, and the rest will follow. Okay. Well. Alright, so where do I gotta head then? Um. Oh, we gotta head back. We gotta head back to Bel Air. Which, again, I wish I had fuses, man. There's so many fuses around. Alright. Let's get out of here. Back to Bel Air. Where's a scarf in in the what seems like the summer? I don't know. I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Oh, that gate's open now. Watch this. Ready? Look how much fun this is. That's so much cooler. So much better than just a jump haya kick. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Curb stop. Kind of liking it. Actually, you know, I never went down here. We never went down here. Because I was nervous. I'm leaving. No, thank you. Oh, wait. Are you another just a big guy? 
Oh my god. Ground pound. Ow. Oh god, get up, get up, get up. Okay, no. These guys these guys are tough guys. Oh. Whoa! Get the, the Jolie out of here. That guy looks like fucking what's what's the what's the guy with the yellow spiky hair from um from Street Fighter's name? He looks like that guy. Oh god. I got to go. My opportunity to shine. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. All right, I'm going back down here. down here bye oh I'm leaving okay huh. where was Excuse me. <gasps> blue machete. <gasps> That's my first blue weapon, guys. I might have to get rid of my regular machete for the blue machete. Dolph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a striking resemblance between Dolph Longren and, uh, which I'm probably saying his name wrong, but you know, you know who I mean. And Guile. There's never snow in Beverly Hills and the sun shines all year round. Ah. Yeah, oh, this is the street that we were talking about earlier, by the way, Turtle, that like leads up to Beverly Hills. I mean, there is a giant like. Shut up. Uh, there is a giant sinkhole here right now. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't know. Are there a lot of sinkholes in uh, in L.A.? Oh, no. <laughs> Teehee! Prank them. Oh. Oh, ow, okay. I got it. Just juice up real quick. Hey. Oh, he is not um kickable. Oh my god. Okay. I I'm just I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Love the music, though. Like, 10 out of 10. Okay. Uh, Let me go ahead and just do a quick assessment here. Um, man, we got a lot of things that need repairs. Um, repairing that for sure. Repair. Repair. Uh, let me get rid of some things. Got two, 
two of those. I can get rid of you. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my, my machete that I'm using. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade this machete. Oh my god, look at all the things we get. We got violent. Killing a zombie gives moderate damage boost. That's dope. Um, Reduces durability. Reduces attack speed. Which is, you know what? I honestly think that's a good trade-off. Forest with a machete. And then let's go ahead and electrify it. So we got that. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have, like, doubles of things, you know? More pair required. Like, do I need a rake that's electrified, though? You know? I don't know. I don't know. What about Amber Heard? Why are we saying Amber Heard? <laughs> have fun, Chris. I'm going to soak in a bath. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. I honestly didn't think I was going to be playing this this long, but I'm I'm having a blast. This might honestly just be a one stream game tonight because this, this has been a lot of fun. I've been looking for, like, a good a good zombie game. And uh this is this is kind of hitting the spot. Heels. Oh, you asked if there were any sinkholes and bever you know what? I see what you did there, hollowed. I see what you did there, buddy. Where's my machete? Machete, pickaxe is good. The wrench. This blue machete. Go to sleep. From the shadows. Uh, very cool. I've never seen you play one game first. Really? No, I mean, I usually do. Like, the weekday streams are always one game unless, like, something happens. But the weekend is, like... We weekend is usually where we, we mix it up with variety, you know? Because it's a longer stream. Like, normally I'll stream anywhere from, like, 8 to, like, 12 hours. 12 hours being max. So... But this has been fun. I've, I've been I've been having a honest fun with this. So, oh, it's nighttime. Well, you know what that means. Uh, time for a new experience for Pepe Chris. Ah, yes. I've never been to L.A. in the dark. Back to Miss John's palace to collect the queen and her loyal subjects. What's down here? No, that's a dead end. I hate this, by the way. Nighttime in L.A. in Zombie land. Kill the dead. Oh, you know. I don't have any fuses. Whoa! Now that seems like my kind of party. <laughs> Dude, uh, oh! Hey! There's somebody up there now. Hello, I'm coming! Whoa. Uh, how do I get up to you? A shovel. All right, there's stairs in here. Oh, also, Hollowed, you might be able to answer this. Anybody who's knowledgeable on streamers, um, this is a streamer's house. Uh, excuse me. Oh. I'm gonna try to dro drop kick them, but you can't really drop kick up the stairs. Um, but I need anybody <laughs> who is knowledgeable on streamers because I was trying to wrap my brain around this. What? Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, I gotta, I gotta get to the spot. Um, but... Here we go. Does anybody know whose streamer room this is? I was saying it, it kind of reminds. I don't think it was Tim the Tatman. I want to say Tim the Tatman, but I don't think it is. But this looks so fucking familiar, and it was driving me nuts earlier. Nuts. Also, if you want night vision goggles, like, let me know. Because, you know, we can we can try to, you know, do that. So, 
Uh, I don't know who the streamer is, but I heard about it. Yeah, like, uh, like it just, it's so familiar. Like this, this, especially the setup in the back. And I love that wall, by the way. That is just so cool. But I just, I want to know who this is. He's a COD streamer. You know, that's probably why I'm drawing a blank because, uh, ew, COD. But, um, not the fish, the game. You know, obviously. But it's just driving me up a wall because, like, it looks... Okay, who's who's blowing up shit up here? Oh, shit. Someone came. Hey, over here. Hello? Hi, Amanda. Hi, super fam. It's about time. We're starting to think all my followers were bots. Oh, my God. So How can I be a follower if I don't even know your name? That's true. Delay. I'm Amanda Styles, LA's top trending girl in the juicy flesh. But what the fuck? You didn't see my video? Thought I'd upload it for sure this time. Ah, I get ya. You're one of them influencer types. Yep. Catching this shit show on camera. When my videos of flying zombie guts go viral, They'll be racing to send it to choppers to save our butts from L.A. Ooh, plan-wise, that's fucking massive. Right? Problem is, it's pretty hard to get good footage while killing corpses. <gasps> oh, shit. Idea. I hate this. Collaborate. I hate this. Little Miss Styles, you had me back there at flying zombie guts. Then let's fucking go. Let's fucking let's go. go. Fucking go. Let them bodies hit the floor. Oh my god. In the first minute, I'm already on two strikes. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, that's uh God. Oh, wait, 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 um, hold on. Who is that? I think you're right. I think you're right. And I think that's why I'm thinking Tim the Tat Man, because Tim's friends with that guy. Um, Tim the Tat Man, Tat Man friend who got cod skin removed. Oh my God. Who is that? I know the person's name. Nick Merks. Nick Merks. I think that, I think you are right. Nick Merks stream setup image i think that is who it is no maybe not maybe an older setup of his maybe <clears throat> maybe but i th i think you're right i think he did have that that logo god damn it's it's like it's mind boggling man it's mind boggling i'm like it like it just it uh, like it's on the tip of the brain, but also not on the tip of the brain. You get, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is his logo, or it looks like the logo. But that was too relatable with the whole can swear in the first minute. Otherwise, you get two strike. You get a strike. Why don't I grab that? Get out of here, junk. Also, this uh, machete is amazing. Uh, tunes to slay to. Oh, I have to kick them off the roof. What? Hello? Oh, wait, I can talk to them. Hey, zombies down here. Yeah. Let's beat the uh, stuffing out of the Come on here. Schlins. Gobschlins. Swearing minute up yet. To go back up. That's two. Oh! Oh, oh no.
Go down. Go down. Ow. Drop, drop, roll. Stop, drop, roll. Stop, drop, roll. Stop. My mouse. My mouse. Just this video is crazy hype. But we need to get the world watching. So I'm counting on my armada to get this video to one million B Okay, this quest is growing on me now. Oh shit. That glass was not reinforced. Nope. Oh, you fucker. Just trying to chop off a head. God, I, I, this game is just, sorry, I got so into the, the, the fighting zombies. Oh no. Fuck. Shit. Oh my God, please. I'm just going to lead them to the fire. Really? Chonkers? Come here, Chonkers. Hey, watch this. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, my mouse. Uh, 
Leave a comment with Amanda Styles. Can I call you bestie? I don't want to alarm you, but that was awesome! We are going to be so famous when this goes live. That was fucking deadly. But how about we cork the champers until we're all out of hell, eh, huh? That's still plan A, but no reason I can't raise my name value, too. Not that either's happening without a stable internet connection. Well, you can go fix that in comfort. Head to Emma John's mansion and tell him Danny sent you. What? Bestie? I know you aren't suggesting we break up the team. Oh my god. <laughs> Roam the city, creating beautiful content. Oh my like god. Prizes for our life saving documentaries. I love the Moxie, but best you work with what you just got. Can't be famous if the zombies get you first. Huh? Okay, I do need to edit this. If we only get one video, it has to pop. But don't go streaming any gold behind my back. You know? <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. What did I get? Uh, shatter their defenses, flying kick attacks, weaken zombies. Oh, I need more slots for this. The survivor stuff. Like, I keep getting more, but... Need more slots. That was that was really really cool though. You know, at least this isn't like uh why am I telling me to go this way? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, I see. It's telling me the fastest way to get there. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna take the fastest way. Okay. What the fuck, my mouse, dude? Oh, there goes my mouse. See? I think there's something loose in the mouse. Because that sound that you just heard was my mouse disconnecting and then reconnecting. Fuck. Oh, these are tougher zombies. You fucking... She called them earlier, gobshites. That, yeah. Another fuse box. Go that way. Oh, another crusher. No, thank you. Goodbye. Gonna go to bed, bud. All right, dude. Have a good night, hollowed. Sleep well, sweet prince. Emma, the news about Dr. Reed. Okay. Really pretty house. Hey, pack your bags. It's time for us to get out of hell, eh? Really? You keep asking me about Emma. Hey, I'm just trying to help you. I'm a guy who can get it. Blueprint. All right, this needs to be repaired, like, right now. <laughs> like, right fucking now. Um, maybe we should see if we could sell some stuff to you, man. You're the trader. I should probably buy some of these uh, fuses. How many of these can I buy? Oh, he only had two. Oh, uh, man. Darn. Uh, what about selling? Uh, I'll sell the tire iron. Wait. Um. 
The bow staff I'll sell. It wasn't like, I wasn't too crazy about it. I'll keep the pipe wrench. I want to upgrade some of this stuff. Um, but there we go. I'll help you. Just Not the sure. bow staff. Yeah, it's just a bow staff. You know, wasn't the most important thing ever. Hi, by the way, Wookie, welcome back. Fuck. Go away. Emma? Uh, cheer up. <laughs> I've made contact. Are they coming to rescue us? No, we need to go to them like. There's a doctor in Santa Monica. We? What's this we? Looks like my blood's good for more than absorbing alcohol. Might even save our whole species. Really? Now don't be jealous. This doctor needs me to make a vaccine. You're my plus one. Well, sounds like you're the star of the show now. Break a leg? I could make it alone, no bother. But with Sam and everyone else here, it would be a lot safer. We'd all make it out together. There's no way you'll get Sam to go. He's made that very clear. Sure, look, I can't. But you could. Bat your eyelashes at him and pack your bags. Come on. I'm not a total egomaniac. I don't know why you think Sam would risk everything for me. It's a mystery, but he's obviously arse over tit for you. He had his chance. Arse over then, tit for you. Wouldn't it be tasty oh, fuck. to see him come crawling after you now? This is too big. I'm not doing anything till I've talked to Michael. I'm surprised he hasn't stuck his nose in already. Then looks like I'm off to find him. You just think about Sam on his knees. <laughs> Hold on, I spilled. I spilled water. The glass is bulletproof, you know? Robert insisted. Turns out the idiot. Yeah, I spilled water. Hold on. Sam really thinks he can just waltz back into my life and I'll just forgive everything. Is this what you wanted, Robert? One final fuck you? As if being married to you wasn't punishment enough. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Well, I lose my mouse pad, got a little wet, um, no more, got on anything important. Oh. Uh, A little water got on my mixer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think we're okay. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Does everything sound okay? Hello? Can I get a confirmation that everything sounds all right? Please, I'm, I'm panicking because there were like a few drops that landed near my mixer and like one or two drops that landed on my mixer. So I'm worried it like shorted out or something. Can somebody just please for my sake confirm? I, I just freaked the fuck out. Everything's sounding okay. My mic's sounding fine. Oh, God. It sounds okay in my headphones, but I just want to make sure. Oh, my God. That was so fucking scary. Sounds good on my end. Okay. Yeah, so I have this, like... Here, I'll show you real quick. I will be retiring this cup after today. <laughs> I have this cup 
which I've been using to have on my desk to just keep less weight on my desk. Um, it's like one of those like thermal cups, but the top of it has a hole, um, but it's like a straw. But there's also a hole if I wanted to make it a sippy cup, like a regular cup that you just tilt back. And I went to grab it, and then sure enough, it tilted over, and then water went all over my mouse pad. It went on my wrist guard. A few drops landed on some keys, but I don't see... Oh my god, the arrow keys do that. Holy shit. Yeah, a few drops landed on the arrow keys. Windows button works. Okay, those all were those all seem to work. Numpad. Cat blocks. And then there were like a few drops that landed on my mixer, and it looks like it was just on the surface. It was around some of the buttons. It landed on this button. Uh which I thought that. I must have accidentally pressed because I thought like maybe it like seeped underneath the button, but everything seems okay. <laughs> I will be retiring this cup. This cup will no longer be on my desk for streaming anymore. I just wanted to take a sip of water because I was very, very thirsty. So thank you. Thank you, G, and thank you, Burb, for confirming. I'm very sorry about that. Sorry if I yelled or hurt anybody's ears because I know this mic might be a little bit louder than what you guys are used to, but I'm sorry about that. It's just... I don't think I'll be able to return it if there's water damage on it. So, uh, everything seems fine, though. Right? That works. Space bar works. We're good. That could, have been a, that could have been a fucking disaster. Could have been an absolute fucking disaster. Oh, my God. But, hey, at least my mouse pad's clean now. <laughs> Because I was literally thinking, because I, I usually wash this, uh, I have like a full desk mouse pad, and it gets fucking dirty as shit. Um, so I usually take like a, a rag with some like warm water and like some soap, and I like wash it, because it just, it just gets like fingerprints and stuff like that and everything. So at least it's a little bit cleaner now. So that's a plus. <gasps> Amanda! You got a 4K camera on your shoulder, girl. Damn. Are you winning, bestie? <laughs> Naturally. How's the video going? Well, I'm not satisfied just yet. Like you were great, but my video's missing that something something to bring it all together. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, who do we have to convince? We gotta convince Wait, Michael. Anybody know where Mikey is? Mikey. Luciana? I don't know who you are. All right. Probably in the basement, I would imagine. This is where he was last time. Where you hiding, Mikey? <gasps> Michael, you there? Curtis. Miss Salazar, what a woman. Mikey! <laughs> Where are you at, Mikey? Uh, let me out, let me out. The last thing that we need to talk about. You tried his room? Go down here, take the stairs on the right. This place is fucking huge, huh? <laughs> it's fucking huge, huh? Oh, stairs on the right. Here we go. He's got his own room. Must be in here. Michael. Two. I hope you're happy, you devil. Oi. Oh, that girl. And after everything he's done for her. No. No, that's it. It's time we had a talk, Emma John. Wait just a minute. Uh, um, can you not just tell me where Michael is? Gone. Out there. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> He was a supporting lead. Denise and Joe and Sam and suddenly, poof, he's written out. Focus. Where's he now? Get off me. Somewhere. I don't know. To get her to notice him again. You mean he's addicted to being a doormat for Emma anytime that slapper throws a fist? Hey! You don't get to talk about her, okay? You know nothing about Emma. Okay. Damn, girl. All right. Jesus. 
Chill out. Fuck's sake, I've got to find him. Why'd you care? Apparently, we need him. That is, we do. We need everyone. Huh, I wonder if he would... He took his keys to his place in the hills. Then that's me after the hills. God knows in some really fucking mysterious ways sometimes. <laughs> Perdona, Matthews. Oh, he's breaking my melt. He really is. Okay, well, sooner I'm off, sooner I'm back. Okay. Bye. Pray for Michael. <laughs> so charming. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Michael went to Beverly Hills, so. Uh, hey, Sam wants some guns. Got any ideas? Nah, but if you find any, I got dibs on the big one. No problem, no problem. I'll fix it. That's what I do. Is he a fixer? Okay. Alrighty. Well, I think this is what I'm going to do. I, I need to pee. I also need to go and grab a little something to eat because, um, because it is, uh, it's, it's 937 and I haven't had anything to eat. And, uh, with my diabetes medication, I do need to eat, uh, with the medication. So I do need to take a quick break. I also need to stretch my legs and I need to put this desk into sitting mode because, I've been standing for the past few hours, so uh, need to need to do all of those things. So uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, but when we come back, I don't know. I mean, I, I would be down to do a little bit more of this. Go eat, get the food. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the food. I'm gonna get the food. But I honestly didn't expect me to enjoy it this much. I honestly thought we were gonna do this for like two, three hours. Check it out, see if we like it. But it's been a lot of fun, and honestly, I probably I probably would recommend. Dead Island 2. I, I, I'm actually really, <laughs> I'm really liking it. It's, it's good. And, it, and it's been a nice break because I have been on a little bit of a grind for uh, Souls games, which don't get me wrong, Soul games, Souls games are like my bread and butter. Been loving Lies of P, been loving, um, been loving uh, Lords, of the, Lords of the Fallen. That's been a lot of fun. And I do plan on returning to both of those. Um, Maybe one of those. I don't know about both of those because it's just too much souls to like kind of juggle back and forth. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take a quick break so I can go stretch my legs, get the food, take my medication and everything. And then once I get back, um, we are going to go ahead and we'll, we'll do a little bit more of this. We'll do a little bit more of this. And then maybe we'll see about maybe switching over and doing maybe like a community game or or, or something. Or I might just call this like a, a one game long stream on Sunday because this has just been a lot, a lot of fun. So um, I'm having a really, really good time with it. Also, sorry, I was just making sure we're lurking in some streams because want to support even though I'm streaming. Try my best. Try my best. So uh, I will be right back. Uh, in the meantime, I will leave you guys with some chill EDM music. Um, I recommend go stretch your legs. Go go stretch your legs. Go get some water. Go, uh, I don't know, take a pee-pee break if you got to take a pee-pee break. Um, but I'm going to take a short break here. I need about like two to five minutes. Uh, I'll run a quick minute and a half ad. Um, and then in about five minutes, I will be right back. And uh, we'll do some more Dead Island 2. So I will be right back after this quick, quick break. See you in a bit.
I want to kind of just get inside if I can. Standing here in the desert. I was really trying to have a moment, and it was ruined by the voice of God, who just kept talking in my ear. Oh, guys, look, we got double balls here. Nice double balls. Yeah, I am just, I'm just sniffing out all the balls. some fairies you thought i was out i'm getting fairies da 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 grabbing some fairies got those fairies <laughs> take that ha uh -huh. uh, no I want to see people die. I always appreciate a good fuck. <laughs> That's pretty appropriate. That's pretty appropriate. I got to admit. Also, hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm just eating really, really quick. Uh, delicioso. My dinner of two cheese sticks. What? And then also... I also got these, um, as a diabetic, I've been trying to just <clears throat> eat like a little bit healthier. I've been trying to find things like low on sugar, but actually my sugar was a little, was like a little low. So, um, I had two cheese sticks and I've been kind of noshing on, uh, these guys here, which are wisps. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of them. Um, but it's a brand that sells like these like little cheese crisps. And this one is, I found the only place I can find these is five below. And it's cheese and pretzel bites with honey mustard, which is really, really, really good. Um, and nicely enough, uh, there's 2.5 servings in here. And per serving, there's one gram of sugar. So. Uh, pot stickers for dinner. Ooh, I might make those. I might make some pot stickers on uh, Thursday. Thursday's my night to cook dinner. So, uh, stickers. Interesting. You forgot a whole word. It's pot stickers, Oracle. Also, Oracle, I love that I was sitting here eating and all I heard was just sound effect, sound effect, sound effect, sound effect, sound effect, pause, sound effect. So, thank you. It was beautiful as I was eating my food. Uh, yeah, the cheese crisps are good. So, so they, they have a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and believe it or not, good, good, actually not bad for you. If you're diabetic, the, the wisps stuff are actually really good. It's just, they're a little bit pricey, but, um, they have like a whole bunch of different kinds. There's Parmesan. I think they also have like a pepper jack. Um, there was like a few other ones as well, but these are actually not a bad snack if you're a diabetic. I got the power of God. Actually not a bad, bad snack. <laughs> Usually by the Aldi ba brand of cheese crisp. Ooh, I didn't know. Um, gee, if you ever get a chance 
to check the bag. Could you let me, because because I've been meaning to go to Aldi. We have we have a few that actually just kind of popped up near us. Like I've been to Aldi's before, but my mom keeps recommending for shopping that it's a little bit more affordable. If and when you get the chance that you see those cheese crisps, could you check the bag and see the sugar content on them? Because I'm always in the look now that I'm diabetic for more and more snacks that I can have since I'm, I'm diabetes boy now. So if you, if you get the chance, you don't have to go like run to your kitchen right now and be like, I'm on it right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot that was your sound effect. You know it. <laughs> uh, because again, uh, I've been meaning to go over to Aldi's, so. You're really good? No, you. How you doing, by the way, Oracle? Welcome back on, and Wookie, welcome on back. Um, Aldi's, Aldi's is great. Oh my God. And I and I see why. It's so freaking affordable. Like, I was funny. I was like just complaining to my mom. Like, hey, I just went food shopping and spent like $180 and it really wasn't that much. She's like, you need to go to Aldi's. And she like kind of said like, oh, like that, that, and that that you bought there that cost that much. She's like, you could save like half of that at Aldi's. And I was like, fuck. I'm like, I should just go to fucking Aldi's to shop from now on. Right? And it's not like it's, it's not like it's too far from us. It's literally that there's, there's a, a stop and shop like around our corner. So I'm like, I could just go there and get the snacks and foods that I want, but I really should start, you know, if I want to be more money conscientious, I should just go, start going to Aldi's. I need to make an Aldi trip within the next two days. Definitely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's just because the more snacks that I can like find will keep me from going insane. <laughs> Aldi is great. Lid little is better. I've never heard of little before. Is that an actual place or is that a wordplay joke on Aldi's? Because I've never heard that. Um, I've gotten both the Parmesan and cheddar cheese crisp from Aldi, but I forgot to check the nutrition facts. Burp, I listen, hear me out. It's so funny because now that I'm diabetic boy, I have been checking it. And now Story also has been checking the ingredients. Like we were sitting there in bed and she went to go grab something and she literally... She literally was like, oh, this thing has about this much sugar in it. And I was like, oh, babe, did you check it? Did you check it? Oh, baby. Uh, and then she was like, what? And she's like, oh, she's like, I didn't even fucking realize that I like checked the bag to see. <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, you're being conscientious of me. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, but Burb, if you do too, please let me know. Um, I usually get the Parmesan ones. Yeah, the Parmesan crisps are probably my favorite, I would say, for the Wisps brand. But Wisps, I know they sell them at Target. Um, and then this particular one, the pretzel ones, I can only find at Five Below. And only these tiny, tiny bags. The other ones are probably like this bigger, that much bigger. I have an Aldi and a Little. Okay, Little is an actual place. It's not a, it's not a word play. Uh, but I haven't tried Little yet. Yeah. Uh, I usually get the Parmesan ones. Little is an actual place. Okay. Clock, you said the number five. I'm assuming that is your giveaway uh, option. I would check your Twitch whispers, by the way, because I did send you your game, by the way. You 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 whisper me the number five, and I sent you the key. So please make sure you check your Twitch whispers. And if you didn't get it, let me know. I can resend the message. Actually, no, I'm just going to go ahead and resend it just in case maybe it didn't go through because I had someone who messaged me earlier, and they were like, I never got the whisper. You just said, here's your game, and then nothing. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but how you doing, Clock? Welcome on in, bud. How's it going? I speak from Dutch experience, but Little is basically the same concept, just better. I don't know how to explain. Okay, so wait, did Little originate in, in Sweden or, like, Europe and then, like, moved to the U.S.? Because I've never heard of it before. The Parmesan ones are really good. Okay, you guys are making me hungry, guys. Little equals Lydell. So Little. Got it. Thank you, Dillers. Thank you for that. No, just been lurking. Haven't checked my messages. Thank you anyway. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, no, no. I got you, bud. I got you. You know me. I'm pretty I'm pretty quick with messages usually 90% of the time. 90% of the time, I'm usually good with messages. So, uh, but how are you doing, Clock? How's your day been, buddy? Yes. Okay, that's cool. I'll have to. Let me, let me look and see. Are there any littles near me? A little near me. Um... Let us see. Where is the nearest one? Oh, wait. Actually, there's one not too far from me. Uh, how far is that? Uh, 
Un okay, that's actually not too bad. Um, okay, so so would you say, Wookie? I know you've never been to a little. Has anyone here been to a little before? And if so, I mean, is it like as good as like Aldi's? Because I mean, I've been to Aldi's before, and I've I've seen prices. Like I've gone shopping for my parents in Aldi's before. Uh, Chris, if you have any snack recs overall, do let me know. I'm trying to find good snacks for my night shifts. I discovered that if I continuously snack through the night, I don't crash in terms of tiredness as much. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, trying to think of some like healthy stuff lately that I've been eating. Um, stuff that's like low carb, low sugar. Um, stuff to just kind of fill up on. I I've been eating a lot more veggies, uh, specifically like carrots, baby carrots. Um, these are good. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. They're very, very good. Again, the brand's called Wisps. But again, I mean, if you're going to Little or Aldi's and you find another brand, I mean, go with those. They're probably so much cheaper. Um, I've been eating a lot of like flavored chickpeas, like uh, oven roasted chickpeas with like flavoring the brand. Let me grab the brand. Hold on. I have a few. You got me like unraveling my armory of like diabetic friendly, friendly foods. <laughs> so cheese sticks, I've been eating, uh, cheese sticks are great. I mean, obviously you need to keep them like refrigerated, but I mean, if you have like a little lunch box, you know? Um, so uh, uh, cheese sticks, baby carrots, um, obviously the wisps, the pretzel ones, and then also the, um, the cheese ones. Um, Almonds, I've been having, a, like, almonds are pretty good. Um, and that's, like, easy. You can put them in, like, a little Ziploc baggie and stuff like that. Um, I love pretzels, and that was a big thing because it was, like, pretzels are just basically empty carbs, and carbs turn into sugar and everything. And also, I didn't realize how many companies put fucking sugar in their pretzels, which you would never think of in a million years. Um, so I found this brand, Dots Home Style Pretzels. Um, zero saturated fats. Uh, it's got six grams of fat though. Uh, sodium is a little high. It's 360, but sugar zero. So if you were looking for stuff that doesn't make you crash, these guys, and there's a few different kind of flavors. I do find the more flavored ones have sugar in them, but very, very little. But these guys, zero, zero grams. And they also do taste good. Very, very good. I mean, they're pretzels too, which is why the sodium's high. Um, so Dots is good. Um, what else have I been having? The almonds, the cheese sticks, those, um, uh, popcorn, uh, boom chicka pop, really, really good. Uh, also, uh, I do love chippies, like Tostito chips. So, uh, the black bean or blue bean chips, really good for you. And also, I mean, like they, they taste just as good as like a Tostito, but good in the sense that I'm not eating empty carbs when I'm eating chips. So there's that. Um, I also got these guys, <coughs> uh, which is Catalina Crunch, and they sell a bunch of these cookies, um, which um, are good on protein, fiber, and sugar. Um, it's got four grams protein, three grams fiber, two grams of sugar, and they come in a bunch of different flavors. These are the peanut butter ones. They did also have Oreo ones and like vanilla wafer ones as well, but they're pretty good. Um, so those as well. Uh, and then also I said the chickpeas, um, is another thing, um, because they're high on fiber, high on protein, along with like almonds. Those have been like my two nuts that I've been eating lately. Um, these are pretty good. They're called Benina, Bienna, Bienna. Uh, and they come in a bunch of different flavors and, um, like there's like just regular sea salt, there's barbecue, there's habanero, um barbecue this one is the honey roasted which tastes so fucking good this one has a little bit more sugar in it but um you know especially also if i'm having a low these are pretty good but uh just chickpeas um also you can I mean, you do trail mix you know trail mix my, my favorite brand is a uh, favorite day from target because that's another easy thing you could just put like in a little Ziploc bag and take with you and everything for, for your for your snacks and everything for the late night shifts and everything. So, I mean, those are some recommendations I have. I'm, I'm still kind of learning the ropes, so to speak. 
on like what I can have <coughs> for a first what I can have, you know? Also, I realize I'm also very dehydrated uh, after going to the bathroom, so. Um, so yeah, um, there is in my town. Oh, maybe that is the one Dillers. I don't know. According to Google maps, it doesn't say that it's in the town that you're in. It's in a different town, but it might be on the border of both. So I might have to take a drive out there and check it. Uh, so for go to test, maybe carrots and cuties. Yeah. Cuties are good too. Cuties are good. Uh, both Liddy and Aldi are German. Oh, I did not know that actually. I mean, that makes sense. They, they both sound german uh i think so a little got great food at great prices so would you say that it's comparable to to aldi's then price wise yeah fruit at liddy was praised for being better than our abram really that's that's crazy uh i feel like lots of sodium is good yeah yeah i mean it's a pretzel you know it's a pretzel epsilon hi epsilon how are you doing welcome on in Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody, by the way. If you haven't shared how your days were, please let us know. How's everybody's Sundays going? And how are you, Ep? How's it going? Uh, at work right now, so I'm going to be lurking. All right, sounds good. That's absolutely fine, Clock. I hope that work is going well for you, buddy. Uh, hope you're having a good time at work. Uh, and thank you so much for stopping in and saying hi, at least. Appreciate you. Thank you for all this. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm, I'm still learning. And, and, and gee, if you ever have anything to recommend for snacks, please let me know because big thing with diabetes is just like, I mean, I can still have sugar. I'm just trying to limit the amount of sugar that I have. And like, you know, there's a lot of sugar instinct things you would never expect, you know? And that's a thing that I'm slowly starting to learn, but like, I can still have sugar, but uh, quantity it's quantity and, and 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 like portion sizes you know so if you ever have any recommendations or things that you find let me know let me know please uh exhausted dang dst dst what is what is dst i don't know what that is also way to go ewok way to go catch in the wheezing i just want to drink my water before we jump back into dead island 2 um, I think I decided, I think we're going to just stream Dead Island 2 a little bit longer, and then I might call it, like, a slightly earlier night, um, so I can go spend some time with Story, and especially if I do get hungry again, you know, which I might honestly just finish, just polish this bag off, honestly, there's, like, nothing left, so. Mmm. Daylight savings time, you're right, dude, I, w I woke up 8 a.m., and I was like, oh, man, I gotta start my day. And I did a bunch of stuff in the morning, like, you know, I made coffee, I cleaned up a little bit, I, you know, went to the potty, did all this stuff and everything. And I'm sitting down and I turn my computer on and I, and I look at the clock and I'm like, wait a minute, why does it say eight o'clock again? Like, it's, it's been at least an hour, it should be nine. What the fuck is going on? And then I realized it was daylight savings time. I was like, God damn it. I'm like, I could have, I got an extra hour and I was just being fucking productive, running around and shit. I'm like, I could have, I could have slept in an extra <laughs> I was, I was so mad at myself because normally I'm up at like by like nine, usually nine, like nine during the weekends. And I was just so mad at myself. I'm like, I could have, I could have fucking slept an extra hour. Like, why did nobody say anything about D DST? Like, son of a bitch. I was so mad. But you know what? At, at least I know now. At least I know now. You know, uh, got to go finish with my hair and go to bed myself. Okay. Sounds good. Ewok. Uh, because of DST, I worked an extra hour last night for free. Truly stinky. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, G. That is annoying. They don't honor that? Shouldn't they honor that and pay you out for that extra hour? What the fuck? Uh, also got to drive tomorrow. Where are you driving tomorrow? Is it work or something? Uh, fuck daylight savings and the madness. I thought that they were. Weren't they supposed to? Wasn't that a thing? Weren't they talking about how, like, in a year or two, about a year or two ago, that they were going to be ending daylight savings? Like, it wasn't going to be a thing anymore? They were just going to, like, get rid of it, right? I'm, I'm like, I'm not crazy. I remember, like, a year or two ago talking about it, and they were like, yeah, they're talking about, like, getting rid of it. And I'm like, yes, please. It's so dumb. Like, I mean, I got an extra hour, but I was up. They should class an album. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, I do hope that it's a, a safe drive, and I hope class goes well. Uh, it was up for a vote, then nothing. In the U EU, yes, then COVID happened. Uh, well, hopefully, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, with COVID, there was a lot of, like, I mean, not saying that day, like, getting rid of daylight savings is not important, but, like, you know, there was a lot of shit. A lot, a lot of, a lot of shit that was going on, you know? Um, 
but uh, under current federal law, states are allowed to observe permanent standard time, the time between November and March year round, but not permanent daylight savings. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, they should pay that extra hour. There's got to be something legal like that. That that just sounds that just sounds weird. Like they should pay for that. Like legally, it sounds like that they should have to pay for that. Uh, I don't think the timesheet is smart enough to know how to do that, though. Well, I mean, is there an HR department you could talk to? Because, like, maybe you should talk to somebody at HR and be like, hey, you know, I technically worked an extra hour. I would like to get paid for that hour because of daylight savings. Like, maybe somebody can help you out with that. I, I don't know. Okay. This cup is now getting retired because I almost spilled water all over my keyboard and my mixer. So it's it's being retired. Goodbye, cup. Hello, non-spillable water chunk. <laughs> so it's a state right thing. Arizona, Hawaii do not observe. Really? So technically in, in Hawaii, like if it's 10 o'clock for me right now. Like, I mean, they're they're an hour behind, essentially, still. Yeah. Like they're 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 observing their their time. That's crazy, though. Isn't that confusing? Isn't that like really confusing, though? Apparently, daylight savings cancelization fucks up the aviation sector. I was told, what, what? How does that work? I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm not saying that you know the answers to it, Oracle, or anything, but I'm like curious, like the logistics behind that. Uh, the timesheet might not be, but whoever, yeah, exactly, yeah. I would talk to somebody in HR if you got got in, like an HR department, like talk to them and like voice that because that's a whole hour that you should be getting paid for. Like you should not be working for free. Like if that's your job, you should get credited for the hour, regardless if it like rolled back an hour or whatever. <sighs> See, I gotta play it safe now because I don't want any mishaps. So back to the heavy water jug on my desk. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat these. There's like five pretzels in here. Let me just eat these and then we'll jump back into the game. It sounds, no, it, it does. I'm just curious about the logistics behind it, right? Like, I wanna know like the science behind it. Like, how how do? You know? I'm also just trying to scope out who we can go and raid um, once the stream is over. Um. Taking a look here. All right, there's a few. There's a few options. There's a few options for people. I'm not saying we're raiding right now, but just preemptively, I got maybe like another hour in me, and then I'm gonna probably call it. So, oh, all right. Last two and a half pretzel pretzel bites. Very very good, by the way. If you like honey mustard, I recommend these. These are so good. And if anybody finds these anywhere, because I have checked Target, I have checked Walmart, could not find these. The only place that I found these specific, specific wisps is five below, and I can't find them anywhere else. So if you find any of these in your travels, let me know because I will go and buy them. I bought like four bags last time we were at five below because I was just like, I love these. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Another like one gram of sugar per serving, which that probably was like one and a half servings. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Uh, has to do with the train schedules and the way aviation and train schedules were affected during World War II. Really? Huh. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to read up on it. Not saying I don't believe you or anything. I'm just gonna have to read up on it because I'm personally curious on how that shit works. I'm personally, personally curious on how, how that all works. Okay. Um... Okay, that person just got offline. Let me just, I'm, I'm just closing out. Closing out a stream that just ended, so. 
All right. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump on back into Dying Light 2 here. Um, we can still talk about all these things, obviously. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump on into... We're probably going to do, like, maybe, like, another hour. Um, wow, that was a long time for this song to end. That was, that was weird. That was really, really weird. I'm going to bring back Pepe Chad because I feel... I don't know. Nervous being on camera. I don't know. It's just a comfort thing now at this point. <laughs> oh no. I'm slowly turning into a PNG tuber. Oh god. Um, or I'm just talking to my ass. You never know. You just never know. True, but I can just go look it up on the interwebs and find out. So then I'll know. Then I'll really, really know then, Dillers. Boom. Headshot. I don't I don't know. <laughs> um, let me see. I need a suggestion. Been doing crafting for weeks on my stream. I want to do a game for Sunday. Okay. So need a suggest I mean, I don't know what but I mean there's there's so many games, Turtles. So I mean, what do you what do you want to do? I mean, it sounds like since you are in like the crafty mood for Sundays, that maybe a crafty survival type game might be good. Um, so maybe like, I don't know, Minecraft or oh god uh or something like i don't know like there's tons of crafty survival games that you could do but i'm just thinking like kind of keeping on like the sense of like crafting since you like doing that for sunday streams <sighs> then maybe they maybe keep on keep on doing like something crafty like that you know and if you need any crafty survival game recommendations let me know It just seems to me that like planes and trains. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, what's the legit? <laughs> like, I just want to know, like, why? Like, we have so much technology that could probably kind of counteract the discrepancies and everything. You know? It's dark out. I don't like that. Oh, right. He went, he went to his house. So I got to go to, I got to go to Michael's house. Uh, so mid-November, Grounded's getting an update, but that's not until after Sunday, so I like that idea a lot. So yeah, Crafty Survival is up my alley. Yeah, if you need recommendations, let me know. I mean, there's always Minecraft, which I feel like most people have Minecraft, right? There's Minecraft. Um, lately, I can tell you some of the Crafty games I've been playing. There's Core Keeper. 10 out of 10 game. I recommend Core Keeper. If you, if you like Terraria and stuff like that, Core Keeper would be right up your alley. Uh, Sons of the Forest, Grounded, which you mentioned. Uh, Void Train is kind of, it's it's a little, it's not full on crafty survival, but it's close. Uh, the new Lord of the Rings game, uh, Return to Moria, that's fun. And I think that's four or eight player co-op. So there's that. I guess we're going that way. Um, and then, yeah, then you can get other people involved. Whether it's other streamers or if you want to get your community involved. Well, don't need that wallet anymore. So that's an option for options. Are you alive? He's not alive. He's dead. If only I didn't get uh get so early on Sunday, but I can get a person or two. Yeah, well, I mean, you could also, like, have it as, like, an open thing, like, anyone in your community who wants to come and join, you know? Like, I'm not saying, like, have your own server, but, like, you know, Fed, uh, Fed used to do that with Core Keeper, which is actually how I found out about Core Keeper. Carp, stop! That's how I actually found out about Core Keeper through, from Fed. Um, and he just kind of had, like, a jump in, jump out, like, whenever he played, if anybody in his community wanted to come and join, they could just come and join. going <gasps> fuses wait a minute oh he's like in another part of town uh there's the fuse oh, i want to go to that fuse right that fuse wasn't there another fuse there was a fuse over here back at this house uh, and then there was a fuse over here there's so many fuses man uh let's go do that fuse i'm gonna go do that one that's like right. Oh. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Core Keeper. Yeah, yeah. Core Keeper. Um, it's like... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. He's immune. He's immune. He's a firefighter. He's insulated. He's insulated. Oh, God. Okay. I gotta be careful here. Please. I missed. Get in the bush. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Well, you know, maybe I shouldn't have used a fused over there. <laughs> Uh, Chris, run, I'll hold him off. Hey, Azor, welcome on in. Zor, it's my first time in California, and man, oh man, Cali is, uh, it's a weird place. Oh, my fuse got used. Oh, okay. That guy is called the cable guy. <laughs> He's literally called the cable guy. Oh my god, they just they just shock. What's the science behind that? Would I just get cable guy's van key? Cable guy's van key, I don't know where that goes. Who are you, Swarm Man? He's shooting bees! Oh, shit. Okay. How do I deal with this? Oh, wait. Uh, hiya. Oh, fuck you, zombie bitch. Uh, oh my god! Oh. Holy crap, is that Larry? Yep. <laughs> I think it is. My god, I keep ending up over here. Uh, oh, and then these two guys. Oh, okay. Hey, look, green. Swarm zombie. That's new. Bon appétit! Dude, dude, stay back. Dude, I'm gonna need a new weapon here because. Curb stop! Curb stop! Firefighter zombie. You guys believe that? Is this even worth it? It was worth it. That was worth it. That's my second blue weapon. That was worth it. Bro, bro is thick. Who knew that's what you needed to do <laughs> to be a firefighter? That was worth it. That's worth it. I'm going to get rid of the rake. Goodbye, rake. You served me well, rake. Um, you served me well in my, in your many years of service. Uh, 07's in the chat for Rake. Uh, apparently a vast majority of Americans want to end clock changes, but debate is whether we stay in daylight savings or standard time. I mean, just pick one. That's it. Just, just freaking pick one. It's not hard. Which one do we want? Okay, cool. We decided that's, that's what we want. Awesome. Um, I think I'll save 
my... Okay, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm not dealing with B-Man. Uh, but how are you doing, Azor? Welcome on in. Hey, Medkit. I'm leaving. Who's coming? Shocking Walker. Oh my God. Protein Bart. Where am I going? Ah, uh, dude, bro. <gasps> Wait, wasn't there a fusey over here? What the? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Grenades! I gotta get out of here. Oh, no! Oh! Gotta go. Oh, Hawaiian shirt zombie. Like the wings. <gasps> Blue says hammer. Hold on. I got it. I got to get that. I got to go. <laughs> Mind if I squeeze on by, fellas? You think you can take me? Try it, you agents. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. My God. Good night. Ha. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no, those are all the zombies from earlier. That's what I wanted to do, baby. Gotta go, stupid motion sickness. I, oh, oh, oh. How are you not dead? There's two of you. I just realized. There's two of them. <laughs> Please. Let that die down, though. Don't get my way. Don't die. Okay. A hey, protein bar. I. Why? Why am I like this? Why did I kick the zombie with the grenades? <laughs> why am I just kicking things? Beverly Hills. Let's see what you got. Traveling to Beverly Hills. You are now noms. Apparently, vast majority of Americans, bro is thick. I know it's so stupid. It's a bipartisan supported issue, but Congress can't decide what to do. It's easy. Just get rid of it. It's not. <laughs> it's so it's so it's so dumb. <laughs> it really, really is. We don't know what to do with it. Get rid of it. It's it's. It's an easy thing. It's an easy thing just to be like, okay, we're on this. That's the end of it. That's that's it. It doesn't need to be a whole song and dance. So dumb. Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta do some inventory management. But turtle, I get it. If you gotta go, I know the motion sickness thing, so I totally totally get it. Um. Oh my god. 
Hell yeah. Uh, just gonna get rid of the old. In with the new. Oh, I'm in love. Look at that thing. Uh, but Azor, I don't know if you're still here or not. Hope you are doing well. Hope everybody is doing well. And uh, this stream... And all the neighborhood zombies are out playing with their friends. Mm-hmm. Look at beautiful Beverly Hills. First time I've ever... Be Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. I don't know. We have any local uh, Californians that can confirm that there's this welcome he Beverly Hills sign and is this beautiful? Check to see if Michael's home. What does the map of this area look like? I, I, a part of me hates that the map is like this, but also I love it. It feels like I'm looking at a postcard. Ah, oh, there's a craft bench over there. We should probably go secure that craft bench first. Would have been cool to be able to use the craft bench or the uh, the like the bikes maybe. There it is, Michael's place. It says that there's a craft bench over this way. There's a craft bench. Wait a minute. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Let's go to Michael's. Hate it. Oh dearie me. You lose your keys. Oh no, is Michael dead? I don't know if he's dead. Michael, you're home. You're night. Ah, Grant. Someone left me a little snack. Uh Not too long ago either. Hi! <laughs> what you doing out there? Oh, ow! Are you? Man, they're so annoying. Hollywood careers undressed by Michael Anders, man of many talents. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Mentor of the Mentor year. Mentor of the year. What a fella. Uh, the dead body. Suicidal Zom or zombie slaying Michael? Both equally unlikely. Oh! Look at the- look at his skin! <laughs> Is that like the virus? You're not getting up, are you? You look like you're about to get up. Guys, I'm trying to investigate here. I'm taking photos for my, uh... For my vlog. First time in California, you know? You're a different zombie than the one before. Okay. Well, uh, what else we got? Michael's got a safe here. Let's follow this. This better not be your blood, Mikey. Ah, shite. Locked. Michael, scream if you're bleeding out. Soundtrack signed by the cast. Bet I could get a book or two for these. Hmm. Key, key, key. Oh, that's a... That's a skelly arm. Note. Jesse said she hung off the keys. So where are they? Brought your keys back. My dumbest parents missed out on their evac. I'll have to stay behind to help them. Your prob's long gone with Emma, but in case you come back here, poke your head over the back gate and let me know you're okay. There was a struggle, so maybe that's who it was. Over the back gate. All right, the back gate we go. Shut up. Oh, 
Wait, it said back gate. Wait, you're the same zombie we just killed. Or am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing here? Look your head over the back gate. Oh, wow. his house keys. Knocked from the hook. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. <gasps> oh, fucking fuck shit. Well, he's not bleeding out here, at least. Maybe he went to that Jessie's place. I need her address. Oh, hey, Michael. This is Roxanne Kwan. If Jess is there studying, could you tell her to be back here by eight? I don't want her to miss the party. Um, probably best you don't come though. After, you know. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, Jesse Kwan. Maybe you'll know. Looks like our fellow was packing, but didn't finish. Well, yeah, he probably got interrupted. Just a map of some movie lot. Hmm. Those kitchen knives came in handy, huh, Mikey? There you are. Um, six six seven Rocky Heights. And she lives right next door. Cool. I'm gonna use the axe. Trail like a fox after a bleeding rabbit. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Michael. He is. To save you, that is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Make sure you mention to save, not to do anything else here. Um. Oh, B-Man. No, no, B-Man, no. We're gonna go this way. Not today, B-Man. Oh, you ducked! Those bees. I don't like those bees. Seems like this is the place. Is is Cali this like hilly? Cause holy shit, like the amount of hills and shit that are here. Please sit down. Thank you. Take a take a squat. Breaker panels. All right, yeah. Uh, we need a battery. Or a breaker box. Um, that's the side that I tried to get in. I feel we're gonna need to get into this shed here. Nope, I was wrong. Coworker just pissed me off. What happened, Clock? You all right, bud? Oh. Oh. Hello? Uh, sorry, zombie. Party's over. Not a zombie, <gasps> just... Is this a pizza? Hey, do you have pizza? Of course I do. Now let us in. Uh, yeah. Well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Then why have you left the gate wide open? Oh, yeah. Well... What is... We're having this big party, right? And some of the guys, not, not me, were riding on a gate and, and, and it broke. Now there's a whole bunch of spares in the garage, but it's like full of riffraff. Fine. I'll give closing it a lash. Oh, killer. I'll hit the garage button. You bounce the party crashers and fix things up. And then dude, Mikasa is is uh your Mikasa. Hey Roxy! Yep, he's pantless and he's wearing ladies' panties. Fuck is my underwear? <laughs> There's a poke in Darwin's eye. <laughs> I can't. I need. I need a second, man. I need a second. Is this the kind of shit that you guys experience in Cali? What the fuck, man? Uh, one of my coworkers brought me some dishes and he was supposed to do, uh, I told him that he was supposed to do and he said no and he just left me and took off. Then I would just leave him there. 
because that's not your job. That's not your job. Uh, I would also go talk to somebody, talk to some manager, let them know. Especially it sounds like this person might be a reoccurring um, culprit. I don't, no, 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 I'm not king shaming. That's not king shaming. Hey, everybody's into their own, Party's you know, over. stuff, but. Hey, everybody. Oop. Hell yeah. Fighting music. I can jam to this. Whoa. All right. All right there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. He is not affected by that. But I should close that gate now. Oh, you're no, oh, I didn't say you were okay, okay. I'm sorry. I was like, wait, did I did I hinted that I was? I'm sorry. Okay, she he is you know what? Uh Kunai! Nobody sees a Kunai coming. Dude, why are you playing fucking music, man? Wrong button. Work. No. You you live there. That's right. My bad. I I I was I was reading that real fast, so I'm sorry, Kitty. My bad. My bad. <gasps> and a mod, melee puncturer mod. Oh. Another circuit breaker. Uh, dude, can you can you cut the fucking music off? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay, I, I should probably work on closing the gate first. Because more, more zombies are just going to come in, right? He's, gonna, he's just going to bring more in. Also, there's a fucking car in the pool, man. Jesus. <gasps> oh! No, thank you. Oh, this is going to suck. Where's my where's my sledgehammer? Where that sled sledgehammer at? Hold on a second. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> Get the fuck off of me, you fucking zombie! Shit! Get your panties, man. Get panties, man, to let you in. That's his name. Panties, man. What is that? <gasps> oh! Ooh, a stolen sword, huh? Bet it goes with my outfit. <laughs> oh. Clean and snatch. That's the name of the quest. Oh my god. All right. Well, panty man. That's your new name. Uh, genius. Hey. <laughs> There's a bra on the ceiling too. Or are you fighting zombies in New York? Feeding pizza to the zombies. All oh, right. You say pizza? Right. No pizza. Sorry, man. Big evacuation party, you know. Oh shit! We gotta get to the evac. Roxy. Roxy, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, babe. No time to sleep. We gotta evacuate. Hey, Jesse, pack your shit. We're going. <sighs> evac was ages ago. Oh. oh, my fucking skull. I love these two. <laughs> Boom. God 
Grabs a whiskey. <laughs> Slept through another alarm. <sighs> hey, at least we got supplies for a few months. <laughs> you have that much food on hand? Food? Focus, you useless pair of gobshites. I'm looking for Michael Anders. What do you want with that stiff? They don't get along. You don't call the lead singer of Gods and Whiskey a has -been. Damn right. The correct term is was -been. <laughs> These guys are <laughs> drunk out of their minds. Been, if you keep it up. Okay, okay. Jesse might know. Oh, she's not here. Huh. I'm not getting that feeling of disapproval. Hmm. Another note. Dear Mother, if you must have sex at three in the morning, please can you refrain from moaning and screaming quite so loudly? That was you. <laughs> so she's gone up the hill to help a friend. You let her prance about her own. Hey, she's smart. She's in med school. Mm, she's real sneaky, too. Every time I turn around, it's like, whoa, she's right there. Oh, my no, God. I'll find her. Ah, cool. Looks like we're going to have the place to ourselves. Uh, no. I need to get my head together. Hey, come on. She's going to be okay. They're going to find her. Come on. Let's, like, plan and shit. Yeah, play to our strengths. Hmm. Thanks. Let's hear your big plan, then. Let's oh my god. Then. Not that I think you might have left out any important details, of course. So no. Left in the fridge. If you're getting conscious, it happened where I am. I've gone up the hill to help a friend out. I'll check on it, uh, in on construction guys and be back later. Please tell Ricky to put some pants on. These construction workers. <laughs> oh yeah. They were renovating one of the big houses up the hill and the crew will hold up inside. You can't miss it. Storage locker. Uh, there is also a workbench outside, but man, oh man. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck ocean. <laughs> Why? Why is there a... <laughs> What is this game? Oh my god. Fuck oceans. I... I don't know what to think. I, 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 I don't know, man. Got it. Rescue time. Fuck oceans. <laughs> can't. I can't even. Can't make this shit up. What a good. What a good game. All right. Uh, I gotta do some repairing. So repair you. Repair you. I'm gonna repair you. And I am also going to make you match level. Uh, kitchen knife. Where's the Bowie knife? We don't need two of these, so we'll get rid of you. Uh, that's a dagger. We'll get rid of the dagger. I'm trying to condense a little bit. We got these two, which... I'm gonna... <coughs> I don't know how good blunt damage is. That's 140... Um, as cool as that looks, we'll get rid of this. Uh, we'll repair you. Uh, and then we should probably do some modding. So let's go ahead and mod this guy. <gasps> I got other mods now. Oh, fire. Yes, please. Fire axe. Fire axe. Um, force, but reduce attack speed. Uh, durability. Yeah, we're going to do this for the axe. And then... Increase force. That's all modded out. Um, That's already all modded out. The sledgehammer could probably use an upgrade. Uh, What other ones did we get? We also got... Oh, yeah. Melee impactor. I mean, the force on this is probably very strong, but it'd be cool to be able to have a sledgehammer that does a little bit more. Do that. Um, 
I don't want to I don't want to make two of these too many of these like up to level, but I feel like a sword would be cool to have. Ah. Hello, depression. Uh also the slaughtering claws were kind of garbo, so we're just going to get rid of that. And then I feel like I should make another weapon up to level because this is now two levels under. That's two levels under. Um, I like the crowbar. Can't go wrong with crowbar. There we go. Oh my God. Jesus. Uh, but how are you doing, Depression? Welcome on in, bud. Welcome on in. It's my first time in LA. First time in Cali and we're having a grand old time. I gotta try this new sledgehammer out. Gotta see how uh, how good it is. All right, so Cassie went up the hill. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I am I crazy? There was a zombie right here, right? What the fuck did that little shit go? I guess we'll go check around. How's it going, Depression? How's your Sunday going? This was supposed to be a multi-game stream, but ended up just been playing this the whole entire time, and this has been a lot of fun. No, 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 no. Yeah, you should just you should just stay in there, dude. You just you just have fun in there. Man, that sucks, man. A lot of pizza. I mean, I have an innate love for pizza as well, but. Drums! Where the fuck did you guys come from? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Can't jump on the floaties. That's upsetting. All right, you're my test subject. How good is this hammer? Ooh, all right. It's good. Also increased the durability on this bad boy, so. i slowly try to get all my weapons to be blue. Oh, neon sign. I was like, what the fuck is that humming? Uh, oh, pinball. Man, I haven't played pinball in like a very long time. Used to love pinball. What is back here? Banned? Okay, no, they're they're deadly. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys. You guys are very, very high level. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this house. They are all higher level. Um, they will they will fuck me up. No, thank you. No, thank you. I got other places to see. What the fuck? Fucking invisible zombie. That is acid. So we're gonna go up. I think it's up this way. No one told me Zomfest was happening this year. Oh. He's trying to crush your head, dude. Man, who can fucking afford this shit? Right? Like, look at this place. Insane. Uh, doing well Saturday, I played Legion again. Uh, I'm going to post some shots of the minis I painted for it this time. Yeah, do it, man. Looks post like them. Her own set at Zomfest. Oh, the my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Curb stop. Yeah. 
Dude, I just destroyed that zombie's hand. This is my new favorite weapon. Jesse must have used this ladder to get up and throw it back down. Crip stop. The fuck was that? Fecker. Traps. Better watch my step. Traps. Oh. There's rigged areas of LA with dangerous traps, so stay alert. Oh boy. Oh, I see Our them. Friends that girl has. Oh, <gasps> shotgun shells. We're going to get a gun. I don't think there were guns in um in Dead Island 1, I don't remember. It's been that long that I just don't recall. Uh but yeah, please post the pictures of depression. Would Jesse, love to see them. Mr. Construction and Co. Anyone? Okay, now what? Uh, got those, got those, got the it. Hmm. The stairs are electrified. Grand. Stairs are electrified. Oh, the stairs are electrified. Okay. <sighs> You're gonna fight this guy. Easy. Don't have to fight the big boy. Fight smarter, not harder. Oh. Can I get through that? Ow! Oh, I was trying to grab the shotgun shell. Oh, I could have used the, the voice thing, which I haven't shown some of you guys. Um... This game actually uses Alexa. I kid you not. Actually uses Alexa, and you can then talk to the zombies. So here, we'll, we'll see if we can find another one. I'll show you guys. I can find a freaking zombie. Cash. This beat's really pulling the crowd. Watch this. Ready? Hey, assholes. I taunted him. Oh, shit. Come over here. Hey. Oh, my God. Off of me. How cool is that? I, I love that as a feature for the game. The fact that you can, it uses Alexa of all things. Oh. Eh, was fun while it lasted. Yeah. Whew. Sure glad you showed up. You're Jesse. I'm Jesse. Danny, I'm a friend of Michael's. Oh, he never mentioned you. Met at the McZombers Cotillion. 
That's the Connecticut McZombers, of course. You bonded over not being dead? It's my favorite quality in a person. Know where he is? On his way to Monarch Studios. The movie loss? Why? He had to get something important. So I made a lot of noise to distract all the zombies, and Michael snuck through the gate to the studio access road. My plan was to hang out with the construction guys till the zombies got bored and left. The construction guys who are all zombies? Well, obviously I didn't know about that. They were fine yesterday. Things change quick around here. Listen, I was sent by your ma. She's worried about you. Oh, they regained By your ma. Today. You know, she was perfectly sensible before she met Ricky. Now it's like trying to keep a couple of wasted teenagers alive. Well, lucky they've got Mother Jessie to look after them, eh? Hmm. I just hope Michael comes back. I miss having someone intelligent to talk to. I'll walk you back to your door if you like, darling. I'm pretty sneaky when Michael's not galumphing along next to me. You can get going. Fair play to you. Good luck. All right, and uncommon mod. I gotta repair this thing. This thing is amazing. This thing always needs to be in tip-top shape because best best weapon, best weapon I've had by far so far. Um, alrighty. Ow. Monarch Studios. The hell are you going there for, Michael? Excuse me. All right. Well, I guess we are hot on the trail for Michael. Why does this feel like a fight arena? Or a boss arena? I don't know. Also, I forget again why we need Michael. I love a gun. Would love a gun. Crowd's getting angsty. Missing Jesse's beats, huh? Oh. Hey, assholes! Over here! Come get me! Yeah, just stay in the acid. Oh, hello. Pass card. I'm gonna have to come back to this area and look around for side quests, cause kinda just I feel like this area <laughs> is definitely bigger. Bees! Much as I love the shuriken, we need a pipe bomb. Pipe bomb, pipe bomb. Fucking tourists. Knew I shouldn't have come in a weekend. Level nine. <laughs> oh, we got new uh, a new slot down here. What is this? <coughs> Work through your anger, slay zombies, and quick succession to regain stamina. Ooh, I like that. Um, we got a new card here. Be the earthquake you want to see in the world. Your ground pound attacks a major boost to gets a major force boost. Oh, see, I need more. I wish it would tell you where you get these these slots. Like where? Oh, I can block. Wait a minute. Oh, so instead of dodging, I can block. I kind of like the dodge. It's grown on me a little bit. But I like that we can switch that skill out. You guys are not dying. Can we change that? Okay. You guys are dead now. Um, I think maybe we'll get to the studio and then maybe we'll wrap things up there. Um, depending on how long it takes. We'll see. 
Uh, hey, Demo. Yeah, it's hammer time. Dude, I've been loving this sledgehammer. This is literally my favorite. I already got to level it up. Uh, oop. Ha! Oh, you're a fast one. Drop it. That had to hurt, man. That had to hurt. Uh, hey, by the way, Ace, welcome on back, dude. Uh, Ace, I don't know if you saw on the Beard Zone Discord. I don't expect everybody to see every single, like, notification and thing. Oh, my God. I did end your whisper. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you wanted to claim it now, I would love to get you your game. I'm just trying my best to get through as many because we have about, like, I think there's about like 18 or 17 peeps. I'm still waiting on answers back for. So uh, if you would like to claim your game now, I just need you to pick a number one to 127. Uh, and then I can go ahead and get you your game, dude. And uh, the reason that Ace is getting a game is because he was one of the winners from uh, the month of October. Uh, Kiki says number 74. Okay, let me get the list. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, un memento. Oh my god, everybody that I was like lurking in just got offline. What the fuck? <laughs> like all all of the people that I was lurking in got offline because I'm probably not going to stream too much longer. Uh they all got offline. What the heck? Okay. Uh got the list. Okay. So number 74 which gets you a game called uh Dark Deity. Uh which somebody else want to copy of this game. It's kind of like Fire Emblem. I guess that's the closest comparison that I can give for this game. It's kind of like Fire Emblem. I do own it, and I played it a little bit. It was very, very good. I just haven't had the chance to go back and try it out myself. Uh, but Ace, enjoy Dark Deity. Just sent you the game. Congratulations on being one of the lucky 44 winners. And again, guys, gals, and pals, if you don't know this, we do this every single month for our Twitch subscribers where we pick a certain percentage, we put them in a wheel, uh, we spin that wheel, and then some people win some games. It's as easy as that. And we do that every single month. So uh, another perk of being a subscriber here in the Beard Zone over on Twitch. So please, please enjoy. Uh, enjoy the game, Ace. And uh, thank you again so much for your continued support. Also tell Kiki I said hi, by the way. Hi, Kiki. Um, But anyway. um, Yeah. Also, do you guys like my new avatar? It's Pepe Chris for when I don't feel like being on camera, but also as the bit because I'm saying this is my first time going to California. Um, you know. Uh, can we get this? Let's see. Hiya! Dude, how are you still alive, man? How are you still alive? <gasps> he put it out. Oh, fuck. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. All right, man. Only a few zombies. We can handle this. Avatar, it's Chris. It is. It is me. Just don't don't call me a VTuber. Then you'll see what happens. Oh, oh, grenades. Grenades. <laughs> okay. Somebody's still alive? Or... Oh, they're behind the gate. Grenades were the heart... Were the heart rate monitor? I mean, maybe? Hello! Goodbye. I'm leaving.
Can't see it, but I was smiling. <laughs> Some good zombie killing. Money. Oh, no, you said the thing. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Hi. Hi. I would not consider myself a VTuber, no. It's literally, I literally did this thing just as funny bit and also because now I can. That's, that's literally, <laughs> that's literally it. And also the third thing, if I'm ever feeling gross and I don't want to be on camera, instead of just having it as a blank, no webcam. Oh my God, it's dark now. <sighs> it's dark now. God damn it. God damn it, why is it night? Why does it gotta be nighttime, man? Oh, okay. Oh, well. I mean, with fanfare like that, I mean, it's gotta be... It's gotta be fun, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't call it fun fa fa fanfare, right? Movie lots up ahead. You better have a good reason for coming here, Michael. Security lock. So a PNG tuber, I, I wouldn't even consider that either because it's it's literally just very temperamental. Very, very temperamental, so wouldn't consider myself that. That's not gonna open. I have skill slots empty. Oh, I got another skill slots here. Okay, so uh indulgent vicious cycle, slay a zombie for a minor boost to damage. Uh, counter zombies. Okay, you know, I've never... I haven't countered anybody, so I'm going to switch this one out. Um, flying kick. Round pound. Block. Med kit. I'm going to do wrecking ball. Flying kick to use. No. Block or dodge. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. Blocker dodge grants health. I'm gonna. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna switch that one out for for that the ground pound because I've been using that a lot too. So there we go. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not using it enough. I mean, literally, this is only the second stream that I've had the thing up and running, and I I can see why people like doing PNG tubers slash like VTubing and stuff like that. But I literally was just like, I can do this now, so I'm just gonna have it. If I were a Michael. Where would I be? I mean, probably in the studio, I'd imagine. Oh. Oops. Man, they really like their golf carts. Wow. Oh, curb stop. workbench around here. I really would like to finish upgrading this. You're dead. Uh... Okay. Man. Trailers be small. Uh, what do we got over here? Let's see. More trailers. Temporary clothes for cleaning. Okay. Reasonable. Reasonable. Creepy. I don't like the creepy music in this area. Oh, thank you. Oh, your jaw. What was that? Oh, cash. Please, with the creepy undertones? Hiya! Curb stomp! Curb stomp. Hi! Could be liable for any of these damages, yeah. 
right? They can't legally, you know, hold me accountable for that, right? I mean, oh, what's that? Oh, it is a workbench. Oh my God, thank God. Okay, Um, first repair. Second, bring it up. Bring it up. Do I not have enough to... No repair required. I can't bring that up to the level. Or maybe I don't have enough money. Well, at least our sledgehammer is up to par. So, uh, drop them in Arps Pleb for viewing pleasure. I will check uh, check that out uh, after stream, after I get off. Which, I'm probably going to call it early here because I've been playing the same, same game for the past... Seven hours? Maybe seven? Which, unheard of for me. But I'm having fun with this. Butter the bitch. <laughs> what is that? Just don't want any more jump scares. No more zombies jumping out from closed doors. Ugh, oh, oh no. That's uh keys. So good of you to find me. In an apocalypse, I think not. <laughs> I think not. Uh you got addicted to Yeah, I I'm I'm feeling it, man. I am feeling it. I do I do like it. I just I'm surprised more people weren't really uh not talking about it. Like, I heard a few people mention that it was pretty good, but... I'm gonna... Grab some of this shit. Oh, his head! Oh, his head was hanging on barely. Chef's knife. Cool. Fucking space fox. What? <laughs> Am I missing something? Oh, these are pods. Oh, this is what story and I used to move across the country twice. These guys. Literally, I think this is the same, like it's not pods, it's star store, but this is literally what we use to move across the country to Nevada. Go back to the booth. To the booth. Oh, here. Oh, I didn't even read this. I bet I've been finding so many Easter eggs here and there, but I just kind of was like zooming on like mission, mission, mission. Space Fox. <laughs> <laughs> fucking space fox is that a jab at star fox i feel like that's got to be a jab at star fox right uh if it wasn't on epic i've had this game is it you got a problem with epic which i get i know some people have had issues with epic space fox 2050 <laughs> the eye patch the gloves the signature belt and of course, the Space Fox boots. Good, good call, Depression. I missed that completely. <laughs> it's got to be a jab. Got to be a jab at Star Fox, or like someone just really, really, really loved Star Fox, and they're like, "Hey, I want to put like a, a thing for for Star Fox in the game." You potted into Nevada and potted out of Nevada. Yep, yep. Potted in, potted out. Tale as old as time. Wow. Soft head. Boop. Doors barricaded from the outside. Someone was getting shot. Crab stump. Maybe even our little chancer. Hmm. I think we explored everything. Is it, wait, is it really? Hold on, hold on. I didn't really, I was just kind of taking the whole poster in. Let me turn my flashlight off. 
Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, they kind of, they kind of do. Kind of do. I don't know what's with these four guys down here. Chilling and everything. <laughs> Definite reference. I, I agree with you. I think it is. I think it is. So, someone on the dev team just really, really fucking loves Star Fox. Which, I mean, that was like one of my favorite N64 games. Not gonna lie. Uh, just no money on Epic compared to Steam. If you want to get the game on sale... Here, hear me out. If you want to get the game on sale, there is a sale. This is how I got it. There is a sale running for the next few hours. Uh, it is over on this site called uh, Fanatical. Um, and I can tell you exactly how much I got it for. Because I did look around for a while. Right? I looked around for a while trying to find a like sponsored stream opportunity for it. And there was, but I never heard anything back. So it is. Uh, it was on sale. It was on sale over on Epic. I think it was like for $30 and change. And it was only for like a few days, like during like the end of October. And then I found it over on Fanatical, which is a site that I actually use to get a lot of keys for the stream for like giveaways and stuff. Um, so right now it's on sale for about 37% off for the next 11 hours. Uh, you can get it instead of 60, get it for 3779. So if you, if you wanted to pick it up for yourself, um, I've used fanatical many, many times. Like I said, I literally use the site to buy games for the stream. Like all those giveaways. I do get some keys from some people, uh, humble bundles another way, but fanatical is a big way that I get a lot, a lot of keys for the stream. Um, so if you did want to pick it up and you didn't want to spend the $60 and save a little bit, these are the only two sales I've seen for this game so far. The only two sales, one was directly through, um, through Epic games themselves, but it was only like, it was like three or four days and then this sale as well. So if you want to get it for yourself, there's a sale. I think it's available for the next 11 hours, next 11 hours. And then it's going to be gone. So it looks like it was like a limited time thing. Um, but I was like, you know what? That's like almost half off. I'm just going to pick it up. I, I was honestly interested in getting it and, uh, I've been loving it. I mean, I've been playing it for what? Like seven hours, a little over seven hours, maybe eight. It's good. It's really, really good. And it's, it's very reminiscent on the original, um, the original, uh, dead Island, but like improved. And I like the characters. I like the environment. I know nothing about California. So uh, also, hey, Flawless, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, noise, uh, this is going to show my age, but I played the original Star Fox on the computer. Star Fox had the best graphics back in the day. Hey, listen, Clock, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Age is just a number, so, you know, it don't matter, dude. It don't matter at all. Um... Oh, it's the spider. It's the spider set. Uh, God spider. I think that was the movie. <laughs> you know, everybody's favorite movie. God spider. <gasps> Is that why he's here? Bo! Shabo! Shabo! But I loved Star Fox. Star Fox was a great, great game. Age is just a number, yes. And don't call me a PNG tuber or a VTuber, because that's a lie. God spider. And that's a feckin' door. But how do I open it? You know, we're pretty smart. We'll find a way to open it. I don't also don't know why I destroyed that fuse box, but let's go up. He's dead. Gotcha. Circuit breaker. Don't know where we're gonna need this, but I'm gonna leave that here. Okay, I got this. Just gotta think like a chicken. They're good at getting to the other sides of things. Oh. Um, why are we like this? Resist a fancy set of buttons. Needs power. Ah. Damn doors oh, locked. There it is. Should be a way through the sound stage. Maybe I can pick up my. You're a flesh tuber for side. sure. Yes, I am in the real flesh. I'm in the real real.
Let me just just bonk ya. Surprise! There was somebody up there. First, we'll just want to clear out this place. I feel like we're going to need this. I feel like we're going to need that jug. Uh, accept your new role, bud. You can't deny what you are. You are C tuber, a Chad tuber. Ah, man. Ah, oh, look at the time. Ah, man. Is it time to time already? Man, what a what a shame. What are you? I can get to you. Hold on. Play the original two. Yeah. I don't think I played the original one on PC. I did play the N64 one. That was my first uh, introduction to uh, to Star Fox. Abracadabra. Come for the party, lads. What's happening? Well, get off of me, you fuck. You fucky. Pipe bomb. It's like a magic trick. Except less impressive. Drop kick. Boo! <laughs> I'm like El Kabog. Now I just got ow, 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 ow. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Now I just gotta figure out you. Which I should have something for this. Ha! Okay. Hey ya! Oh, he kicked me! Stop kicking me. Please go down. Please go down. Please go down. Sleep. 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 Okay. Problem solved. First sword. Well, but second sword. Second sword. Second sword. Uh, Kong, how are you doing? Flawless. I don't know if you're here or not still, but welcome on in. Uh, how are the two of you doing? And I. Ah, oh, door leads straight back to reality. Boring. Yeah, that's boring. But that's movie magic for you. <gasps> Workbench. Thank God. Uh, I can... I cannot upgrade this. Why can't I upgrade this to the next level? Why can't I upgrade this? I mean, it probably isn't enough money. Oh, it's not enough money. It's definitely not enough money to upgrade it to the next level. Yikes. That's probably gonna be a lot of money. Wonder how much that costs. Got it. Ooh. 
Oh. I want to be buried in a fancy pants tomb when I die. Uh, pipe bomb. Man, these guys. Curb stop. Drink, drink, drink. All right. Uh, not too bad. Everyone who works night shifts in my work seems to think I'm a supervisor, so I keep getting messages from them for. <laughs> And what do you, what do you end up saying? Like, go contact your supervisor, and then they're just like, what? Like, but aren't you the supervisor? Oh, hi. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's real embarrassing. Also, he crawled out of the ground. Didn't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Also, cool movie set. Any talent scouts lurking about? I think you just uh, found boop. your new leading lady. Night City, you can become Let me just excuse me. Cue mic check. I think that was a sound check guy. Wow. Mm, Hollywood. If anybody gets that reference. I finally made it to Hollywood, guys. Who put you in charge? Nah, I just help them train, uh, train all of them up so they always come for me help. I get that, man. I get it. It's like, Kong will know. Kong, Kong is the one that showed me how to do this and, and that thing. I'll, I'll reach out to Kong. I, I get that a lot, actually. Especially with my team members, because I like train them. Locked. Locked. More, and more buttons. Oh, it's that caustic sludge again. Don't tell me those gowls were dissolving bodies here too. Uh, I mean, wouldn't be surprised. All right, I guess I gotta hit the buttons. Brain fix. Oh. Cool. Washed away the acid. Wait. Right, it would be up this way. Um. Ugh. Uh, usually get on um, really well with them all. Hang on a second. Get the fuck off me, you fucking zombie. Curb stomp. Double curb stomp. The way it was intended. Uh, out of everyone who does night shifts, I've been there the longest. There was uh, one day I was shopping. I was in shopping and it was, hold on a second. Called over for help. And hey man, you know, at least you're like the guy that people will like go to for that kind of stuff, you know? I'd rather be that person than like, than like, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's nice not to be bothered, but still at the same exact time, you know? It's nice to have people like ask like what your thoughts are on stuff like that and everything. Bro just <laughs> curved stomped a fourth of the blue man group. I think it's Apocalypse now. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the vibe that I'm getting from this movie set, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yes. 
Uh, what is up here? Ooh, secret chest. A nightstick. Whoa. He's really getting his money's worth out of those kitchen knives. Yeah, Michael's just shanking people left and right. Don't give him a chance. He's a very strong zombie. Got the security guard's cooler key. So I think if we go back to the security booth... There's a cooler in there, and sometimes we get, like, special items. We're clever like this. Uh, what do we got? <gasps> uh, whoa, police baton. Wowie wow. Which means I don't need this shit. I don't need that shit. Definitely don't need that shit. Crowbar. Um... Consumables. Shotgun shells, I really can't wait till we get a gun. I know that they're going to probably be, like, super loud, but I don't think they had guns in Dying Light 1. Um, yeah, is the Blue Man Group 3 or 4? That's actually a good question. I don't know. Uh, There are three, so one third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's just the Blue Man. That's what they're formally known as now. Uh, as one of them keeps messaging me is one that, uh, that one old lady thought was my girlfriend. Oh, that person. I remember that, Kong. Uh, the old woman was also asking her questions that didn't seem like was any of her business. Right, 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 right. Oh, wait, so there was, like, more to that story? Wait, more? Footprints. How kind of him. Do I leave footprints now? No. What if he... Well, at least find Michael. Unless it's getting a little too late here. Uh, a note. Where are they now? Which way did he go? Probably not the way with the, the burning man. More footprints. Either he's smart or just plain clumsy. <laughs> There's multiple blue men groups. What? Uh, okay, I'm not. Uh, I am not freaked out now. Why do I have the sneaky suspicion that you are freaked out? Please tell me you didn't go down there, Mikey. Where the footprints? They keep getting like washed off. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you go this way? Yeah, I was working Halloween night with her and she was telling me how she was trying to find out a lot of details. What is wrong with people? I don't get it. It's none of her fucking business, dude. Like, I don't care how nice you are or anything like that or if you're a good person, but like if it's none of your business, then it's none of your damn business, regardless how nice of a person you are. I'm not I'm not even kidding you. We've been jump scared from many doors. I don't want to be jump scared. Um. Oh, hi. Okay. Maybe I'm not the only one following Michael. That guy's eyeball was hanging out. Oh! 
So I forget, but my my character, her ability does a little micro explosion when I like really charge. Like her her slaps are so powerful that they do a little explosion and I keep forgetting that. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Cool. Oh. Who the fuck were you? Um... I just said bye to the last guy who was here, so I'm by myself. Could have swore someone just walked by me when there's nobody else up here. And yes, the hotel I work at is haunted. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, as of lately, I've actually believed more in ghosts. Um, is anybody aware of two YouTubers called uh, Sam and Colby on YouTube? Because boy, oh boy, they're, they're doing what they're calling their hell week, and they're actually staying at the actual conjuring house. The actual conjuring house. Because that was actually based off of real events. And boy, oh boy, they, they got some, they got some really convincing footage. And they actually met this couple who are like the caretakers, and they actually have this like... Oh my god, there's a Space Fox prop box. I need to know what's inside there. I need I need to know. I need to I need to I need to find that key. Where's the fucking key? Um but um these one leg made us. Hop Mikey, god damn it! Hop for your life! God damn it, this guy. Yeah, I think he's been being tracked by some Some hybrid or something uh but there are these these two people satori and i forgot the other guy's name but they have this ability i can't i kid you guys not like you know me i'm 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 on the fence about believing ghosts but they have this ability where they can like amplify spirits cody and satori yes cody and satori yes and oh my god when they hold hands or 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 touch um, you start hearing footsteps all around them and I and 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 Sam and Colby did this whole thing trying to debunk it like they made them take off shoes they took them to random locations and try this and still whenever they would go to like these random locations and stuff like that there were still audible footsteps happening around them hi babe hi you, you heard me yeah um, and it's crazy because then they do this whole method where they have the ghost or the spirit, um, tap or like stomp when they're like doing different like letters and stuff to like spell out words and stuff like that. It, it is crazy. I don't even know how we got on the subject for this. I know Ace is probably sitting there like smirking. You gotta ask him. Oh, Ace, did you finish watching the series by the way? His leg grew back. Clever, though. Zombies don't notice footprints. Oh, we were talking about because of what what Clock was saying about the being haunted. But yes, I I'm more now a, a now more a believer be, after seeing this fucking video. And you guys should go check it out on YouTube. It's it's kind of nutty. What's up? Oh, he hasn't answered yet. Okay. Dead. Not a zombie. Wow. Didn't know he had it in him. Ow, oh, ow, oh. Owie. Where the fuck is he? So, 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 from what I understand, because I'm, I'm new to watching them, but they originally started off as, like, Dudes would go to like abandoned places and like check them out and stuff like that and, and things like that. And then they started leaning more into like experiencing weird things at these places. 
and you know their audience would tell them like hey like there's there's such things as ghosts and you should like you know look into this and then they started doing that um and then they kind of out they kind of fell into that of doing like ghost hunting and and stuff like that so now now they do um my girl. My girl. oh my god michael where the fuck are you dude it doesn't mean, or it has it. Oh, yes, finally. Fucking. Fucking blueprint, man. Thank God. Let's grab that. I need money desperately. Scaffolding. All oh, right, that's a scaffold pipe. Uh, halfway through episode four, got Kiki watching it also. Yeah, it's really, really good. And, like, I, I mean, there are some moments where, like,. I don't know, maybe it's just because like they're trying to like come in here, but it looks like he brought his friend with him. That they're like a little much, like they're like, oh my god, oh my god, but like not as much as like message. Ghost Hunter. Or Ghost Hunter. Ghost Adventures, sorry. Ghost Adventures is like on another level when they like like freak out. Can I just sit up here and just chuck things at them? Excuse me. Curb stop. The fuck? Is that a fucking laugh track? Michael, 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 where are you, Michael? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Wherever you are, Michael. He must have taken the elevator. I'm not in a hurry or anything. No. Take your time. Oh, shit, man. Boom, baby. Can we? Oh, fuck me. Fajoli off me. What's that? Oh, fuck. Dude, I caved in that man's head. Dude, I caved in his skull. Oh, my God. Finally. Thank God. Took your time, all right. Is this an elevator? It, it <gasps> fake. Sake. I'm never admitting to this. Oh my god. Uh I yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree with you, Ace. I agree with you. Like I've seen so I've seen plenty of ghost stuff, especially ever since like me and Story started dating and you know, now we're gonna get married. Um I've watched a lot more ghost stuff with her than I ever have alone. And I will say some of the fucking shit that Cody and Sam or Colby and Sam get in their videos is unfucking unreal. Like it is the most convincing shit ever. Like absolutely convincing shit. And I, and I've always been like on like the fence. I've always been like on the fence about, you know, this kind of stuff and everything. But some of their stuff is just mind bogglingly like, holy shit, there is, there are spirits. There is some, something after 
like it's it's unbelievable. It's uh, it's unfucking believable. So, um, yeah. Uh, the number of uh, yeah no, and Story's been showing me those clips. She's been showing me those clips of like the little moments that you miss in in their videos of where something like the the fucking staircase. I'll see if I can find. You know what? We're probably we're probably gonna end it here because I am getting tired, and um. We've been streaming for about nine hours here, and I'm a little... Yeah, the basement! The basement! You know what I'm talking about? The basement! Oh, it's so fucking creepy, and you don't see it. You don't see it at first. I want... I, did, did it save? I want to just wait until I see the save screen. On my screen. Let me, like, go back in here and run around and then see if I can trigger it again. I, I'm pretty sure I saw a save screen, though. But this is fun. I, I do plan on playing this more. This is a lot of fun. This is this was really really good. I I honestly needed a break from. I needed I needed a break from from the 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 same old same old kind of stuff that we've been doing. And as much as I did want to do like a crowd control game, and I also wanted to do uh, like Jackbox and stuff, we can always do that another time. We can always do that another time. So, but. I think we're gonna end the game here. I am gonna show you that clip first. I am gonna show you that clip just so you, just so you can see. Just so you can, just so you can fucking see. Um, oh wow, we're not even halfway through the main story. Holy shit! Oh my god. Also, side quests. I haven't even gotten. I, I got two side quests done. Lost and found. I don't even know what that is. And challenge progression. This game is big. Game is big. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find the clip to, to show you guys. When Story showed me this shit, I was like, holy fucking shit. That is insane. Uh, Sam and Colby uh, basement. Okay. I found the clip. Found the clip. Found the clip. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to make it full screen so you guys can see. So again, so they're doing what's called, they're doing what's called Hell Week. And uh, they promised their they promised their community. I'm gonna turn my camera off so you can see full screen. Um, but they promised their community that they would go to the Conjuring House and stay there for a week and sleep at the Conjuring House, the real Conjuring House, uh, which they have been doing. They have been doing that. Um, so uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, when I, when Story showed me this, my jaw almost dropped because it was it was so. Like I, I like I'm on the fence, but after seeing this kind of nutty. So what the actual fuck is going on? It's not working at all. I'm going to like, I'm going to put this. Look, it's not. So fucking creepy. So fucking creepy. Now, now, now a lot of people in it, like a lot of people who might see this might be like, oh, but there might've been somebody else in the house and stuff like that. And like, I know like probably a lot of people are like, oh, like they, they faked it. It's like fake footage or whatever and everything. But like, to be honest, like they, they are, they are very, they, they are very real in everything that they do and everything like that. And the only three people that went to, and they've shown well, the only three in their crew, it's them. And then I think they're like producer slash editor who was only there on the first night and they have full range of the house. They made like some kind of deal with like the new owners of the conjuring house, but it is so creepy. And I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it. And, and right before this, they were in the basement alone they were getting responses back on like the spirit box and shit like that and then they started having like the the spirit box told them stop recording literally what the spirit box told them and then they started going upstairs and they were having all these camera issues and shit and this is like right as like they were still having the issues that a fucking head pops up out of the basement and they didn't even realize they didn't even see it and and people like their fans started like pointing out like yo there's a fucking head in the fucking basement and there's some dude spirit dude who's down there in the basement and they only call him the woods guy and he's supposedly like a trickster spirit and he's like fucking with them uh and telling them like to go out in the woods and like 
a whole bunch of other shit and everything. It's 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 real fucking freaky. I would recommend check check it out. Check out the series. It's on YouTube. It's very very interesting. Um, it's it's good. I guess the rest of my night is being spent, dude. Let me know what you think of a depression because listen to me, dude. Like I, I never really, I never really thought that like, like ghosts and the afterlife and things like that or like I I don't I don't really know what I believe, right? I really don't know what I believe. I would like to think that there's a thing or a place after death, right? Um, but make sure, like, watch the part with. Uh, what is it? Satori and uh, S Cody and Satori, like they they try their hardest to debunk when they meet these two and see what these two can do. They try so hard to debunk, and and they also have been bringing guests to come meet them out of the Conjuring House and like hang out with them, and then they leave for the night, and then they go out and they you know they do their the rest of the investigation until they go to bed, but. Let me know what you think of the whole Cody and Satori thing, because I think out of everything that like has happened since they've been doing these videos, these these conjuring this conjuring hell week stuff has been like the one thing that I'm like, all right, there there might be an afterlife. There there might be a thing after we 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 go physically. Um, it's it's like it's that it's that convincing. At least to me, it was. At least to me and to Story and some other, like, you know, Ace. I don't know how you feel about it, Ace, but, you know, let us know. Um, but it's crazy. Definitely check out Sam and Colby's Conjuring series. And I'm curious to know, know what, to hear what you guys, gals, and pals think. So, um, but anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. We're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, oh, uh, do you know what a medium is? Yes, I do know what a medium is. Yes. I do know I do know what a medium is. Why 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 do you ask, Clock? I'm cu I'm curious. I'm curious now. <laughs> um even that kind of stuff for the longest time by the way, like mediums and like people that claim that they can talk to spirits or like connect with the afterlife, I never fully really believed in that kind of stuff. But I mean after seeing this kind of shit from not only them but from others some ghosts hunters and stuff like that like it's it's made me a little bit more of a believer more of a believer i still 100 percent believe in aliens ghosts now i'm like i think i'm like 80 to maybe 90 percent over the fence after like these recent videos at least that's just me though so i don't want to hype it up too much but let me know what you think uh i'm a psychic psychic medium i can feel energies in places oh i believe it i be i i believe after like seeing all these like videos and stuff like that, that there are people that are more in tune or more entwined with their senses and can feel things and stuff like that and everything. I, I do honestly believe there are people who are more in, in tuned that can like feel different energies and things like that. For sure. For sure. There are more people that are sensitive, you know, just like that. There's empath story is literally an empath. She can really like feel the emotions off of people that are around her. Um, I believe in that kind of shit. Like it's, you know, like everybody's got a different biology and some people can pick up on those things. Like when I was younger, I used to not that I was like, I could see the future, but I would have these like weird moments of like deja vu. And I'd be able to like, not like, again, not see the future, but just like kind of like a, like a feeling like I would know what was about to be like said or like the direction a conversation was going to go. I, I don't have it as much as I did like anymore, but it was like a little thing that I used to have when I was younger. Like this is probably like, fifth sixth grade where like i would kind of see where a conversation was going um or a vibe of the conversations the, but again I, I i lost that but you know i don't know man the, the world the world's a crazy place to not have all these things and stuff like that but i would love to hear your thoughts on it and we, we can talk more about this tomorrow but uh it is currently almost it's seven minutes to midnight and I've been streaming for just shy of 10 hours and we've played one game the whole entire time, which I thought I would never do. Uh, but Dead Island 2, very good game. I would recommend it. If, and again, if you're looking if you're looking to get the game on sale right now, it's available on uh, Fanatical for like 37 bucks on PC. Very, very good game. There's co-op. Um, we didn't even get halfway through the game. We spent like, what is it? Like, I know it's like we've been streaming for nine hours, but nine, eight, seven, like seven hours. And we're, we're not even halfway through. So pretty big game. Pretty good. I would say, especially for that price. So 
Uh, but we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys, gals, and pals. So thank you, everybody, so much for hanging out with us. I know tonight was a little bit of a different night. Normally on, like, Sundays, I do, like, two to three games. Lately, we've been doing some, like, Souls stuff, a crowd control thing. We've been doing Baldur's Gate with the Bard Boys. And I wanted to do a, you know, a community game like Jackbox or something. But unfortunately, I just got so tied up. And um, I just felt like playing, you know, playing that the whole entire time. It was... It was definitely it was definitely cool it was definitely a lot of fun so uh at least i had fun and i hope you guys enjoyed watching us play uh dead island too because that was that was that was an experience so um now here's really going to trip you out what happens if we're uh if we're kids our imaginary friends aren't imaginary you know that is something that um actually in one of the episodes uh they had actually sam and colby actually had bella po uh, poach porch i forget how to say her last name but she was on there and she talked about an experience like she was like, yeah, I kind of believe in spirits. She's like, you know, when I was younger, I used to have this imaginary friend and like weird shit used to start happening. And I thought about that. And I was like, oh, my God, for all those kids out there who had imaginary friends, what if imaginary friends really aren't? What if the kid is just very more in tuned with like feeling energies or, you know, even being a medium or, you know, being able to speak with spirits? And it's not it's it's not an imaginary friend they're actually talking to a spirit which i think is fucking crazy the thought of that absolutely fucking bonkers to just think that so but anyway but anyway um we're gonna go ahead and end it here guys because i am getting pretty tired um but uh tonight was a lot of fun i had a really really good time i will try my best to kind of go back into the usual things we might do some more dead island 2 next sunday uh, but, or maybe we'll get back into Lords of the Fallen or Liza P depending on if I do the offline, uh, grinding because both of those games I'm at points where I need to grind for some souls and do some extra things. But, um, yeah, um, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do Dead Island too. But, um, if you did, uh, like the stream, please consider dropping us a follow. If you aren't already following, I do stream every Monday, Tuesday, Friday at 7 PM EST and on Sundays at 2 PM EST. Um, so that means that tomorrow is going to be our next stream. We will be playing some, um, we will be playing session two, stream number two of Alan Wake. So we will be doing that tomorrow. Um, so, uh, if you are interested in that game, definitely please tune in. We're going to try and answer the question is a 13 year old sequel any good? Um, because you know, so far it's a yes, but you know, now we got, now we got to, we got to keep playing the game. So uh, but also I will be posting my schedule out in case anybody doesn't know. I do try to post that. I post out my schedule every Monday, usually around noon EST. So that way you guys, gals and pals know what to expect for the streams. Um, Monday is solo quest Monday where we play a solo game. Tuesday is co-op Tuesday, which we're going to be doing a special co-stream, uh, with story margin and our, uh, uh, one of our new friends, Heiser. And we're going to be doing some mines, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. Um, so that's a little sneak peek in what we're doing this week. Um, and then Friday is unique competitive night, which lately we've been doing a lot of hunt showdown, which has been a lot, a lot of fun. So we're going to do some more hunt. Um, but yeah, um, thank you everybody so much. I'm tired. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the stream. I do try to raid every single stream that I can, but again, very, very tired. So I am going to go ahead and, uh, head on off to sleepy land. So, um, but again, Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I do hope to see you all tomorrow for more Alan Wake. Um, hope we can find some more of those amazing, amazing commercials. Um, but thank you, everybody, so much for all the love and support tonight. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all. I hope you all have wonderful nights, wonderful days. And until next time, guys, gals, and pals, Bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.